Yo! What is up, everybody? Heritage Live Signature is here! Woo! Feels like it's been forever since the last one. We got pop reports in the building here. We got everyone excited. The one bad thing that we don't have today, and it's only one thing, but I think it's worth mentioning. We will not have Barry in the building. We will not have his funky, funky flow for the big show. Barry was not ready to go. He is a no-show. So that is one thing that is disappointing. However, on the other side of it, I'm happy to show you guys. We got a new tank top in just for the signature event. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. We wing ring fit adventure. Happy with the sponsor for the show here. Look for the back. Look at that. Promotional tank top sent in by a viewer of the channel, which is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. So on that note, on that note, make sure to pick up Ring Fit Adventure in stores now. Oh, I lost. In store now, I owe everything that I am to Ring Fit Adventure. Also, unofficial sports drink of the stream. Nothing hits like a cool, crisp, refreshing. Oh, there we go. Mmm, that, mm, that's good. Nothing hits quite like monster energy drinks. Pick up yours at a fine retailer today. Whew. Hopefully someday we're actually paid, boys. Hopefully some days we're actually paid. What is up, everybody? How's it going? Gambit, Addy, Super Junk, Jordan Black, Nifty. What is up, you guys? You'll sponsor me? There we go. Thank you, Dracula Bite. Timothy, you don't do Ring Fit Adventure. <laughs> oh, I tell ya. I tell ya. Yeah, default gen. I need the uh I need that gamer fuel. I need that gamer fuel sponsor immediately. I need that immediately. I should be wearing gold sequins tank top. Here we go. Collectors. Who the heck is this guy? Heroes, bosses, and sidekicks, and welcome to our video game auction. Who the like fuck is this guy? Auctioneer here in the great state of Texas, and wherever you might be in the world, welcome to our marvelous world headquarters here in Dallas. We've got a very exciting sale for you. Today. Gambit, I have a. Uh, I did an over under with some other collectors there, so I have some gauges of prices for stuff. I also wrote down some prices to uh, another person, so I have guesses on like 10 to 15 items that I can go over afterwards. But in the aptly titled terms and condition of auction section in your catalog or online at ha.com. Please be sure to familiarize yourself. You guys can hear them fine, hey? Terms and conditions. We have been compiling bids from our worldwide audience via every possible method over the past few weeks. Bids we have already received will be represented by John here on my right. <laughs> he's wearing shorts. Yes, he's definitely wearing Along shorts behind that suit. Placed in advance of the sale. Uh, no, I won't be buying anything, Timothy. I don't have money right now. But I do have one item in the signature. So, I mean, if it pops off, maybe I will buy something. We'll see. Your computer, tablet, or phone. That is the platform you are using. And those bids will be represented by April here on my left. Sometimes the bid will come in from Heritage Live at the last minute due to limitations. Sweatpants kind of guy. And of course, we all understand limitations. This Pac-Man here, I know Josh, Mr. Wafflefoot himself, was getting excited on his podcast, 9.6A++. So I mean, of a last sitting at almost 20,000 for an Atari game. Not a reopening of the lot. And it happens a few times every auction, so we ask for your patience and understanding as we will be accepting those. As far as bids go, be sure to remember a buyer's premium of 20% will be added on to the hammer price I call out here from the podium. As far as bidding, what item are we pumping on every forum? Yes, yes, yes. Make sure, um, where the hell is it here? One cut bid per lot for every lot. So be sure to take advantage of that. Proxy bids or prior In alphabetical order here. Stinger, there it is. Stinger. Bid often and bid heavy. 100% of the proceeds will go to me, which is an awesome cause to support. So, bid heavy and bid often. 
that means it will be available after the 7.5 stinger that is that yours part. truly if there are any additional catalog or comments or additions that have happened since the catalog went to print yes skate suit pump the like button as well as we get going here get it spreading to more people if you have any appreciate you all being here tonight for the show today for the show i guess not even the evening yet it's only 3 p.m at 214-409-1322 with <laughs> stinger go bump it what's my so estimate on stinger <laughs> like Not three to right four now, but i mean i should say seven to eight um i will also be calling with i should say seven to eight just so you guys get in there i mean i would estimate it at 15 so um, <sighs> international component of today's auction uh we have an incredible video game department the best in the world no doubt so we thank all of our consigners for trusting us and bidders, thank you for trusting us as well. I'm hoping so, Shroom Tune. I'm Texas, hoping so. I'm hoping I'm it pops a little bit. That in compliance with TDLR Rule 67.40, notice is hereby provided. Why does it start early? CCT, as far as signatures are confirmed, this is like a late start. These things used to freaking start at like 11 a.m., 12 p.m. for me, so. <laughs> I'll take this start time all day. There are other signatures I literally slept through because it was so early. And now that that is out of the way, it is my honor head of our video game department who has a few words before we get started Valerie McClickey oh big Val taking the stand here we go thanks Mike <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know me uh, my name is Valerie McClickey and I am actually the uh, managing director of the video no game fly in the Pac-Man yeah what a scam I wanted to just come up and say a few words before we begin um, we're all incredibly proud. Of <laughs> That's when she drops a bomb that Barry's dead. And he, he missed the auction due to death. <laughs> that video game collecting has to offer. From early first print hang tabs to modern rarities, uh, there's something for pretty much everyone in this sale. But what makes this even Big more Val, I'm sure she loves the, the nickname. <laughs> Much of their yeah, we got to make that can and Big Val. I know, I know, Not women love that, it when you put Big in front of their name for a nickname. Their web page. Uh, they also just uploaded their PlayStation data, so please be sure to check that out during the auction. Um, but all that being said, I believe that the population report just confirms what many of us in this market have been saying for years: skilled video games in high grade are truly rare items. As of this morning, we have added a link to every single WADA games lot on our website that goes directly to WADA's population report. Uh, wow. For ease of navigation. And I. So where? Oh, yeah, shit, right, right there. The numbers so you can make <laughs> as informed of a budgeting decision as possible. Straight and to the pop I report. The podium back to Mike, and yeah, there's the PS1 one, one if you guys want to go take a peek at that before we get luck, going here. I only fun. had a chance to like. And uh, remember, this isn't playtime. This is go. Time. Here we go. I only had a chance to like quickly glance at the PS1 pop report, so. Thank you, Valerie. Is everybody ready? To our crowd here, a few spots have opened up in the front for those of you standing. She's pretty low key for not being a fossil like most of her coworkers. Yeah, Valerie definitely probably sticks out in that office. You're on your own. Is everybody ready? Ladies, gentlemen. And without further ado, Let's get started with lot two eight. This guy better bring the frickin' fire here. I think he said his name was Mike. This is his big debut. We're looking for 16,000, 20,000, even better. We've got 22 here with the internet bidder. I'm looking for 24,000. This Pac-Man's already going, though. Rated factory wrapped copy we've offered here at Heritage. We need 24,000 to make it yours, though. Infamous game. Like I said, Wafflefoot was excited about this one. I don't know enough about Atari to even be excited, but if I see him excited about Atari item, it's like, okay, we might be dealing with something. Who's going to go 24? There's 23 to cut. We've got 24 over here with John. 26,000 is up next. Great timing on the pop reports a few days before the signature ends. Oh, yeah, they got the marketing on fleek. Make no mistake, that's perfect marketing right there. I'm looking to you, your opportunity. Who's you like his hand motion so far, taking a page from The Rock. Yes. There's 26 right there. Heritage Live. Absolutely. For the moment, let's see what Mike happens. is commanding the room with the hard, with some of these and some of those. We need. Who's got 28? Anyone at 28,000? Bitters, now's the time. Anyone advancing to He needs to 000? hit with the Gary V. He needs to do one of these if you guys have ever watched like the Gary V speeches with the one arm grab. 
He needs to hit with some of those. Oh yeah, shit, I will disable live bid for now. That's a good call. The Pac-Man went for 31,000. We need 1,700. He's question here. He's gonna Fire go right out the gate. First game. Fan favorite Adventure Island series. Where Anything spicy in this? Literally back every back single item is spicy, Cowan to Pie. Up next. Gorgeous cover here. I know you remember it, but you got a bid to own it. We're looking for 1,800. There's the 18. The bids five. are just so sent at er, increments there, Urkan. So, like, you, you don't get to bid manually, like on eBay. You just have to do the next increment. So, as the price goes up, the increment also goes up. Anyone at 1,900? Fair warning. April, tell them congratulations. Looking like a young Wolverine. Yeah, I need to clean up again. My hair is getting long again, and I'm, I'm unshaven. It's, it just kind of happens. What a 9.68 plus. We're looking for 1,800. What are you guys most excited about, though? I'm just a window shopper today, unless I see something seriously going under value, but... We're looking for 1,900. I mean, hell, let's be honest, right? Even Adventure Island there is like a lower... A lower dollar amount game for this auction at 2,100. We're looking for 1,900. So for myself, something seriously is going to have to slip if I want to get the bidding going. There it is, 19. Color framing the art on the cover perfectly. We're looking for 2000 now. It's gonna go 2000. Not far to go. 1950, if you were thinking 2000, still there for you. All you got the ghosts and goblins, yes. The number, yeah. That so ghosts and goblins two. is um insane. <laughs> it's sitting, it's still only sitting at 5000. I mean, I don't want to hype it too much if you're actually gonna bid on it, but I'm here to gatekeep the poverty buyers, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anything akin to a Mario chair? No, unfortunately. Unfortunately not. There's nothing as cool as the Mario throne. Unfortunately. The Halo 2 988A plus is what you want to see, but it's the very last auction of the day. Oh my god, that's like four hours from now then. You're going after a couple things. There we go, Cosmo. Yeah, Marty, I know you care about that Matt sticker more than anything. Heritage Live, I'm looking to you. You could get it right now. Anyone at 2800 The Adventure Island 2 there closed at 2340 And Arch Arch Rivals, Arch Rivals, actually ended at 3120 Baseball Stars is one where it should explode. Historically, it's always been pretty damn sought after. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. There's some juice for it. I, I'll be honest. I don't understand the love for Baseball Stars. To me, it's just like random sports title. That is revolutionary. We're looking for twelve. I don't know. It's always been expensive. It's always been extremely sought after, and like pretty damn cheap as a CIB, all things considered. Like it's sealed. That brings the premium. Six copies. I don't know. People love it. People freaking love it. Revolutionized fielding as well. Helping you out. Don't want to jinx it. Yes. Yeah, Lee. Just started. Just started. Fourteen. Thirteen five to cut. Give me fourteen thousand. Remember playing Ninja Black Sox, SNK Crushers. I'll ask you guys too, since it was it was put out last night by Dan. He was running a nice little over under event, which was super fun. Good of him to put on. But the Sonic one over under 500k. What's your guys call? What's your guys call on the Sonic one over under 500,000? Curious what you guys think. Step forward. We're looking for a step forward to 15,000. That's where you come in. This We've also, yeah, 15. baseball starts is still freaking going 15, here. 15,000. There's 15,000. Nicely timed. Every bit's on time. 16,000 is up next. We've got 16, under, 000, over, 15, under, 15, under. Five. They're not giving up. You don't have to give up either. Over, over. Bid. One step to get to 15, Over, 000. under. <laughs> it's actually 15, pretty split. 000. Saying 390 under 420 500 pre hey, prop for 16. Now not sure. 675 K like Sonic this? one. Looking for 16. This is time capsule museum. Yes, shroom. Yes, shroom. I have that locked in my memory. Oh, the grade is 9.8 Lee. That's the exciting thing about the Sonic. 9.8 A plus. First time we've seen a 9.8 Sonic, I believe. Come up for auction. A I'm actually surprised how split you guys are on the over under there. I said under as well, but I think it'll be damn close. there from Heritage Live. You see the desirability. I think it'll be damn close. We're looking for six thousand. We got that. Now sixty-five worth seven. Uh the baseball stars too. Eighteen thousand six hundred. <laughs> like I said, not one for me. Like eighteen thousand dollars, you can buy a lot of shit. 
Baseball Stars just isn't even in on my radar, but people love it. We're looking for 8,500 right here. Is this guy taking longer than usual? No, he's not. He's not. The, the the big tell, Rick, will be when we get the actual super expensive lots. That's where they really let them hang. I'd say this guy's right on pace right now. I would say Barry ripped through the lots the fastest I've ever seen, actually, which is part of why he's so notorious. Barry would just fucking slap down the number and get the next one rolling, so. We got a prior, though, as we discussed at the top. There's 22, about 24. I think this is good pacing myself. Yo, Zylotic. Battletoads as well, 9.2a, a game that was held back for a long time due to a flood of PAL copies hitting the market. Kind of like Kirby's Adventure, how there was a flood of Canadian copies, the PAL copies kept the, end, the North American version down. It's finally, like, come into its own as a game that just isn't easy to find. 17 copies graded. Battletoads might be the most overrated game on the NES. I'm not even against that. I don't think it's great either. I grew up playing Battletoads. It's it's good, right? It's good. It's notorious, but like, it's not that good or that fun, in my opinion. You can't unhear that TikTok auctioneer training? Yes. <laughs> That's the pacing we need from this guy. Let me see 6,000. 6,000, 6,000, 6,000, 7, 7,000, 7,000, 7,000, 8. Your chance at 6,000. He'd be doing way better if he had that. What's the uh, girl's name who'd be like, come on, Heritage Live? I think that was Emily. Wasn't that Emily? I think that's what her name was. The one who would tempt you to bid. The temptress herself. Also, Battletoads there just went for 66. The Batman sold for 96. 9.68 plus there. Battletoads Double Dragon. Very rare game. Even CIB. Like, this is just expensive. Always been rare. What's the pop report on this one here? Five. Five of them. Yeah. And it's the highest one. Yeah. This is super freaking cool. Super freaking cool game. Right now. Heritage Live, I look to you, wherever you might be, who's got 20,000? Anyone at 20? Battletoads has meme value from years ago? Oh, for sure it does. 19,000. Yeah, see, like, right there, I think he actually closed that one pretty quickly. Like, he didn't let the Battletoads double drag and hang that much at all compared to the baseball stars. 22,800, no slouch, but I would almost call that a quick close right there. got 17, 1,700. One of the best. Games Yo, Nintendo look gal! Ah, look at that! <laughs> I felt today was the perfect day to uh, to debut this. And was sold in a 9.8. That is a miracle, people. Put that miracle on the art and the overall feel of Battletoads is fairly way ahead most standard NES game. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Battletoads is freaking cool. I own a factory sealed Battletoads, so like I'm talking it down. I own one, so <laughs> it's just like. I don't know. It's weird that it. It's weird that Battletoads went to like the top of the NES echelon, like you said, with the meme value, with everything. It's it. It's weird how relevant it still is. Yo, anime wholesale. Good to have you in here tonight. Today, today still. Yeah, Emily brought Donkey Kong Country from eight thousand to one hundred and thirty. Yes, <laughs> that's what Mike needs to do here. And he advanced to 3,600. Mike After needs to frickin' bring the heat chance. here. You meant to say you actually came across a sealed copy of Perfect Dark locally. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is really commonly. Perfect Dark is one that, like, even if you're not, you know, really into the market, you might see a factory sealed one of that. And the pop report also says that if you take a peek at it. There's the 26 right away from Heritage Live, but who's at 28? Do we have games from pretty much every console this signature? Yes, we do. It starts with NES and then we go into other consoles, so. Big NES block to start things off. The Blaster Master went for 4,000 there. 9.8A plus. Moving on to Bucky O'Hare, another game that is just straight up rare. Eight sealed copies, yeah. Just a game that's straight up rare. I've never played Bucky O'Hare. It's supposed to be a cult classic. Fair warning out there, bidders. There's 33. I like that. If you yeah, this was just an oval seal on the... Yeah, just an oval seal on the Blaster Master there. Uh, have we seen one come up, Robin? Heritage Live at 3,300. In a uh, circle, Blaster Master? You don't have to either. The only recourse is to bid 3,600. The next thing... 
<laughs> Four of them. I'm going to assume we haven't seen the circle seal come up, Robin. Anybody at 3600? Now Am I selling anything back. tonight? Yes, Handy Freak. I have one item in the auction. It will be coming up during the NES block. 3400. Huge offer. <laughs> yeah, this man wants to go home and catch the game later. Exactly. What a 9.4 A plus field. 20,000. We've got a prior here. Has the Sonic already been auctioned? No, Cody. No, no, no. The Sonic is coming up near the end of this first block here. Because we go NES. That means it's rare. We're looking for NES and then into. Oh, it's not even going to show me. But it'll be later. It'll be later. We have a little bit of time before Sonic yet. Huge series. And also, Castlevania 9.4A plus. No slouch at all. This is big. <laughs> this is really big. And you can see here, we're already getting up to $40,000. Was this one on the over under? Uh, Zelda Castlevania. What was the over under on this one set at? The over under was set at 85K, and yours truly went under. We'll see what happens. 85K was the estimate there. Jesus. Don't let this one pass you by. We're looking for 38. There's 38. The over-under just being the number that was decided to be like, you know, a fair estimate where people might be on either side. Just a fun little game, but we'll see what this thing does. Gambit, I have a guess on that one as well written down. I'll share with you after it goes up for auction, but I don't want to like influence the auction anyway. I don't know if I will influence the auction anyway, you know what I mean? But like, I do have a guess for the snap myself. 48,000. 50s up next. Good spot to be. That's one that I have my eye on to see what it does. Also, the Castlevania, we're over 60 something now. You want it, but you got a bid to make it happen. There's 55,000. We're bidding in $5,000 increments now. Holy shit. I didn't realize the increment jumped to 5K once we hit 50K. Wow. Any advance to 60,000? That's a big boy increment right there. Fair warning now, bidders. Anyone at 60? There's 60,000. Not done yet. Which means you still have an opportunity to win it. 65,000 is next. Who's going to go 65? Legendary. See, game. once you get into the big stuff here, I um, that's when the auctioneers will let this drag a little bit more. Field. We need 65,000. Fair warning. <clears throat> this is old. 60,000. Wow. 72,000, so a little bit under the 85k estimate there. Lock, <laughs> Nuts. Well, I'm shot at Castlevania here. This is what <laughs> On lot 2806, we have Emily next year. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Here, What's the history of my item in the auction? 000. What is this? This is a hang tab first print There's CIB two. copy. Heritage Not sealed. Not sealed. What the last one did. Just complete in box hang tab, though. Which actual first print hang tab, too, with the large logo on the cartridge. Very impressive. I have to assume this would be the top of the population. I have to assume so. But very well. Five thousand. There it is. Give me fifty-five hundred. no VGA yet, Lee. No VGA yet. Sorry, the history on the game that I have in here, the Stinger. Um, if you guys are familiar with Digit Press, Digit. I think it was Digital Press. Digit Press. They were running auctions on eBay. And they listed a whole bunch of hang tab games, like really freaking good titles. Um, some of you guys might remember they auctioned off Scoon. S-Q-O-O-N, Scoon, Scoon. They auctioned that off in the same auction. But before they did open auctions on some of the items, they listed them as buy it nows. So I got some insane deals. I think I think for the Stinger, I paid 300 bucks. They listed some stuff as buy it nows. They were hang tab prints. They were early prints. I got two or three of like really good games for nothing. Just off eBay. Right place, right time. Crazy. The Castlevania there, $7,200. <laughs> One-tenth of the price of the, the oval sealed one there. Kind of funny. Always be selling, Lee. Exactly. The ABCs of collecting. Always be selling. How much do the hang tabs matter? If it's a, um, assuming your hang tab is like clean, it doesn't matter at all. Like a plastic hang tab that's clean, white, clear, won't matter at all. Any advance to 55? When was that? Uh, 2016, Shroom? 2016, 2017? Sometime in there. It was quite a few years ago now. 14, Chippendale, Rescue 
Rangers. The Castlevania 2, 9.68 plus $6,000. I'm kind of surprised that didn't get a little bit more juice. How's Castlevania 2 look here? Yeah, there, there is no 9.8. I'm surprised. Like, I know Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, right? Notorious for being like a bad game, but still. Castlevania game, early print, 6,000? Doesn't seem that bad, honestly. Doesn't seem that bad. Stinger is Twin B? You got me there, Undamned. I know it's Konami, but... 500 now. 65, how about 7,000? We're in over Diabavian 2016? Yeah, pretty much. This one. Pretty much, Rick. We're looking for 7,500. Have I seen the Mario Land VGA 95? Yes, IQ. Insane collection there. I expect big things out of that, too. Why didn't I bid on it? Because I'm a little poor boy, Martin. That's why. I'm a little poor boy. I'm like a, a, a couch quarterback who can be like, man, that would have been a great throw, but like I ain't throwing the ball myself, right? Let's be honest here. Chip and Dale, 8,400. I just got the commentary. I got the commentary for you boys. I ain't got the wallet for you. Oh, Clue Clue was another one on the over under there. Let's take a peek. 100k was the estimate. And I said over. I'm expecting over 100k here on Clue Clue Land, Hang Tab. Impossible. Impossible to find. Just impossible. What's the pop on this? I think it's like four. Yeah, four copies. Four sealed ones exist of this. If you guys are NES guys, like even finding a CIB Clue Clue is so difficult. So difficult. Thought I was sitting on the west wing of a mansion, I wish. <laughs> I wish. This grade, we're looking for 70,000. Big clue clue. 9.4, anyone at 70,000? Oh, we just, oh, 70, pff, just got another two jumps there. We're just about at the $100,000 precipice here. Just about at the 100,000. Love this one. The opposite of Pac-Man. Bang. Disappearing. We need 85,000. Just to take a peeksy here, a little peeksy peek. Over an important game here. There is, there's, oh my god, there are two matte sticker copies that exist. That is insane. And two copies of this print, which of course, this is the highest print that exists. Great, if you want it, you gotta act now. We're over 100,000. There's Over 100,000. Yeah, Clue Clue is just like, it's a launch title black box, and it's not a popular game. So, like, Clue Clue wasn't reprinted, like, at all, really. It's just one of those black box games that is very tough to find. I don't know whose this is. I don't know whose it is. He knew it was a six-figure game. Uh, Lee, I think this is the later print, the latest print that exists, the one-code hang tab. I, it definitely didn't. Every print of this game is hang tab. It didn't get a non-hang tab print. So... If you want one, you have to get an early print because that's all that exists. Don't just let it go. We know you want it. You've worked hard to come this far. No reason to stop. 140,000 <laughs> up next. <laughs> Hit him with the sunk well, cost fallacy. Time, Fuck it. You're in this deep. Keep bidding. You're already in this deep. You might as well bid again. <laughs> we'll sell it. 130,000. 156 on the Clue Clue. Wow. Oh, classic here. This is wow. So we had one under, two unders, three unders, four unders, and four overs for that. Split on the crowd, but yeah, frick, 150k for that. Wow. That's that's monstrous. That's monstrous. We're looking for 16,000. Absolutely monstrous. Players simultaneous side scrolling. These auctions scrolling make you appreciate NES more 16, than you ever had. Like you've been sitting on history all along. Yeah, seriously though, right? <laughs> it's such a nice feeling of like being right about something. Like I, you know, it's kind of weird in that way where it's like, yeah, no, these games were fucking awesome, and I knew they were fucking awesome before they had the price tags attached to them. And presents beautifully. We're looking for eighteen thousand. Who's Marvin, Jim? What are you saying there? The guy from Home Alone 2? I don't I don't know Home Alone. Yeah, I didn't listen. I don't know Home Alone what references. Sorry guys. Right <laughs> I don't know Home Alone. Go One of my girlfriend's favorite but movies, she always makes fun of me. I don't know Home bad. Alone. Don't know it at all. Yeah. Contra though is a 9.2A, which I do want to take a peek at. Up next. That 
36 total, 9.2 sits right here. So Contra can get a lot more special, but like <laughs> obviously still very expensive for a Contra game in any. This is missing, but you can add it right now. How does that compare to previous appearances of that game? And does it mean Black Box is on the rise again? I don't think Clue Clue has ever come up for auction before. I'm pretty sure this is the first one they offered. Oh, whoops, sorry. I forget. I always forget I can't do that. I'm pretty sure that's the first Clue Clue they've ever offered. All right, Yo, 17. Squeaks. Good to see you in here, man. Good to see you in here for the big show. <laughs> One of my girlfriends. You know what I meant. <laughs> You know what I meant. Great eye appeal on this one. 44 now. Uh, no, Clue Clue is not an awesome game. <laughs> Clue Clue is not an awesome game. I mean, NES games in general are awesome. Clue Clue, not awesome. I played it. I think the first time I played Clue Clue was on the uh, NES Remix. I think that was the first time I actually played it. SNES is today as well, Jonathan. SNES is today as well. Tomorrow is like a... um. Tomorrow is like really good games that are a little bit lesser tier, but today we have all consoles as well. So like today is the really premium shit. Tomorrow is like a little bit less premium shit. Seventy five hundred, if you want it, and we know you do, you gotta act now. Seventy two five is the cut. Who's gonna go seventy five? Also, the uh, nine point two sold for twenty one six, and this is an eight point oh eight plus now. Same print on Contra. Pretty sure there's only one. Yeah, only one print recognized on Contra. Yo, it's Friday. You're pissed. You're already dr Tom. I am Canadian. I knew exactly what you meant. I knew exactly what you meant. Heading down to the LB for a Mickey. Oh. You're in good company here, fellow Canadian. Fair warning. April, congratulate them. The lower grade Contra there sold for ninety six hundred. Not too bad, honestly, to go from a 9-2 to an 8. Like, I, I would I would rather buy the $21,000 copy at that point. I mean, obviously, right, easy to say, oh, just pay another $12,000. <laughs> You've already come this far. But, like, you know, relativity analysis there, I think this one was the better purchase, the 9-2 versus the 8.0 for 96. came out hard to find for $3,400. you got one right here. A field. You would think that A, that game was printed into the ground, and B, people would want to grade that game? You have the only Home Alone 2 for Game Boy on the pop. Is it? It is 5,000 address. Would you know which one? Nope. <laughs> nope. Elysium, I would know nothing about Game Boy. I, Game Boy, the um, small intricacies of Game Boy, I don't know. Any surprises yet? Yes. Maybe. Clue Clue Land went for 156. Um, Baseball Stars 18.6 and Pac-Man 31. So I don't know. It's hard to say. Castlevania 72. Depends what surprises you at this point, man. Depends what surprises you. Lot 19. Disney's Ducktales. I know you're thinking of singing the theme song right now. Yeah, yeah. No, no problem, Tom. No problem. We need 3,400. 95, 10,000. Yo, Spacebird, 333 euro. That's like $5 Canadian, man. Thank you. Much appreciated. It's a huge donation over here in Canada, man. You're really surprised the Contra's pop report is that low? Yeah, Contra, just, I agree. I agree. A lot of these games just never really existed. 31,000, Lee. 31,6 on the Pac-Man. 9.6, A++. Maybe you remember that Rick Brown cover art. Yeah, Contra's always been super box. sought after, super Beautiful low. Year, 12, Just to see is opponent. what it is. Eleven five is the cut. Still mean twelve. Just is what it is. Who's gonna go twelve thousand? And sorry, the Darkwing Duck sold for forty two hundred there. Nine point two A. Moving into Ducktales, nine point four A plus. Anyone at twelve? Last chance, bidders. What's up, Greg? Feeling pretty pumped because I picked up a Black Label 968 uh, Plus copy of Crash Team Racing for 525 and a VGA 90 Mega Man X Collection PS2 for 150 so Very nice pickup, Scumstain. Very nice pickup. That Crash Team Racing doesn't sound bad at all. Why did Pac-Man pop? I think it's the highest known copy or the highest copy that's ever been offered at auction thus far over there. So, I mean, Pac-Man... It is Pac-Man. Disney's DuckTales there, 9.4 A plus for 13,800. Let's just see how DuckTales compares versus DuckTales 2. <laughs> yeah, DuckTales 2 has none, of course. Top tier NES rarity right there. And then the Made in Japan DuckTales was a 9.4 sitting right here. I'm actually surprised there are six copies higher than that. 
I assume DuckTales 2, copy. We've quite a bit lower of a grade, but I actually do think it's going to pass DuckTales 1. Now. Eight and a half up next, Heritage Live. I think it's going to pass here. Yours to win. 9,000 we need. Who's going to go 9,000? I think DuckTales 2 should pass DuckTales 1, despite the higher grade. DuckTales 2 is just impossible. Plus field. We need 9,000. Who's at 9? Is it you? Last chance. Yeah, only the one print. Only the one print, Lee, uh, the round circle seal. It didn't get an oval print box. But there are oval print cartridges, interestingly. Contra's weird like that. So it did get reprinted at some point, but they didn't reprint the box. If that makes sense. I think that's the how that worked. DuckTales 2, 10,200. Did not pass DuckTales 1. Side-scrolling shooter. You got a nice copy of Doom 2016 for the Switch for 120? Nice. Very nice. Your possession. The highest graded copy. Is he $10? Didn't the same copy of Clue Clue sell for 15000 in 2020? Pfft. Wow, if that's the case, that's insane. I mean, 2020 was an infinity ago, so. You know, if you go to the uh, Heritage website, make an account, and you go browse like the 2019 2020 signatures. Stuff was free, right? Like, quote-unquote, free. I remember freaking out when stuff sold for, like, $3,000 that now sells for thirty. It's just, like... <sighs> it's insane. It's insane looking back on the auctions. Absolutely insane. Tailspin there was a 9.68, 6,600. Capcom purple boxes. <laughs> One of the best sets you can collect on the NES, in my opinion. 10x since 2022 makes sense. Yeah, I mean, in this market, I guess, eh? You're impressed that Metroid hang tab is up to 144? Oh, in Asuma, that thing's gonna pop harder than that, I think. Um, if we go to the Metroid hang tab here, it is the second highest, and apparently this one is locked away. So the 9.6 likely will never hit the market, or at least not anytime soon. The 9.4 is the highest one you can possibly get right now in the hang tab print. That, that thing's gonna pop in Asuma. The Metroid hang tab? I'm excited for that. Billy and Jimmy Lee give up? I don't think so. Take a kick to the cut. Yo, Yugi Preneur. Also, Double Dragon 9.2A Circle. Who's at 16? Which I'm pretty sure is also just impossible. Compared to its later print. There's 16. Uh, yeah, well, no, not really, actually. Interesting. This is interesting. I thought the circle print had a lot less than the uh, oval. One bin. That's interesting. Right now, there you go. That especially That's really interesting. That's a gut punch right there. 17 versus 19. Recourse? again. 9.2 sits right here. There for you. Take back That's crazy. Control. Either way, it outsells the uh, it outsells the oval by a fuck ton, but still, 17. interesting to see that they're relatively 17. the same on the pop report. Still, you weren't going to give up yet. No reason to. Great offer. How long will Metal Gear Solid dump after we know the pop reports? What do you think? I don't think it will, Space Bird. I don't think it was like hidden knowledge that Metal Gear Solid PS1 was common. I think people have caught on to that just by the abundance of 9 8s that even come up for auction. There was just one. I, I maybe, but maybe. Maybe. I feel like people already knew Metal Gear was pretty available. Why do I say it's locked away? Um, yes, long-time collector stated that. Yes, Rick, right, that's why. I'm basing that on what someone else said on good, like... <laughs> like, I trust his opinion. If he says that it's locked away, it's probably locked away. He probably knows who the owner is. He might be the owner, so... Yeah, it'll be locked away because it won't show its face. Also, the Double Dragon there, 24,000 for the 9.2A. Yo, Tom Rails, 17.99 euro, man. Jesus, Tom Rawls. Tom Rawls, sorry. Jesus, man, thank you. That's crazy, dude. Absolutely crazy. I'm gonna have to get myself some supper tonight. You guys are crazy. Thank you. 32, give me 34. Need 3,400, there's the cut. And here is the oval now, the later print. I'm sure all of you know, but if you don't, oval seals here are an easy way of a later print. And circle seals are the earlier print, but not every circle seal has an oval print game. You know what I mean? But that's a really quick way there of knowing. A lot of games have both circle and ovals. Give me 3,800. You're shocked FF is so high, that thing is crazy warped? Let's take a quick peek at this. Take a quick peek at this. Copy. There's four thousand. 
So 9.6. Where are you seeing warping on it? Front or back? Very active bidders. No surprise. The hottest collectible market there is 4,400. Give me 4,600. I don't gonna go 46. think so. Don't let it slip away. Unless One you're thinking that the light reflect that corner is kind of goofy looking. 4,600. We've got 46. Fair warning. It's super hard to say in heritage photos. I mean, you only get the two photos of front and back, but let me know what you mean about it. It looks fine to me. At least as far as warping is concerned. And the nine point oh, <laughs> there you go. There's the price difference from early to late. Um, we're talking almost a five x difference to go to the early print in point two higher. That's crazy. That's crazy. As a collector, like I'd rather have this one if that's the price difference. But like, man, man, oh man, if you're investing, I guess maybe. That's crazy. That's a crazy jump. How many launch NES games are there? Seventeen. Much desired after the first two. Seventeen launch black box games. Satisfying to buyers. Let's find a satisfied bidder. That can be you at 3,800. Almost missed the auction. It's four hours early. Hope. Yeah, no, I know. I know, Simon. No, you haven't missed the Sonic. You haven't missed the Sonic. We have tons of fireworks still to come. You feel so stupid. You have tons of these games like four to five years ago and sold them all to make one to 200 off them. Yeah, man. There's a lot of people in that position. Not euros, pounds, even better. Oh, Lee, you're right. You're right, that is even better. <laughs> what made Tecmo Bowl jump so much all of a sudden? Um, what's it at? Tecmo Bowl has a $144,000 sale under its belt. Yeah, it's sitting at 96. Yeah, that, that, oh my god, that's insane. That's insane. But it's not like, it's not surprising, so to speak. Like, the Tech Mobile, everyone was expecting big things. It's not a game where I really understand the love. Yeah, the over-under was set at 100k by other collectors. Um, and I went over. <laughs> Literally, uh, a few people went under. A few people went under on that one. But yeah, people expecting big things out of the Tecmo. So... Change here Final Fantasy five, has that thick-ass instruction book and map, so it bulges. Yet. Yes. <laughs> yes. You still have a chance. The front, bottom, right. Okay, so I did see it too. Yeah, it looks weird there. It looks weird there in that bottom corner. I do agree. Can I give us knowledge on the first handful of games? Ugh, not really, off like a quick cusp here, Rick. <laughs> that requires a little bit of a deeper dive. Not far to go to get back in the lead at 6,000. I think the Wada Black Box report, though, talks about the six. first 17, I think. Well played. But at some there. point, I might make seven, a big, six, like, a, like a bigger production type video that goes over like the first 17, but About 25. that's in the future. Uh, that's in the future. I want to get back to, um, I want to get back to creating content that educates as well. Like I've been doing a lot of news shit, right? Analyzing news, well. but... I want to get back to making some guides and stuff to help people out, but... 19, there's 2,000. Yeah, smash the like button for Sp Stinger. Exactly. Here, a lot to like. Yes, Rob. Uh, yes, yes. Well, 3,000. 3,200 next. There it is. Black box in nice condition. They're going hard when the Stinger comes up. Let's go, Shroom! <laughs> Here is a matte sticker on the, right? Yeah, this is a matte sticker on the Duck Hunt. So here's another launch title, Rick. Matte sticker. Duck Hunt, I mean, what's the box grade on it? It's an 8.5 CIB, which is pretty damn high as far as matte sticker goes. The boxes are just obviously the most important part of all these. 7.5, not bad at all. That's a, that's a really good breakdown, actually. The 9 and the 9.2. Upgrade that box just a little bit, which is no easy task. You can turn that into a 9.0. One good bid to win. Four thousand next. What? There's four thousand. Give me forty-two hundred now. Heritage five. Thanks for pronouncing uh, my name right in the end. So few do. Worth every penny. <laughs> you got it, Tom. Well, I do what I can. I do what I can. The next increment. We've got forty-four. Happy with the double dragon open box I got for one fifty. Yeah, first print near nine point two, nine point four. I am also happy simply owning a CIB of double dragon. <laughs> That, that's going to do it for, for me. I know I'm not in the market for a sealed one there. Considering it, take it now. Need 4,400. Educational content gets more views because Four. news content is only relevant for a short amount of time. Exactly, exactly. Educational content is evergreen, as they say. Got to get those evergreen videos up to mix in with the uh, news. 
Any advance to 46. Is this session just NES? I don't believe it is. I believe we go into after. Super Nintendo and everything else in this first session here. You can't get past Zelda, though? Ah, right, uh, neither can yeah. I. Maybe this first Zelda thing is just one. NES. I thought it would goes Zero. into, um... I thought it goes chronologically, but... We'll see. Here with John. The Duck Hunt the there, $5,200. Again, that's just a complete in-box copy here. of the game. Just a complete in-box copy. Hard to find Pretty freaking hard to find yourself a Matt Sticker out. Duck Hunt. Any oh, Matt Sticker's yeah. hard these days. Like, you know, once the secret was out on them, once the educational content hit on the uh, Wada Black Very Box Guide, like, the secret was out on Matt Stickers. So hopefully you were able to pick one up when... um. Hopefully you're able to pick one up before they exploded. The monotone title. Looking for First session is NES. Second session kicks Anyone in immediately after with everything else. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. And we'll sell it. 4000 Elevator action. $4,800. I don't think it was a hang tab print. Yeah, Rev A on elevator action. I don't think it really matters. I can't assume many of these exist in general. Love these boxes here from the Tato, the early Tato boxes. Tato? Tato? Someone's going to be angry at that pronunciation. We'll get back to the Final Fantasy in a second. Yeah, there you go. Elevator action? You don't get to choose. <laughs> you buy what comes up. So, uh, yeah. This is the one that just sold. Made in Japan, Rev A. You can get the no Rev A, you can get the hang tab, but like, four copies total. Four copies total, you, you can't be, beggars can't be choosers. Long running season. How long running? I love this game. And my daughter, who's 12, plays this game. There you go. Gray hair says it all. Give me 15,000. What did he just say? He's got 15. 1990 classic. And he won a 15,000. What did he just say there? I missed it. It sounded like he said, I love you and my daughter or something. 16,800 there for the Final Fantasy. About 28. Is that soft? Gargoyles Quest 2 on a 9.6. Is that soft on the Final Fantasy? Or was it like a 9.8 that absolutely exploded? 16.8 feels a little bit soft. Get up there. I'll give you a minute to catch up and not long. 5,500 the next bid. Great one featuring Firebrand and the Gargoyle here. We need 6,000. Ghost and Goblin series. We need 6,000. So yep, night to see. We gotta be live for the frickin' signatures, man. Can't miss this. Population as well. We're looking for six Why is this guy's mic so bad? Six. I mean, you're only a billion dollar auction house. You guys gotta cut him some slack. Far, that seems very, very soft. Okay, that's what I thought there. We're looking for six there. You love this series? My That's what he said. My daughter loves this series. I love this series. Nice. Is next. He's gonna go 65. Please mute this guy. I can't mute the auctioneer. I can give him a little... We'll give him that. Mike's the man. He's the man of the hour. I can't just mute Mike. Right here. On the highest grade copy. Also, another Capcom purple box here on Gargoyles 2. Just a hard game to find in general. Not like that upper, upper echelon, but like, you know, one of those six sevens. So here's the Ghost and Goblins. Hitting the auction block. Very low to start. I expect an explosion immediately. Get Mike's volume back. I miss him already. From Heritage Live, six thousand now, sixty-five. Such a difficult game, John. I know you did. How bullish were people on this one? Um, twenty-five k. Twenty-five k was the over/under here, and almost all of us said over. <laughs> so we'll see. There we go. Nine thousand from Heritage Live is going to go ninety-five. I'm a purple box. <laughs> I'm going to take that as a compliment. One of the hardest games ever made. Do I think it's worth consigning a Switch game with Heritage if it grades any lower than 9.8A++? Yes. Yes, I do, because I think there's going to be stupid pricing out the gate on graded Switch stuff, on graded PS5, PS4, like we've seen with most other consoles. So. This Greg guy is getting on my nerves. Yeah, let me turn up Mike and turn down Greg. I'll, I'll save you guys at all. cut bid like you should. 12,000. Didn't work that time? Full increments right there. If they don't bring Emily back, we riot. Yeah, barrier riot. 13,000 from Aaron Schleib. Give me 14 now. They need to bring back Emily for the Sonic sale? I think it will be a different auctioneer. Assuming this dude does all the NES stuff, we will absolutely have a different one for the second half. There's the 14,000. 15. 
14. Not gonna lie, you pissed 4K up the wall on Wii U games, then I saw this channel, then I got educated, and I have to sell my fiance. I mean, Tom, don't get me wrong, Wii U will do fine, right? I know I rip on Wii U quite a bit, but it will do fine. It's just the opportunity cost of Wii U that I don't love. Rick, this is absolutely new, brought to you by an unofficial sponsor here. In stores now, Ring Fit Adventure. See it on the back? Oh, where is it? There it is. Ring Fit Adventure. Pick up your copy today, Rick. 18,000 hours, 19. You see, 19,000. Ghosts and goblins. We are crossing over 20,000 as well here. Getting very close to that 25k over under. What's my prediction for the three Mario lands? Something like 75,000, Dr. Hansen. 76, 8, somewhere in there. Mike sounds depressed. Maybe he had a divorce where he lost custody of his kids. AK mentioning his daughters love that game. <laughs> yeah, they, he, he had a moment there. His mind blinked and he went back to the good old days when he still had his family. Then he had to snap back out of it. No, Rick. This was just a good day to display the new tank top. What better day to whip it out? Whip it out on stream, as they say. The Ghost and Goblins, 24,000 as well. Just missed the 25k there that a lot of people were thinking. I'm curious to hear more opinions once people start talking. I'm pretty sure Ghost and Goblins is damn near impossible. 11 copies. Yeah. <laughs> 7 copies there, 9.4 sits right here. So, yeah, there's 2 copies higher. There is an earlier print. And, uh, yeah. Here we're looking for 700. Gonna go yeah. 700. Yep, yep, yep. You're, you're just not gonna get a Ghosts and Goblins. Just is what it is. On the box. Just is what it is. Full piece, give me 700. If Stinger sells for a decent price, am I gonna be able to afford sleeves? Yes, if Stinger sells high, I, <laughs> then I only wear Gucci for the next streams. Fitting and you've got a chance. There's 750, where's eight? Gucci and Louis sweaters. If Stinger sells high, I can finally be a man of high fashion. Finally live the life I so so I deserve, right? Finally live the life I deserve. Have I tried to do an interview with Dennis? Oh my god. The world's most hated collector? Dennis on this channel? Rob, that's collecting suicide. That's YouTube suicide. I could never bring Dennis on. But no, I haven't tried to do an interview with him yet, but I would love to. I would love to interview Dennis. I'll work on that. I'll work on that. I would love to talk to Dennis. 5,000 there. Give me 5,500. With the oval Yo, Chains. A plus. We need 5,500. One of the best likes. Someone cut that and make sure if we make him wear Gucci. I will never. Timothy, you'll never catch me in a freaking. You'll never catch me in that kind of stuff. Never. I'm way too cheap. I'm a cheap ass. Through and through. Yeah, the gotcha was a no rev A. 9.4 A plus. I do agree. Who said it there? Mike. That the gotcha no rev A seems soft. At a thousand bucks, I agree with you. Um, There can't be many of them at all. I know gotcha isn't a popular title, but. The no rev A has 13. Ah. 500. You know what, Mike? It's actually not as rare as I thought. Lots I thought this was going to be like a pop five. All right, here we go. So, I mean, That's gotcha. Scandalous. Not a great game. Hot slots. Sure what a 9.0. I wanted to listen to Mike talk about hot 40, slots. 42. I wish he would have said more. 42. But Hogan's Alley there, 9.68 plus oval. So, very late print of Hogan's Alley, 6,600. Hot slots, notorious prawn game on the NES. This is the only field copy. Tried to send a hundred, didn't work. Guess my super message is broken. Huge opportunity. Oh, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. Five hundred. How many games are you gonna buy that have gambling and nudity in it? Not many. There we go. I knew Mike couldn't hold back. I knew he had to make a comment about the game having nudity. Give me six thousand. There's Look at that big grin on his face now. He knows. He knows. Of course. Still out there. It actually is like impossible to find this though. What is this? This is hot slots. We got we got one. This is it. <laughs> this is it. The only one on the pop report. These games just don't exist. 
7,500. Even the cover's scandalous. Everyone combined money for a Gucci tank. Yeah, it's literally, though. I like that bitter. Who's got 75? And he goes 75. If I had outlandish amounts of money, what would be my goal with sealed games? Probably a full sealed N64 set. If I just had, like, infinite money. on this one. I just mean the graphics. 8,000 next. Who's going to go 8,000? We all have fun, Rick. I appreciate you showing up, man. 8,000 next. Who's going to go 8,000? Which games are mine? Just one, Rob. Just one in this auction, the Stinger. Here. This is the only sealed copy. You're not going to find one next week. Don't even look. If you want it, you got to bid now. 8,000 is the number. <laughs> Close your freaking eyes because you're not going to see it anyway. 7,500. The pizza is in the oven. Ready for Sonic. I wish, Simon. I'm going to fire up that pizza afterwards. Right, Hot I'm slots for 9,000. I spent on this game. Never I don't even know. Warrior. I don't even know if it's good, bad, sad, glad. I feel like sealed copies of this game used to sell for like half of this five years ago, so. I don't know. 9,000 seems soft, but obviously, like, unlicensed games like this, they just don't get the spotlight they used to. But for longtime collectors, I mean, this just hits different, right? For more, for more reasons than one, am I right? <laughs> But yeah, it's just really freaking cool seeing this come up for auction. Really freaking cool. One home console. We're looking for thirty-four hundred. Got thirty-three. And it's topped with cheddar. Yes. What they're doing here. How long are we expecting the auctions to run tonight? Probably three point five more hours, give or take, man. It's gonna be long auctions tonight. Beautifully, we're looking for thirty. Yeah, I did hear him say that. Yeah, Boxley, I heard him say that one. Still contending that Wii U would be valued for rarity and the fact that those games were rediscovered on Switch? Yes. I mean, Wii U, like I said, will do fine. Like, if someone is going after Wii U, I just hope that you buy some Zeldas and Marios. Don't just chase rarity. Buy the popular shit. We just watched Hot Slots sell for fuck all, right? Buy the popular shit while it's available. That's all. Got a bid to own it. Four thousand is the number to get involved. What do I think about combining four. CIB pieces for a higher and grade? Um, yeah, 4, you have to. Basically, Barbosal. Like, you basically have yeah. to combine pieces yeah. to make the best one you possibly can. Absolutely, do it. All right, lots of is there anyone who really four. goes for complete sealed uh, set? Very few okay, people these okay, days, four, Danny. But there are. Four. There's one guy I know of at that's least that is that's still that's actively pursuing the sealed N64 here. set. With an A. We need Are there any notable licensed N64 SNES NES with zero known copies? I need to go through that still, poke and see. Also, this Jaws here, um, I think, yeah, they were calling this the first production, which is really interesting. I'm sure there's a no rev A copy, isn't there? I'll challenge anyone out there to that part at least. 1500 is what we need. I know, yeah, there's no rev A, right? Rev A oval, rev A, rev -A. yeah, no rev A, okay, there we go. There is no rev A on Jaws, so that's kind of a fuck up on their part. This is a copy with rev A on it, so. Either way, like, there are no Jaws to go around, right? This is right here. There's 11 of them. Uh, right there, but. Michael Caine has never seen it, but he did see the house that this movie bought for him. 2200 up next. We're gonna go 2200. We got the cut bit at 21. There's 20. I'm already the one man party, $5. It's that's not much, but I appreciate the videos. Man, that's huge. <laughs> Never feel like it's not much. That's huge, man. That's insanely generous. I appreciate it, Marty. Anyone at 20? Insanely generous. Am I a Red Baron man? Addy, we don't have that here. We don't have Red Baron frozen pizza. I assume that's what you're referencing. We only have like Delicio, Mama de Casa. We don't got Red Baron. And the Jaws sold for 2640. Honestly, I think it's soft. I think Jaws can. I think Jaws will grow to be more expensive in the future. First one with his copying ability. We're looking for two thousand. He's gonna go two. The signature is giving you July twenty twenty one vibes. Probably tactical timing with the pop reports. I mean, it was yes. <laughs> Absolutely, but yeah, people do that. Might have come by mail. Believe it, people do that too. You got a chance to bid live twenty four hundred. Money comes by mail, folks. 9.6. Also, copy. Kirby 9.6A 9 here. And he advanced to 24. I'm surprised how cheap this is. 2200. I'm really surprised how cheap Kirby is still. 2640. Amazing offering here. Lot 30. Just seems like Kirby should be more expensive. 
Also, Kung Fu. I know someone who sold one of these. Oh, oh there it is. They're even mentioning it. Only sold one other sealed hang top copy. Tough to find. We're at 11,000. Did you just say hang top? I think you just said hang top copy of Kung Fu. Obviously, I'm super curious to see what this goes for after selling mine. Amazing game. We're looking for 13,000. Please do a fitness plus vintage games channel. My arms look like a pair of stringy salmon flops, but I bloody love games. <laughs> the crossover we didn't know we needed. That was a good price for Kirby. Yeah, that just felt cheap. It just feels cheap to own an actual Kirby print. Like I said, I think the Canadian one just tanked this game for so long. But any advance to 15 there's the 15,000 why is bitter there now give me 16. Who's gonna go That's the thing about sealed games. I'm coming that Mario 64 Zelda okay, games have sold millions would be worth more than 50k prints than the 50k prints. Five, I like that. Right is about to close. Super stoked to see your 9.88 plus SOS was the only one. Yeah, I'm not surprised about that one, Jerho. Not surprised about that one. Yes, default gen. Who is bidding on Rap Jam higher than Hot Slots? That by the grade, not the game, man. By the grade, not the game. Seventeen thousand up next. You've got seventeen. Mine was a nine point two B plus. Right there. You want a seventeen? Nine point two B plus, and I think it's sold for forty thousand total. Played fifteen thousand wins it. Yeah, so there we go. This one sold for nineteen two. All right, lot thirty seven. 19-2 on that one. I absolutely crushed him! I crushed him! But either way, happy for that sale. And this is a 9.4A now, Rev A, later print Kung Fu. This was the hang tab copy, 8.0A. I assume this is actually going to get very close just due to the grade discrepancy. Going from an 8.0 to a 9.4 is fucking huge, so... Still a black seal, still a very important revision there. Early print, but yeah. copy, we need 13,000. <clears throat> you won the Kirby, you're in shock. Nice, Silotic. Very nice pickup, man. 8.0. The 9.4. We're looking for 15,000. <laughs> the Canadian calling the U.S. copy actual. Yeah, that's exactly. 15,000. Next, we've got 16. And he advanced to 16. What's the highest sale you've ever made? My copy of Kung Fu. There we go. My copy of Kung Fu is the highest sale I've ever done. 16,000. The market is softening. I think that so many financial markets are on a knife's edge. Video games aren't rich people's highest priority. Yeah, it's interesting. The macroeconomic factors are pretty terrible right now, Squeaks. <laughs> like, so far, though, I wouldn't say this auction is going soft overall. So, we'll see. But I, I understand fully what you mean. I looked at my actual investing account the other day, and, like, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. <laughs> I hadn't opened it in, like, three weeks, and I wish I didn't open it. Now, give terrible. Me Let me see 18,000. Absolutely terrible. And I think the Kung Fu was on the over-under. Okay, here we go. Look at this. The over-under on that one was set at 70K. Two people said over. Whole bunch of people said under, though. 70K was very ambitious on that one. Only oh. sold for 19.2. <laughs> like I said, the over-under game is just for fun. <laughs> 38. Last Starfighter. Netflix has crashed, so video games must too. You see, Trevor, with Netflix crashing, that just shows that you need to invest in video games. That's all I'm saying. Video games aren't going to crash like Netflix. Do you need to pay any sort of taxes on game sales that large in Canada? I do assume so, Mike. I do assume so. I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But I do assume so. Field copy. And also, with the Kung Fu, the 9.4A did outsell the 8.0A. We've seen this before with revisions, with with condition outselling revision. So, just having a nicer one mattered more than having a slightly earlier one with the hang tap. It's always interesting to see. Coming up next, after we got the last Starfighter here, come on. Coming up next is The Legend of Zelda 9.2A+, uh, sitting currently game at 111,000. Another big one. Yo, appreciate it, Timothy. Yes, yes, yes. Hit the like button. We're one hour deep into the auction now. One hour deep. If you're hanging out, hit the like button. It helps the stream grow. Hope you guys are having a good time. This is absolutely insane so far. 42 for 4,000. We'll win it. You can't share Netflix, but you can share games. I want to listen to him here. There we go. Who's 
up next? Classic game. You know you want it, you, you know you need it, but you got to bid to win it right now. Sell this shit, 95. Mike. Small step to go, 95,000. Sell this shit, Mike. Come on. The most culturally significant game made right here. Part of the cultural landscape. We're looking for 95. We need some energy, Mike. This is fucking Zelda. Round feel of quality as well. It's going to go 95,000. You can see, though, they're letting it hang. So scarce in high grade. No bids have come in yet. These are all internet bids. No live bid yet. Fields in an A+. Plus. We're looking for 95,000 to make it yours. It's got 95. Wow! Wow! Not a single live bid on the Zelda. One hundred and eleven thousand. All right, lot forty. Mario is missing. Oh, <laughs> last night. Look at this. Two. The over under people were estimating last night. This is just a group of collectors, right? Not like just whatever. Um, two hundred k. Over, 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 over. Thirty-four hundred. That one might missed a lot of people's expectations. But trust me, you look at this, you got your boy. Up next. I knew. Go I knew. I'm just kidding. I'm going to have a whole lot of wrong too, but. I'm going to have a lot of those wrong too, but it's nice for the ones I have right. I'll go through all of my guesses on an update video, so don't worry. Mario's missing there, 3840, very late release. I'm pretty sure this is part of like the edutainment bullshit Mario games discovery series. I'll click on it in a second. First, I want to see the complete in box, first print. Misprint Dr. Wright Mega Man. Get him out of here! Sophie takes the stand! All right, so I am picking up now at lot number 41. Here we, we go. Queen Man, is in the house. In Yo, Rage Relief, $25, man. Thank you. Holy shit, Rage Relief. Thank you. I actually really like her as an auctioneer. Like, I think she has way better energy overall. She brings the heat, in my opinion. Heritage Live, the bid is with you at 5,500, bid 6. 6,000 is bid, asking 6,500. 6,000 Yeah, Zelda tank and quick, sell all the games. You have the bid at 65, Heritage Live, bid now Yeah, Mike was more interested in the nudity than the game quality. You can use your cut bid at 67.50, let's go 7. I need to look at comps on the Zelda lead just to see how, like, how low that was, but... for 7,000, all bids in. Yeah, no bids on the Zelda mics out of here. Get them out of here. Lot number 42, another Mega Man. This is Mega Man 2. What a 9.0. The CIB there on the Mega Man, 7,800. We'll do the Mega Man block, and then I'll talk about the uh, Dr. Wright version if you guys don't know. Oh, fuck. No. Uh, I don't know. At some point, I'll get to it. Mega Man 2, 9.08 plus, though. It's 6,500 with you, Heritage Live. I need your 7. I'll take the cut bid. Still asking 7. On what am I drinking? Live, you got Monster Energy on dock today. I got myself an energy drink to treat myself during the auctions. Live, I need your bid now at 7,500. 7,000 is bid with Heritage Live goes 7,500 or fair warning. Last call to you now at 7,500. 7, the Mega Man 2 there for 8,400. I'm interested. I really want to look at comps on that one too. Title, Mega Man 3, what a 9.6. A plus plus sealed. Let's 9 open. Oh. I guess there are actually a lot of copies higher. I guess. This game introduces the canine sidekick Rush. I just know Mega Man 2 is like, you know, the most liked one of the NES series. The most notorious one. Whatever word you want to use for it. 95 is bid. 11,000 go 12. Mega Man 3 though. Freaking 9.6 A plus plus. Beautiful. Beautiful. I assume this has to be. Is this top of the pop here? Nope, there is one. There is a 9 8. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Don't forget your cut bid is there as well, Heritage Live. I need your 16,000. There's a cut bid, but 16 bid. Man, Mike's a Final Fantasy guy, not Zelda. He purposely tanked the Zelda. He only likes Final Fantasy. Must be the sidekick. Yo, TXX. 17, go 18. Heritage Live, I need your bid at 18,000. All bids in now and fair work. Yeah, it is weird there was just no live bids. That's the thing. It's just weird there was no live bids. 7124. Lot number 44, Mega Man 3. This is a, what, a 9.48 plus <laughs> You guys are roasting the shit out of Mike. Come on, it was Mike's first showing. It was his first showing for us. He did good. 
now. Yeah, Sophie's Pretty great. Go She's 4, great. 20,000 for the Mega Man 3 9.6A+. 20,000 on that one. On now we go to a lower copy 9.4A+. That was an A++, sorry. So going down one box grade, one seal grade. It's 4400 with you. 46 is bid. Now I'm asking 48. I think that's just a thing with auction houses, though, that they just have, like, a lot of lower energy, older folks. Like, it just feels like a, um, a, a traditional auction house thing, I guess. Something that's still just kind of the norm with these auction houses. We need to get that new generation of young energy at the auction house. A cut bid at fifty-seven fifty. Still asking for six. It's six thousand now. Heritage Live fifty-seven fifty. Bid goes six. I need your six thousand. Heritage Live. <laughs> She's already better. Yeah, she's great. Bid now. I'm asking sixty-five. It's do I know whose black boxes these are? I do not. You have the bid. The heavies were graded back in twenty nineteen. You're super curious for the dentist and if he's trying to cash out. You'd have to look at his Instagram and stuff, Mike. I'm pretty sure he shared most everything he owns. So. But I don't know whose they are. The only game I know who is owned is the Sonic. This is a water 9.4 A sealed. Let's open the bidding. Yeah, old folks are the only ones that have money to bid on this stuff. They know their audience. We sit here as young folks critiquing it, but like, <laughs> I'm also not the guy bidding, so what do I know, right? Also, almost triple, almost triple the price to go from 9.4 A plus up to 9.6 A plus plus. Mega Man 4, 9.4 A. What? <laughs> Why did they write this? Does George Takai have anything to do with Mega Man 4? Oh my. Is it, does he have association with this game? <laughs> 2800 is bid asking 3000. Oh, I like to think Valerie wrote that. Have the bid heritage I really want to think Valerie three, wrote that. Warning. All bids in now and last call three. If you haven't finished, let's go 3200. Heritage Live, you're at 3000. Go 32. It's 3000. That 8.0 mat sticker 3, 3, 3, 3, is from someone 3, in the Facebook group? Yes. 32 is bid. I'm probably, well, I mean, when we get right down 3, to it, a lot of these items are owned by community members. It's just a matter of like finding out who owns what or who goes public with the sales. 3,800 is bid asking 4,000 now. 38 is bid. 9.6 Mega Man 3 is pretty strong. Is it undamned? Like, I, there's so much stuff I need to actually price check. Like, this doesn't feel bad at 20K. This doesn't feel bad. Even this, right? The 9.0 at 7,800? That doesn't feel bad at all. So. 5,000 with you, Heritage Live. Come back now with your 5,500. 5,000 bid asking 5,500. There's 55. Let's How does this one actually stack up as well? Oh, they have it here. One sealed copy graded higher. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Okay. So this is basically the highest you can hope to get on Mega Man 4. 65 is bid. I'm asking 7,000 Heritage Live. Bid now for 7,000. That's crazy. 7 is bid goes 75. It's 7 asking 7,500 now. Heritage yeah, Live, of the Mega Mans here, let me just collapse yes, these. Bid. Let's go 8,000. 7,500. Mega Man 8, 000, 1, of course, 12 of them. Then 4 and 5 at only 8, 17 each. Go 85. Very, like, you know what I mean? These are, for such a popular ass series as Mega Man, there's not many of these to go around. Not many at all to go around on Mega Man. So, getting over 10,000 for Mega Man 4, too. I don't even think I've ever played Mega Man 4. Fair warning. Last call for 9250, a last minute cut bid. How about 95 Heritage Live? It's on the cut bid. If you want to put together a Mega Man set, like, that's, that's not easy. Not an easy task at all. I'm fully happy owning a CIB set of the Mega Man. 10,000 bid now for 11. 10,000 is bid. I'm asking 11,000. Heritage Live. And yeah, Sophie's energy is so much better. So much better. Fair warning. All bids in and last call for 11,000. 10,000. I feel like she's killing it. 12,000 there on the Mega Man 4. Jesus. Slot number 46, Mega Man 5. Here comes Mega Man 5 now. Also tied for the... Whoops. 21. 8,000, but 85 is against you, Heritage Live. Try your uh, hand at Only 9, one copy higher than 9.4 on this one as well. Second highest copy on this one. 
Mega Man 5. Highest one ever offered. Also, of note, Mega Man 5, I mean, before the big explosion, Mega Man 5 was the most expensive CIB copy. Mega Man 5 is expensive still as a CIB game. So, I assume this one's going to pop pretty decent. You don't have the bid. 14, there, it is now. You there are people it. on YouTube who have sealed Mega Man that don't have them graded. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Never make, never make the the the, 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 the thing that the pops can't go up. It's just like relatively speaking. There's none on there. Does it make sense to buy VGA cheap, cross over to Wada and profit? Yes. <laughs> yes, crushing game. You're about three years late to the party for that, but yes. Floor number 47, Mega Man 5. This is a water 9.2. What did she write on the description of this one? Who, what did this description say? Live go 3,000. 3, 32, go 34. Oh, this one has nothing. That one wasn't interesting. Is that you? Is that you? Yeah, right. The disruptor. 38 go 4,000. 38 bid now for 4,000. Heritage Live 4 is... He's even got the banter. It's the Mega Man 5 42. there went for 16.8. Go 16.8. Just Mark. under the near perfect Mega Man 3 copy. Beat Mega Man 4 by only 5,000, actually. I thought Mega Man 5 would go a bit, like, you know, decent amount higher than 4, let's say. And here's a lower grade copy of Mega Man 5 as well now. I'm asking 5,000 to advance. 5 is bid. Now I'm asking 5,500. Five is bid goes fifty five. Five thousand five hundred to advance heritage live. I need your bid now. Fifty five is bid. You have a Ness Mega Man card set only. You have Mega Man for a couple. I have a CIB set, Keith, and that's that's good enough for me. I, the, the Mega Man games have always been expensive, so it was just one of those things. I would love to own sealed ones, but like frick, you know. Sixty five heritage live. You have the bid at six thousand. Always popular games. Always expensive games. She's literally proving when you're consigning games, it actually matters who your auctioneer is. Yeah, it's one of those things. One of those random elements, right, Mike? Just a random seven. element. Seven is bid goes seventy five hundred. It's seven thousand bid seventy five. And it's hard to say, like maybe seven people don't want to bid for her. Maybe people do bid for Mike. It's just like it's almost thousand. impossible to say. Seventy five. I'm asking eight. Eight thousand to advance. Eight is bid go eighty five. On the MM three, the grade of nine six was strong. I think. Oh yeah, I know. I think the Mega Man three price was warranted as well, for sure. Eight for sure. New Heritage Live bid now. Absolutely. All bids in for 8500 Fair warning. Last call. Any info about the water class action law lawsuit? There's literally no info about it. H2O one Happy one Dude, it just like blew up. No? There is no info on it. Like, as of right now, there is no lawsuit. It just water blew up because that's how it works. Six. But this water nine at this point, field. like, we don't even know if anything's going to be filed. Nothing is filed, so there's nothing. It's a whole lot of hype right now for absolutely nothing. I'll love to talk about it if it actually goes anywhere, I'm, but, like, there's nothing. So. I need your bid at 2800 it is not with you, Heritage Live. It's against you at 26. Come back to me now with your bid at 20. Coming in late here. Are folks feeling the NES prices are generally down. Mixed bag. Mixed bag so far for myself, Seth. Mixed bag so far for myself. Because we've also had some massive sales. Like some stuff that might have disappointed. Like the Zelda didn't get a live bid, which is really interesting. But then freaking Clue Clue Land went for like 150,000. So I mean, bit of a mixed bag here so far. Mega Man 6, 9.4 A. One of the more available ones? Yeah, 31 copies. 9.4 sits right here. 196, 198. And last call. Man, why? Did, that feels like no love for Mega Man 6, though. 3,400? Like, I know Mega Man 6 isn't the most liked of the series, but really? Only 3,500? Field, hang tab, no Anyways, day, first production, and we're gonna open the bidding. It's at 120,000 now. Heritage Live, 125. I do want to listen to Sophie sell this one. 30,000. This was Valerie's curator's pick. If you received her email, she started a whole series of Metroidvania, and of course, it stars Samus Saran. The first female prota protagonist on Nintendo. We're at 140,000 Heritage Live. I need 150,000 now. 140,000 bid now at 150,000. You know what? The, is Samus pronounced Iran? Live. Don't forget, this is a great chance to use a cut bid. The like cut Saran? Bid I think I was called her Samus Aaron. <laughs> is that on me? Did I just like have my mind blown? 140,000 bid go 150,000. Heritage Live, 
Are you sure at 150,000 last call and all bids in at 150,000? Wow. 140,000. 168,000 after the um after the buyer's premium there. We have Met wow. Food, a um, interestingly though, last production, John, the estimate there, again, last people were saying 250K. And you can see there are actually a lot of overs for the 250 there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight overs. And then there's me, me the big bear. Big bear Greg. Well, bid goes 13. I mean, like 168 is freaking insane. That's a that's a great sale, but like, feels like one where people were expecting a huge, huge, huge pop. So we'll see. We'll see. And the Metroid, like, oh, that Metroid's a top tier for me. It's Aaron. Aaron seems good either way. Samus Aaron. Yeah, it's Aaron. That's what I thought. The first game released. Uh, in, with the Yo, Tom Rawls again, 449, dude, gotta chip out, it's like a million years in the future in the UK and you're drunk, best of all you guys, man, I appreciate you, Tom, seriously, very generous, man, I appreciate you. What did you bid on, Alma? What were you bidding on? Bid now. For the first Disney collaboration. Since there's nothing concrete about it, have I noticed since it's huge hype for nothing because of the shift in pricing at all? Um, have I noticed the sense the huge? Have you noticed since the huge hype for nothing cause? No, I wouldn't say that H two O. Like a lot of the noise about the lawsuit are people not involved in the market in any way. Anyway, um, I don't know. It, it, we'll see what happens with it, right? But. I'm not expecting anything. I think reserved investments gave the best breakdown I've seen on it from a realistic perspective of what we should expect. Check out his video if you haven't. It was good. Mega Man 6 kind of sucks, and it was late printed, maybe resulting in more sealed copies. Like, Mega Man 6 has always been a little bit more commonly, but if we just take the pop report numbers, it's like on pace with Mega Man 3 and Mega Man 2. Like Mega Man 6 doesn't just explode in numbers to the point where I would think it sells for that much lower than its counterparts, you know what I mean? Also, the Metroid 9.0A here, 14,400 for the oval. A whole world of difference moving up to a hang tab print. <laughs> also, Mickey Mouse Capade here isn't fucking around. We're going to cross 10,000. I know I haven't talked about it, but like, it's doing really well. Again, Capcom box. People love the Capcom games. Bid now. That Metroid feels super low. The second, the second one being the 9.0 A, you mean squeaks feels low. The 14,000 one. A lot of bulls in the over under. Yes, yes, there are. Yeah, drunk donos are the best donos. I finally understand why you want to be like a bartender. Get them good tips. Not good when both Samus and Zelda went both below expectations. Signs of more downward action to come. Could be Mike, or could just be like, you know, um, not good people doing the thing, right? The estimate, it gets for fun. It's not taken too seriously. It's just something to reference, right? It's just one more reference of where, um, more collectors other than myself are kind of gauging things. Because I mean, like, I don't know everything, right? I'm fully expecting to be wrong on shit, so. It just lets me introduce another opinion from other people. Mighty Bomb Jack is a hang tab print, I believe. Just really early Tecmo, impossible to find in a hang tab. Rarity is what pushes Mighty Bomb Jack. That's just a rare game. Here's Big Mike Tyson Punch Out 8.0A. You guys don't know Mike Tyson beat somebody the other day on a plane? Taking no prisoners in his old age. No prisoners. You still don't fuck with Mike. Very careful examination of this game. She says that it is the nicest 8.0 in the grade. We're at 13,000. Go 14,000. Nicest 8.0 you're ever going to see. 14,000 to advance. 13,000 against you, Heritage. He's a 9.6 A plus plus. You weren't even close, but you were winning before the live. Fair warning. Last Metroid call. flopped because your mom doesn't know what Metroid is, but she probably knows what Sonic is. Yeah, default gen. I've talked about that before, where like 
As gamers, well, like Metroid, Zelda, that. we think these characters are fucking huge, but like, even my girlfriend would walk in and be like, what the fuck is that if I had it on the mantle? Like, she, she can't recognize, Met recognize Metroid, she has no Samuses. It's kind of weird like that. Uh, yes, Adam, today is the day with the graded VGA games. You hate when they put the same yeah, titles back to back? The second one always sells so low. Yeah, it's weird that they do that, Marty, but like, in a lot of instances, it is a completely different market bidding on them. Like, I think the rationale is that if this one sells really high, right, if the 9.4A sells really high, then this one will also feel the momentum. It also works the inverse way as well, but I think that's the rationale. And on games like Metroid, these are literally two different markets. So one's like that, it doesn't matter. Tyson sold for 16,800 on the 8.08. What's Tyson on here? 40,000! And there you go, I said over on that one. My god, yeah, I thought Tyson was going to do much better than it did. I was an over on the Tyson at 40,000. Sold for 16.8. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. So like I said, um, I'm going to be wrong too on a lot of these. Yeah, Tyson Punch-Out, Airplane Edition, exactly. <laughs> 7,000 now, I'm going to do fair warning once more. Call and oh yeah, for sure. There are thousand. only so many people that can pay 100k for a video game. Exactly. Seven is it just good. is a different Last market. It is a smaller market. Dude was harassing Mike for a while. That was a pre-reefer Mike. He'd have buried him after 10 seconds. 100%. 100%. Oh yeah, Rob. The signature is a whole different audience. Whole different audience. 7,500. 7,000. You feel with your budget, VGA it just makes better sense? <laughs> you and me both, crushing. You and me both. Two, the, the Ninja Guide 9.68 8 plus, 8,400. It doesn't feel that expensive. I think we've seen Ninja Gaiden sell for a lot more than that. Look how many Ninja games are on the NES, though. Holy shit. A lot of Ninja games. I think Ninja Gaiden has sold for a lot more. There's 3.98s, 10.96s. I can't really price check um as we go because like every game is pretty fucking good, but I'm pretty sure Ninja Gaiden has sold for a lot more than that. Maybe it was a 9.8 I'm thinking of, but how would your VGA 85 Tyson Lake print fare comparatively? Uh, you'd outsell that CCT. If this is 16.8, yours should be able to do like 25.30, I would think. In a perfect market anyway, but you know how markets are. 9.68 plus here on the Ninja Gaiden 2 as well. Who the hell would mess with Mike Tyson? <sighs> if you watch the video, Lee, it just seemed like a setup, so it, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It looked like it was just one of those videos to taunt the dude, get a reaction, get a video, get money type thing. Ninjas were huge in the 90s, <laughs> apparently. Bid Everyone sell, 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 you'll buy? Heritage yes, Timothy, it's time to strike. Fair warning, all bids in for 2800 2700 Get a brand new sports car or a factory sealed game when the price of them are five. equally hot to ask which one you need more? Pretty much. Why is there basically no 10s? Is it just that literally every box has some type of flaw? You have to think of the wadded 10 the same way as the black label 10 needed. That's the uh, comparison there. So, like, your PSA 10 is your 9.8 A++. But your black label would be the Wada 10. That's kind of how that works. Yeah, exactly, Lee, exactly. It's just, it's just unfortunate. Unfortunate people just fucking with people, you know what I mean? Ninja Gaiden 3, the rarest of the three. Always been an expensive game. 9.8 A++, perfect condition. I expected They're big things out of this. Now, by big four. things, I mean close to 20,000. So a few more bids. Nope. Nope. Oh. What What just happened? 7105. What just happened? Lot Nothing? 14.4 on the Ninja the Gaiden there. Eight, yeah, I expected eight, closer to 20 on this one. 15, the Ninja Gaiden 2 sold for 3,200. Paperboy 9.4A. Highest graded copy they've ever now. offered. The Zero copies of this variant are graded higher. Nine total. Twenty eight hundred. I'm asking three thousand. Twenty nine and three. <sighs> Let's go thirty two. Three thousand bid asking thirty two hundred. Thirty two go thirty four hundred. You can't it's freaking wait for the Sonic? Yeah, exactly. Has mine come up yet? No, it's coming up right away here. Coming up right away here. It's sitting right here. The stinger. 
Big Stinger, get your get your bidding hands ready. Uh, Cody Williams, interesting enough, we have a wad of 10 in this auction coming up later. Um, it's Rap Jam Volume 1, I believe. Sports plus rappers. It's supposed to be one of the worst games ever on the Super Nintendo, I believe. Let's show you guys a quick. Rap Jam Volume 1, SNES. This game. This game is coming up later today in a wad of 10, a 10.0, and it's already over $10,000, so. So, 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 yes, yes, yes. We'll see what a wad of 10 does. Like I've always said, you guys, buy the grade, not the game. You know how it is. And the paper boy there, forty five hundred dollars. <laughs> Pretty strong for paper boy, as far as I'm concerned. Well, here's Rampage. Here's Rampage, nine point eight eight plus plus. Should explode, shouldn't it? <laughs> Doesn't every copy of Rampage go for way more than I expected to? The oval. There's actually three nine eights. That's kind of surprising. The round one does not have a 9-8. Not sure how much is going to matter on Rampage. How much am I expecting for this stinger? I'll tell you after the auction, Cody. I'll tell you guys after the auction. I'll tell you after the auction. After the auction I should really aim for the perfect 10. I tell you, Lee. I tell you. I need your bid at twelve thousand heritage line. You can retire if mine's not gonna sell that high, Martin. Cut bid at eleven five. I'm asking twelve. I'm not sure how much Jones sold it for, Alma. Not sure how much he sold it for. What's the craziest, most awesome ten that I know about? Um, for myself, Bomberman sixty four and a ten is insane. Bomberman sixty four is an insane lot of ten to have. Uh, where is it here? We go to... Where the fuck's N64? Yeah, look at that. There's only five of them total. And a fucking ten. There's no 9.8. There's no 9.6. There's one 9.4. And a fucking ten. That's insane to me. That's the most insane one to me. How much did I pay for this stinger? I think 300 US. You can see a huge corner case for the grade over game as I really want to retata at least at an 8.5 with my spending anything if money is an option. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that bomber on 64 is insane. Also, is this? I think this rampage is selling soft. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? 15, I feel like that rampage should have went to twenty thousand. Fifteen six. Let's what go ahead and take. Let's just check quick here. Oh, that was a circle. That was a circle for fourteen four. Okay. Okay, that's fair. It was, it was an earlier print that I was thinking of that exploded. So for the later print, fifteen six. I guess so. Silver Surfer, regarded as one of the shittiest games on the NES, one of the most difficult games on the NES. It's 65 goes 7. Heritage Yo, Rob. 7, 65 is big goes 7. Oh, yeah. I love the art on the Silver Surfer game as well. Let's take it to 8,000 now. It's 7,500. I'm asking. Do you guys remember that weird, like, 90s Silver Surfer TV show? I need your 8,000. I didn't even know if I, like, liked the show or not. I was so young. I'm pretty sure it was a 90s Silver Surfer show. He would talk to, like... I don't, I, would he talk to Galactus in it? I don't even remember. My mind is so fuzzy on it. I was so young, but I think the show was kind of shitty. Maybe I was just too young for it, but Silver Surfer, I always thought was cool. Art is awesome. Yeah, that's good, right? It's funny that appreciating the art on this game is like everything there. Just appreciate the art on this one more than the actual game. Oh shit, we got two back to back. 9,600 there for the 9.6A plus. 9.4A plus. What's the pop on silver? I assume it's not high. Oh, whoops, I'm in the wrong pop report there. I assume Silver Surfer does not have a high pop report. 12 of them, yeah, so a 9.6 and a 9.4 are coming up for auction. Two of the highest ones so far. Crap show. 
That's what I thought. I thought the show was bad, but I, I just don't know. 42. Asking 4,400 to You submitted over 30 games to Waterlot and newer games to almost all perfect condition, and I've never gotten 198. Wow, there you go. It's 46. You remember renting Silver Surfer and being so pissed? Oh my god, I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine. They're wanting to you. The PS2 pop report should be out in the coming weeks. Coming weeks, Rob. Yeah, next week or so, coming weeks. Sometime like that. That's all they said about it. PS1, though, dropped today, so, like, who knows? Maybe it'll be a few days. <laughs> they could just come out of nowhere. 5,600 for this one, 96 to go up a little bit. Almost double the price there if you want to go from a 9.4 to a 9.6, which is pretty consistent with what we see. Like, it's often a big jump to go up to that next echelon. Oh, yeah, Takara, we're live! We're live! You have the bid at 7 goes 7,500. It's seven bid How much do I think a 9 8 Jackie Chan five, Stunt Master is worth? Seven, goes I couldn't even venture a guess, Collector's Luck. Couldn't even venture a guess. Any idea when Waddle will grade Game Gear? Couldn't even venture a guess, Stampede. Couldn't even venture a guess. It seems like they're bringing in the modern selection right now, so I don't know how excited they are about bringing in something esoteric like Game Gear. So. Fair warning. Yeah, I don't. 10, I don't know. I don't know. In, last call. What does a crack do to a jewel case grade? Kind of destroys it. I think you fall to like eight, eight point five. Well, number sixty-two. We've got. No, Spider what it doesn't grade Spider Game Gear, Monty. What it does not grade Game Gear. You have to go through VGA. Also, Bart versus the Space Mutants. 9.8 there went for 11,400. The Simpsons games on NES, eh? Crazy. Crazy. Apparently, we haven't seen one come up for auction for a long time, too. Wow. Crazy. 9.68 plus on the Sinister Six. I feel like we saw this sell pretty large in a weekly. Almost the same price. All right, Sophie, pump this shit. Pump it. Pump it, Sophie. Seventeen hundred goes seventeen hundred now. Seventeen hundred is bid. Seventeen is against you. Go eighteen. Bid often and bid strong. Heritage Live. But nineteen is against you. Go two thousand. It's nineteen. I'm asking two now. Two thousand prior to. Try again at twenty two. There's my bid. Go twenty four. Now it's with Heritage Live. Twenty four is bid. Oh yeah, here we go. Heritage Live. Bid go twenty eight. You're already in this deep. Might as well keep bidding. In sealed condition, I need 2,800 Heritage Live. 26 is bid, go 28 now. 28, go 3,000. 3,000 to advance. There's my three, go 3,200. 32, go 3,600. Bart versus Bait Musements is one of the worst games ever made. Jesus. 34 is bid, go 36. Jesus. I didn't realize it was like that. I always played the uh, Simpsons arcade machine growing up. You would get there eventually. Now I'm asking 4,000. It's 38, I'm asking for Heritage Live. 3,800 is bid, go 4,000. What's the difference between Internet and Heritage Live? Heritage Live the Internet bids advanced. were put prior to the Live. That's the difference. 4,200 to advance Heritage Live. The Internet bids were prior to the Live session. 42 is bid, now I'm asking 44. Heritage Live, you have Yeah, hopefully another 40K here. here. We only got another uh, 36,000 to go. 4,400 to advance Heritage Live. I Come on, Sophie, bid. keep the magic live. Oh, uh, don't close it. All bids in now and last call at 44. Oh, there we go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. There's my 44. Go 46. The late bid magic. Heritage Live. I need an advance to 46. The late bid magic. 4,600 to advance. 44 is bid. Go 4,600. <laughs> Heritage Live. Fair warning to you and last call for 46. 46 is for 48. Let's go! 46, insane, insane. Insane. So this has gone past my own expectations, my own hopes for it. I was honestly hoping for 3,500. So I'm happy. Completely happy. Oh, uh, yeah, this is mine. This is mine, Stampede. I'm completely happy. All bids in? 4,800. Fantastic. Great, cool. <laughs> we take those, boys. We take those. That was awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Complete inbox. First production, Matt Sticker, highest graded first production copy we have offered, and we're going to open the bidding. 
<laughs> now, yeah, now I can take that stinger money and go buy Sonic. I don't want to talk about that sale too much just yet because we have a freaking Matt Sticker Mario coming up right here. We're at 40, now, Heritage this is only a complete in box, first print, first production Mario Bros. 000 on sealed copies of this game, of this variant, don't exist. So you can't be like, oh, I'll get a sealed one. Like, this is it. To advance, That's why we're seeing the price action we're seeing. You have the bid. 44 is bid. Let's go 46,000. Yo, thanks, guys. Isn't that high for a 7.5? Stinger is basically impossible, Lee. Is big, um, Stinger just doesn't exist. There's seven of them. So, right here is where mine falls. There's three of them higher. It's just one of those games ruled by rarity. How long after grading did it take for me to get to the auction block? Four months, I think? Four months, I think. Fair warning. All bids in now. 50's bid, there it is. How about 55,000? Isn't there only a sealed gloss sticker, Marty? I don't think there's a sealed matte sticker that exists. Don't forget your cup bids are available. One I thought it's only a sealed um gloss sticker that exists. Yo, appreciate it, Lee. Appreciate it, everyone. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it, appreciate it. That's how it is in this market. I always tell you guys, always be selling. You know, there's always something in your collection that you should sell. Stinger just doesn't mean enough to me anymore at this kind of price point. You know, when it was worth 300 bucks, I was super happy to own it. With it worth 5,000, I'm not nearly as excited to own it. So someone else can go and appreciate that one. You have the bids. You're at 55. I need 60,000 to advance. Uh, no, H2O. I sent it Fair to warning. Heritage Auctions. They handled the grading now, for me, everything. So Heritage handled everything on it. And they had it, um, I think I sent them the package in November or December. So start to finish, like we got in the auction, we got it graded. Oh, five months. Four months, five months. And the freaking Mario Bros. Matt, $66,000. Fucking, oh, mouthwatering. For a 6.5 box. 6.5 box. I don't think a higher box has come up for auction, just so you guys know. But like, oh my god, it's insane. It's crazy. Crazy. Most important game? Most important game that exists? Mario? Probably. Fucking insane. Fucking insane. Rob, the best option <laughs> between Heritage and eBay would require more information. Like, we'd have to actually talk about what games you have. Um, Heritage is awesome for some items, right? But eBay is good for some items either. But we'd have to actually talk about what you have. I don't want to just say, like, one or the other would be the perfect option. So, so the fast track to get something graded and sold is to go directly through Heritage? It's kind of nice. Like, it's nice that they'll handle it all for you. Super Mario Bros. there was a 9.4A oval. 60,002 for the sealed one there. Wow. Mario Bros. 2, 9.4A plus for 48. That's soft as hell, isn't it? Let me just go and pop this quick. 9.4A plus. What did we have? 9.0A plus, 9.4A, 52,000. Yeah, this was soft. Soft on the Mario 2 there. Back in January, at the last signature auction, actually, a lower grade copy sold for a bit more. A little bit of a soft sale there on Mario 2. Here's the 9.6A plus later. Like I said, some games you have the circle for early, oval for late. Yeah, I don't know if WADA gets any kind of priority either. Um, or if Heritage gets any kind of priority either. They might, they might not. I don't know. Would I rather the matte or the sealed? <laughs> Marty, I would probably have to go for the sealed one, to be completely honest. But. Uh, Super Junk, you can set what you want them to pay for. So the Stinger, I'm pretty sure, went in on Warp Zone as well as the uh, Kung Fu. But some of my other games that weren't as valuable did go on speedrun. So. 
24 go 2600 24 bid now for 20 and the mario bros 2 9.6 a plus 26 000 for that one mario bros 3 complete in box copy 9.6 so <laughs> not that rare to find a complete in box mario 3 but that is an impossible grade up there in the 9.6 3 is bid go 32 3000 go 3200 heritage live you have the bid at 3 32 is bid go 3400 it's 32, I'm asking 34 to advance. Yeah, exactly. The weeklies have had some bombs. Exactly. Heritage isn't just like a magic money printing machine. Some items, like, you shouldn't send to open auction, so. 3,200. 7,1,2,5. Yeah, Matt Sticker's super cool. Just to it being, like, the first game, the test run copy, like, it's Mario. The Matt Sticker is super cool. Just those prices have gotten insane on that one, so. It's 18 bit now at 19. Pop so 1, PS1, and PS2 bangers. Oh, yeah, no, those are probably those are probably games that are better set for um, Heritage, Rob. Those sound like Heritage type games to me. 26 asking 28. 26 is bid go 28. Thought they would have some VGA games starting up today. Haven't seen one yet. There are VGA games for the other consoles, I know for sure. So they will be coming handy, Freak. They will be coming. Swordmaster, just rare. 3, now just straight up rare. Yeah, five total copies of Swordmaster. Just rare. Just a rare freaking game. If you're a full set NES guy, you're well aware of how hard it is to find Swordmaster. You have two SNES Zero Wada Pop games I'm thinking about selling. Should I sell? It would depend what the games are, Mark. It would depend what the games are. Some zero pop games are still shitty, you know what I mean? <laughs> Some games are zero pop because they suck. So it depends what games they are. Am I planning to do a reaction video on the PS1 pops? Yes, Mike. Yes, I will. I'm going to do videos on every single one of the pop reports there just to give my thoughts, break it down. And yeah, we'll talk about it. From Australia, just wondering what I think of Sony PSP collecting. You've been collecting from the start with over 200 games and like 20 sealed. Do you think they will always be niche? I do think PSP will always be more niche, yes. But I also think sealed PSP is like very overlooked at this point, so... I think it will stay niche, but that doesn't mean that certain titles on the PSP library are vastly overlooked right now. But. And the Swordmaster here, you can see it's even, it's even passing Stinger. It's a better game than Stinger. And that Mario Bros. 3 complete in box did sell for $4,000. Fair warning. Last call, 5,000. 6,000 on the Swordmaster. Really cool. Just just really cool to see. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I sold a VGA 80 plus or 85 of this game for like 400 bucks years ago. Is what it is. Here's freaking Tech Mobile. I'll take 82,500. I'm going to let her take this one. I'm asking 85,000 to advance. 80,000 Heritage Live. The bid is against you with our internet bid. I go 85,000. Heritage Live, are you sure? Last call. Oh, one. There we go. We finally got a live bid. There it is. It's a cut bid. Go 85,000. This game almost had the it's same fate as Zelda there with no live bids. Come back to me with 85,000. 85,000. It is with you, Heritage Live. You have the bid on the cut at 82,500. I need your advance to 85,000. Fair warning. All bids in now. Last call for 85,000. Wow. So there you go, right? 99,000 for the so early print one. tech mobile. Um, what, this is one we talked about too. I think I thought it was going to go over, to be honest. Yeah, we've set the over under at 100K there. I thought it was going to go over just because of the insanity we saw where an oval print of this game, a later print sold for 144,000. Obviously not a sale that should have happened, right? Like every now and then with Heritage, you just have sales that make no freaking sense. That's the fun of open auctions, wide open, right? So bidding wars do happen. This feels more reasonable, I guess, at 99. I don't know. Tech Mobile is just like... 
<laughs> I have a very hard time wrapping my ra mind, like my brain, around Tech Mobile being one of the highest games on NES period. Right? Like this is like the tippy top. Tech Mobile is a top NES game. That's hard for me to rationalize. Kind of hard for me to rationalize the Tech Mobile there. I know it's fucking beloved. I know it's Bo Knows, Bo Jackson. I get it. It just. That one's hard for me. 4,800 bid go five. If I had 99,000 to spend, give me Mario. Like, look, you can go buy fucking. You can almost walk away with Mario Bros. 1 and 2 for the price of Tech Mobile. Not 8,500. I don't know. I don't know. Crazy to me. Crazy to me. Tech Mobile fans. Crazy to me. 95 for 10,000. Oh. 95 is bid go 10. Crazy to me. It's at 9,500. Heritage Live, you have the bid at 95, go 10,000. Yeah, I agree with Super Junk there, Rob, where if you're getting into like five figure game sales, it's just kind of easier to go through the auction house. eBay is going to take like 15% from you anyway on the sales, so like you avoid all of the bullshit if you go through an auction house with those five figure games. So. You could buy all three all Ninja Gaiden games 12, twice 12, for the price of Tech Mobile. Yeah, I, I, VGDB, I don't know, man. All the comparative prices, like, <laughs> maybe Tech Mobile will be the grail sports game of all sports games. But, like, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's see the pop on Tecmo there. 31 of them. The round seal has five. Like, it's rare. I'm not discounting that Tech Mobile is objectively rare. Just one of those games. One of those games is not for me. One of those games is not for me. For the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Heritage Live. It's 9.88 plus. I need your bid at 30,000. Very rich They're people warning. that don't know a lot about the gaming scene. Oh, I mean, they, you have to know about gaming, though, I think, in order to know Tech Mobile, right? Like, it's notorious. Like, pop culture still references Tech Mobile. I'm pretty sure The Simpsons, Family Guy, like, every show has referenced Tech Mobile, so. Like it's, I don't know. I don't know. I know it's sports collector gaming crossover, but I don't know. It's crazy to me. Here's Turtles 9.88 plus. Are you sure? This is the yeah. It's 9.8, of course. Thirty-six thousand dollars. Let's see Turtles there. Is that good or bad? Another from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is a what a nine. Nine point eight eight plus sold for forty eight thousand last signature. Down twelve thousand dollars from the last sale. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That 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 sale's gonna scare the shell out of someone. With our internet bidder at sixteen thousand, I need you seventeen thousand. Heritage Live fair warning. All bids in and last call. Do these people think they will sell these on for more? I'm sure some, for sure. I'm sure this is a little bit of greater fool theory with this purchasing. There it is. You have the bid go nineteen. For sure. A lot of the belief at these higher numbers has to come from the belief that the item won't drop in value, at least, right? So fair warning. Some last people for sure. Eighteen thousand. 18 May with the 999 Grail Lynx Crossbow Training Sealed Collection. <laughs> yes. Yes, 18 May. We still have the original box for Lynx Crossbow Training in uh, Mom's basement. That's in storage. We still got the original box for that. Lynx Crossbow Training was, no joke, a very fun game. Very fun game. Yo, Corn Dog Steve. 75 bid 8, 8 is bid go 85. <laughs> On Heritage Live at 8, 000, Yeah, with eBay, if you do the open auction too with really expensive things, you just have to worry about like fake bids, shill bids, backouts. Like it's just like you have to do all of that shit yourself that an auction house will just take care of you, right? They'll take care of all of the fulfillment, all of the random shit that could happen. It's ease of mind, right? You're paying for ease of mind when you go through the auction house as well. So. It's not all just about like the prices and the stuff like you do get additional little benefits like that where you just don't have to deal with bullshit.
Okay, this is also like really freaking cool. I was unfortunate enough to grow up with Terminator 2. This is one of like 10 games we owned on NES. If you've never played Terminator 2, it's fucking terrible. It's terrible. It's one of the hardest NES games there is. It's terrible. Um, but the cover is really freaking cool. Like, like, it's very, very cool for such a terrible game. It's a lot like Silver Surfer. I would love to have one of these, but like, yeah, no. You know what I mean? Like, not 10,000, but... Doesn't Heritage only charge the seller, what, like 10%? Yeah, it's a variable rate, Super Junk. Somewhere between 5 to 15%. I think if you have a, um... I think it's like uh, 15% if you're doing like a small commission. Like if you just barely meet the requirements, I think it's 15%. But if you're sending in, say, $50,000, $100,000 of stuff, you can negotiate. Also, $10,000 there on Terminator 2. Which, well, yeah, seven of them. <laughs> it's, yeah, crazy. Even Terminator 6. All bids in for no Terminators. Last call. No Terminators. 11 5 with a cut bid, a sneaky cut bid at the last second. How about 12,000? Heritage Live, you're at 11 and a half, go 12. You knew my origin story had to be tragic. Even you couldn't imagine having to play T2 for NES. I'm pretty sure we only ever got to like level 2, level 3. Like, we did beat that first boss on the train, cargo, whatever, like, a few times, right? Like, we grinded the shit out of T2, so, like, we got decent. You know what's crazy, Startide? I owned T2, Darkman, and Bayou Billy. What the fuck? <laughs> we had, like, like Darkman and T2. How did we own both of those? Insane. Insane. Tetris there, sold for 13800 I do just want to price check this really quick as well. Six thousand to advance. Heritage Live. The 8.5 sold back in the signature for 96, so we're up from there to 13.8. I need more information. Top Gun, Gun 9.4 A plus. 5,500 is bid. There's my six thousand goes 65. It looks very good. Six thousand. Yeah, Dark Man is awful. Yes. That's what I mean. Like Dark Man T2 by Bayou Billy might be good, but it was freaking hard, J.K. Freaking hard as a kid. Seven thousand bid goes 75. It's 7,000, there's my 75. Let's we had no thousand. hope of advancing in Bayou Let's Billy as a kid. No hope. 8,000 to advance. Also, this Top Gun's kind of popping. This is a Rev A copy. There is an earlier print of this game. Second highest of only 12. Wow, okay, Top Gun. <laughs> One of the cheapest cartridges on the NES, but when you go into the sealed world, man, stuff can pop. Fair warning. All bids in for 9,000. 8,500. Yeah, there we go. 10,000 on the Top Gun, hey? One, zero, one. Oops. No, oh, guess we're going to check it. 10,000 on Top Gun. 5,500 back in October for the 9.08 8 plus. The Wait, what was that so far? Okay, this one doubled. Yeah, so we doubled up there. Going from the 9.0 to a 9.4. Uncanny X-Men, 9.68 plus. 5 is bid go 5,500. 5 is bid asking 5,500 now. It's at 5,000. Top Gun is such a weird title to me to sell for actual money. Everyone owned it and it was notoriously bad. Yeah, I think that's a game that also just has like that pop culture bump. Like with it being a big ass movie. Top Gun has what? That landing sequence that's supposed to be notoriously impossible, right? So it just hangs out. It's popular. On the cut bid now, I'm still asking for your 6,000. 6 is bid go 65. It's six goes sixty-five. Heritage Live sixty-five. I'm pretty sure what Phoenix Resale sold a ninety, a ninety plus of this for like ten thousand. Does that sound correct? Seven. That's the only price comp I know of, like a high-grade X-Men. Seven is big. And yeah, the cover on this one I freaking love. This is this is the X-Men I grew up with. This is the X-Men I know. I love this cover. Love it. Never played the game though. It's at seventy-five hundred. I'm asking eight. Bid now for 8,000. There it is. Go 85. 8, you probably had the ocean 8, 000, games because they became cheap as I never got past the first level on 9, T2. 000. At least you got good at it. 8, Maybe 5, that's why we own the ocean Here games. Maybe. Maybe they were, yeah, discount bin now. games, but. It's at 8,500. I'm asking 9,000 to advance. 
Just a quick thought you had earlier. Does a pop report actually like raise or lower prices in general? It can do both, Rob. The pop report will have both effects on certain titles. Overall, a lot of stuff does have really low pop reports, so I think it gave a lot of leverage to buyers, but you can also have games that go down due to the pop report. Some games will be losers due to the pop report. Works both ways. I need your 10,000. And the X-Men here, crossing over 10,000. Yo, Keith, thanks for popping in, man. Have a good day at work. 10 is bid go 11. It's 10,000 knocking 11, 11 is bid go 12. I need your 12. Yeah, Elysium, isn't that the truth, right? Sometimes when you see these games sell, it's like, like a lot of the times if I watch these auctions, I might have something where I have no intention of selling it. And then I see what it sells for and it's like, you know what I mean? Like the, the price, the price of something changes so much now about if I actually want to keep it in my collection or not. It's 15, I'm asking 16,000 heritage lives. Addy, make me a pizza dough, please, while you're at it. 15 goes 16. Please make me some pizza dough as well. 16,000 to you, or fair warning. Also, this X-Men did very well, as far as I'm concerned. Did I see the barn full of games on Chase? Yes, I did, Martin. Man, Chase is an absolute madman for being able to handle that. This is a water 8.5. Like, an absolute madman for Chase for being able to handle that. Yo, if we're, if we're selling off T2s, are we, are we all selling off T2s? Do I need to purchase one? I'd kind of like to own a T2. Urban Champion, 8.5 B+, another game that I don't believe has a later print? Am I wrong on Urban? 40,000 bid go 42,000. 40 Four 46. sealed copies. I think they're probably all hang tab. I feel like Urban is another one that didn't receive reprints. Let's see what we got here. It's 44, I'm hang tab, gloss sticker, hang tab. Oh, it did. It got a rev print. There we go. Urban Champion did at least get a rev print. This is a hang tab print here. 8.5. Uh, it sits right here. Right there. There's one better. One better, and then a gloss sticker, which who knows if that one will ever hit the market, ever. So, basically, if you want to own a sealed Urban Champion, this is your shot. Yeah, Lee, Chase isn't fucking around. <laughs> I have to assume Chase took a business loan or something, but yeah, that man is not playing around. Cut bid at 67,500 goes 70,000. Goes and the urban here. What did? What was the? Seventy-five thousand was the over/under on the urban. Only a B plus seal as well. B plus seal, and we're over over the seventy-five thousand there. I didn't think it would. Wow, urban champion. I thought the B plus, the eight point five B plus is like your psychological double whammy. Like if 9.0A is the, the copy you strive for, 8.5B plus is like the kick in the nuts copy. But if you really can't be, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Rarity will command anything on this. I was being too harsh about 8.5 apparently though. I need Does one hell of a game. Fair warning. All bids in. Last call for 85,000. 80, wow. 96,000. Wow. <laughs> Wild. Wild to me. That's a, that's, a, that's a big sale there for Urban Champion. That's crazy. Yeah, the, the black box games have done very well tonight. There's one more coming up here. There's a Wild Gunman hang tab coming up. Another hunt hang tab there. If this follows suit, this should be like forty, fifty thousand dollars game as well. Uh, yeah, I believe there is a little break between sessions, Lysium. I do believe we will get a little bit of a breather. I think I lost. Am I out of focus? No, there we go. I look okay. Fair warning at a thousand. Last call. Just a quick note there. Was Roger Rabbit the lowest selling game at 1100? Lot number 81, Wampam. I think that was just the lowest game right there. I think Roger Rabbit is the big loser of the first bunch here. Oh, no, gotcha. Gotcha sold for a thousand bucks. Is there anything under a thousand? 26 is bid, it's against you. I need your 2800. Nothing under a thousand dollars. 
Nothing under a thousand bucks. For twenty eight hundred and lost coal, all bids in. We just started making our own pizzas. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome to make your own pizzas. It's like, it's, it's, it's very fun. It's a fun event and they taste delicious. Making your own pizza is fantastic. What was the grade on Roger Rabbit? It was no slouch. A 9.68. No slouch on Roger Rabbit there. Here's Wampum too. Kind of a rare Jalico game. 9.4A+. Oh, Indiana Collection. Indiana. Indiana Collection as well. A true hidden gem. Wampum. 4,300. Here we go. 10-5 with a cut bid, go 11,000. 12, 13 is against you, 14 to you, 15 against you. Oh, yeah, easy. 16 with Heritage Live. Easy getting some bids here. 16, 5, 17 to you now, Heritage Live. There is my bid, go 18,000. It's 17 bid now for 18. 18 is bid, go 19, Another launch 000. title, too. 19, go 20,000. 20,000, the bids change, Heritage Live. Bid now for 20,000. You sound like a crazy guy, but you actually think the Urban Champion was a good price. It's a pop four black box. It may be a very long time until another comes up. Oh, I mean, that's the that's the gamble, Mike. That's the gamble, man. Like, if black box set collecting truly does become the pinnacle, the absolute top echelon of video game collecting, then yeah, like... Last call for bids at 22,000. The Wild Gunman, though, did not get the love relative. Only 24,000 there on the Gunman. Well, number 83, we've got Winter Games. It's a water 9.0 A+. Plus. Wild Field Gunman has 11 bidding. total. There 50, are... 50, 50. 32, but 34 is against you. Go 3,600. Oh, it did get a Rev A print as well. So we are what? The 9.0 right here? Three copies higher and a gloss sticker that you'll probably never see. Yeah, Gunman, 24,000. I thought it would have got a little bit more juice. Can someone explain Winter Games to me? Fair warning. Heritage Live, last call for 4,200. 4,000. I'm surprised that Winter Games just sold that high. Six of them. Lot number 84, the last of this session. I'm surprised. I didn't know Winter Games was so sought after. $4,800, damn. And here's Zelda 2, 9.68, end off the NES lot. Look at that. Look at that little jumpy jump. Look at that little jumpy jump. 17000 16,000 Heritage Live, I need an advance to 17,000. Maybe people thought Winter Games was a black box. Like, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I was surprised by that one. Heritage Live, it is sealed. I can't explain that one. 16,000 bid goes 17,000. What's after NES? Um, yeah, we should go into the next stuff. We still have Sonic to sell today. We still have a ton of expensive games, so. You can explain that Winter Games is a bad game that should not have gotten that action. And that concludes our first session, but don't go far because session two starts at 6.30. You've got 25 minutes to grab a snack, and we'll see you again in 25 minutes. Thank snack you. time! Get your snacks, get your drinks. Let's just go ahead and take a little looky look here at what happened. If you weren't here for the beginning, um, yeah, the Metroid 9.4A Plus leads the first session at 168,000. And then we have the Black Box Love here with Clue Clue 9.4 for 156. Urban Champion 8.5B Plus 96. Super Mario Bros. 8.0 Complete in Box. Matte Sticker. First Print 66,000. Woo! Wild Gunman there 24,000. The Kung Fu, 19,000 for an 8.0A. Black boxes put on the map this auction. Jesus. Very strong for those. Pretty surprising here to see as well. Both the Zelda here for 111,000 didn't get a live bid. And neither did the Mario Bros. 9.4A. Did not get a live bid. Neither did the Turtles. Internet. Oh, maybe it got a live bid, but the internet, the pre-bid outsold it, sorry. That could just be that pre-bids outsold the live bids. I know for a fact that this one didn't get a live bid, but I wasn't paying enough attention to these two. Regardless, live bid did not push it. 
some up sales, some down sales today. It's going to be very fun to look through all the comps. It's going to be very fun to see the opinions. It's going to be very fun to see the reactions. It's going to be very fun to see how this all goes. Very fun to see. Take to Facebook. Take to Twitter. Give your hot takes. Give your hot takes. Let me get some music going on here, actually, as we sit here. There's no reason to be sitting in the frickin' silence anymore. Uh, where am I? Let's get the synth. Uh, let's just pop it over to here. Nice little synth while we wait. There we go. There we go. We can set a little bit of a mood. Some copyright-free music. You guys know how it is. You guys know how it is on the YouTube grind. What a frickin' first half, hey? What a frickin' first half. Yeah, here we go, second half, if you guys don't know. Sonic, Madden, Madden, Mario Kart 64, holy fuck, this next thing is... I'm like, I'm more excited for this thing than I was for the NES. For me, this is more exciting. Yo, appreciate it, Seth, man, appreciate it a lot. Have yourself a good rest of your day, dude. Is Mike coming back? We need more of his energy. You just want him back because he's a fellow Mike. Mike's got to stick together there. When the next session starts, remind people to like the video. You need a forget to mention the like video jar that you put a dollar and send it to me. Yes, seriously. I forget all the time, Timothy. I'm glad you're on top of it. You have nothing hot to offer? Put your hot takes out there. Get your hot takes out there. Glad to see you're well, man. Mostly watch the VODs. Glad to see you. Yo, to Tidenius. Tidrenius. I think I've seen you in here before, like a while ago. Good to see you in here on the live, man. Unfortunately, you gotta go, but definitely gonna watch the replay later. Thanks again. Have a good night, boys. Yo, Marty. Thanks for popping in, dude. And I'm sure you're excited about how the auction went, dude, so. Takara, 10 euro pounds? I forget now. $10 donation there. Forgot this was a thing. Snack, money, enjoy. Yo, dude. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Why were people predicting so high for that Tyson? Only 8.0 in late production? I don't know, man. I think Tyson has a lot of insane sales under its belt already. Like, I think we've seen Tyson pop a lot. Where it, like, might otherwise not. All the Xbox copies. What do we got here? Over under Halo 2 at 9K. Is it a 9.8A++ cam or what is it? So here, this is probably why. Because the 9.2A++ sold for 114,000. Oh, I guess, yeah. The 8.5A though. Only 13 back in December. 9.4A++ 84. <laughs> a tale of two Tysons there, hey? You have to be that upper echelon. If you're like, if you're over the 9.0 bump... Tyson sells for a fuck ton, but apparently it just like 8.0. That ain't it, dog. That ain't it, dog. You gotta be that 9.0, 9.2. Crazy. That mat sticker was crazy. You can't wait for Wada to post your grade. Seriously, dude, you hit a jackpot. Hit an absolute jackpot, Marty. I'm happy for you. 9.A plus Y seam. Mm. I'm going under, Cam. I'm going under. I'm going to take the under on that one, but not by much. Maybe like a $7,800 sale. I'm going to take the under, though. Greg, this is a pound symbol. Simon Space! Let's go, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate it, and thanks for the reminder that that is indeed a pound symbol. Appreciate it, dude. Let's go pop over to the Insta and see if anyone's talking. Oh, I'm not on my actual account here. Just one second. Gotta swap screens. Let's see if anyone's chattering about the results thus far. Come on, Insta. Don't leave me hanging here. Yeah, seriously, Lee. Seriously, the frickin' the Brits, the English, the English viewers. Let's see what we got. Let me just frickin' we're zoomed. We're zoomed right in. We're on old people's screen here. 
Surely someone's got something to say about the results so far. Sharing some classics there. Famicom gun, really cool. PS1 pop reports, cool. Oh, come on. Come on, where are the hot takes? Do I have to go to Facebook for them? <laughs> this dude's looking to buy something already. Looks like he has a Matt sticker. Holy fuck, though. Good on him. Wow. Everyone flaunting their nice little pop things there. We got baseball stars hanging out. I want to see some hot takes, though. Don't forget to bid on Mario Kart, PS1 Pop Reports. PS1 Pop Reports. Don't forget to bid on this. Of course, of course, got a bid. Nothing happening on Instagram yet. People are still taking in the information. Heritage is happy about the 66k. Of course. <laughs> of course. As they should be. Frickin' insane sale. Frickin' insane. You see there's a VGA 90 Pokemon 20th anniversary there. Why did my music stop? I have to open this in Windows Media Player? Come on. Don't do this. Don't make me open up another thing here. Get this going. You guys still use Windows Media Player, right? They haven't come out with anything better in the past 20 years. Windows Media Player, we can all agree, is still the pinnacle. That's what I thought. There we go. There we go. Gotta go to Facebook for the hot takes? That's what I figured. That's what I figured. Oh, sorry, what was I hoping for on the st Stinger? About 3,500. Only 3,500 was I expecting or hoping for. Not even Winamp, I'm ashamed. Yeah, I know. I know, I'm, I'm pathetic with some of these apps I run. You see, there's a VGA 90 Pokemon 20th Anniversary 3DS with red, blue for 3,500. Buy it now, do I think it's a good deal? I don't think it can be that good of a deal right now if it's just sitting there. A 20th Anniversary 3DS console? I I don't know enough about it to even really give you a, a fair shake there, to dear to Ty Drenis. I don't know enough about it. So, I don't even want to give you a shake there as to which one. Gotta go to Facebook for the hot takes. Yeah, are people already chatting over there or what? Let me just get that open here. We'll go take a peek at what's shaking on Facebook. Let me just make sure I'm signed in. I'm signed in here. <laughs> Metal Gear owners right now. Yeah, that's what someone was saying in chat there. 37 9.8 Metal Gears, 17 9.6s. Metal Gear Solid PS1. It, it's a case fresh game. There were cases of it. So. Stadium events. Just head over to Sealed Games Club. That was like the commentary in this group. Commentary in this group, so it was pretty good. Nothing still. Nothing still. No one talking about it yet. Come on, folks. We're like 10 minutes after the auction ended already. Oh, people are disappointing me. People are disappointing me. I scroll social media to see the hot takes. Nothing so far, though. We're going to have to wait until the auctions are fully over, I think. We're going to have to wait until they're over. Nothing yet, boys. Nothing yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, the VGA games are still coming, Fall Ball. VGA is coming right away. VGA games are coming in the second half, where we're going to see some explode. There seems to be a lot of 9.8 PS1, more than I thought that general list, likely their case pack. The thing, like, let's just go over the PS1 pop reports. With PS1, a lot of the games that get sent in are gonna be games that do not have any cracks in general, right? Most people at this point in time are not gonna be sending in cracked games. So if you don't have a crack on your PS1 game, 
you have a great shot of being 9.4 to 9.8. If you don't have a crack on a double jewel case, then you have a really good chance of 9.698. So the grades on PS1 right now are definitely going to skew towards the higher box grades. And it's unfortunate that we don't have seal grades at this point. We really need seal grades to differentiate these because with PS1, much more than other consoles, you can have a 9.8B, right? You can have a 9.8C+. Plus. Like that is fully possible on PS1, where on cardboard and stuff, if you have a 9.8, you probably don't have a C plus seal, right? You probably have like an 8.0B. Like you're almost always going to have additional wear if the cellophane is also ripped. Where on PS1, you can rip them without damaging the case itself. So, that's kind of what's happening there with PS1. Uh, seal grades are going to be very important for PS1 op reports. Very important. So, we just got to get there. We just got to get there. We'll get there. They'll come. Just not there yet. Song's too scary. Too scary for you boys. That's better. That's better. <laughs> that first one was too spoopy. Halloween vibes. Halloween vibes in the chat. Oh. What's special about a double jewel that makes it hold up better? It's not so much that super junk. It's that when you have the double jewel, like on a single jewel, they rate the manual positioning, the staples, or any creases in the manual. On a double jewel, you don't have to worry about the manual. So it's literally just the casing. So if your casing doesn't have any cracks in it, it's probably going to get a really high grade. So. That's what that... It's not so much that the case itself holds up better. It's that you no longer have the manual taken into the equation. That's the interesting thing there, Super Junk. So. Without those seal grades, it's really hard to gauge where stuff is going to fall. But. Like I said, we'll get them eventually. Yeah, well, probably less double jewels did. Yeah, exactly. That's probably true, too. Probably less double jewels were shipped in bubble mailers. The scary music set the mood for the upcoming price hike after the pop reports. Yeah. Uh, yeah, both VGA and WADA will lower your grade if your hang tab is in shit shape. Like, if you have, like, something that's yellow and nasty and peeled and dirty, yeah, it'll hurt your grade. <laughs> hang tabs are never, like, plastic hang tabs are never a grade, like, you can't raise your grade with a plastic hang tab, but they will take away. So, they're kind of shitty. A lot of them do not matter, though. Like, if it's clean, if it's white, doesn't matter. But, yeah, if you have a dirty one and stuff, you can't have that. You can't have that. Oh my god, it's freaking 518 already. Whew. That's crazy. We're two hours and some in already. That is nuts. That is actually crazy. Wow. If you have a hang tab on one of your games though, Rob, and it's not in great shape, you can remove it. Like you can remove hang tabs pretty easy, honestly. They, they're not they're not a big deal so you can just go ahead and pop those off if it is dirty if it is dirty or anything just pop it off skate soup how long have i been yelling at the freaking moon to not buy this game when it was selling for like what was the peak that game peaked pretty damn high ultimate battle 22 Oh my lord, the fuck is this? Dublin Brasher New York style doubloon. EB punch on the breast. Three million dollars for a coin? What a scam. What a scam. Um, anyways. 480, I guess, was the highest it went for. <laughs> factory cases used to go for 432. That was, oh, that was in February. That wasn't even that long ago. You can buy a factory case for 400 bucks. 408, 384, 360, 336, 312, 312. There's a fuck ton of Ultimate Battle 22 out there. A, oh, a metric fuck ton. It's insane. So it's pretty crazy. 
Yes, the first session with VGA games in it. With beauties such as this. That we are going to see absolutely explode. Gonna be crazy. If only we had someone to tell us how to invest in coins and currency. Yeah, exactly. Coins, currency, historical documents, first edition books, art and artifacts. If only we had someone with the knowledge. If only. Oh yeah, shit, that was in 2005. You're right, that's insane. Three mil in 2005 for some coins. That's nutty. That's crazy. Doing a look at CIB prices. Surprised to see they aren't too bad for graded non-sealed. Uh, what kind of CIB prices, Toad? TGA. I was going to call you Tony for some reason. What kind of CIB prices? You once removed a damaged hang tab and took one from a cheap game and put it on back on the exact same spot. <laughs> Why did you want to put it back, though? Why did you want to hang tab on the game, though? That's my question. SNES primarily? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I agree. I agree. CIB isn't terrible. The EB Brasher Doubloon, if you remember, is a weird one of one with a weird backstory and crazy providence. I love it. I love it. I love that you know about it, Skate Soup. I love it. That's so funny. So funny. You still, yeah, still need to get my gold doubloons graded. Exactly. Still need to get those sent off. Still need to get my doubloons sent off. Me and my pirate buddies and our fucking doubloons. Yeah, Rob, I know. I know. I know, I know, I know. I hope they do well for him. I hope they do well for him. I assume he's going to make some pretty good money on those. Crazy, though. I am going to go warm up some food, though. We got seven minutes until the next session starts. What are the must-watch items? Right here, Lee. We got freaking Sonic 1. We have another Madden. We have Madden Championship Edition. Highest graded copy of Mario Kart. The VGA Mario Lands. These, these are all, this is all the good shit. This is factored into price right now, but there's more stuff like, uh, the second, the, I'm more excited for this one than I am for the first one. Like, this is what I care about. This is cool. So. <clears throat> I will be right back though in five minutes. I'm going to warm up some food. BRB, folks. Put the pizza in the oven. Exactly, Simon.
Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Show you guys what I got here. It's pretty big. Um, one second. One second. Go face cam. Look at this. Look at that. On deck, we got the Thanksgiving leftovers. Turkey pot pie, scalloped potatoes. Sophie said to get a snack. I grabbed myself a whole fucking meal. Whew. I'm starving. <laughs> now, this is a big step for our relationship here. I'll be honest, you know, our viewer streamer relationship. I think we're at the point where we can eat together, so. Oh, God. No pizza tonight, boys. I gotta get rid of the, uh, I gotta get through the uh, Thanksgiving leftovers still, so. Hello, and welcome to session two. Of big our man's back. Auction. We're gonna pick up right where we left off. We're on lot 28. Let's go, Mikey. 085, Battle Toads. Double Dragon, Wada 9.4. We need 1,600. 1,900 right away from here. Oh, Who's going to go 2,000? My cup of water is Best fucking soaked all over it. And I have a wood right desk. Here. I'm going to leave water wow. rings. Can't have water rings. Dad will kick my ass if I don't use a coaster. There it is from Heritage Live now. 2,200 <sighs> <laughs> I presented that like PTSD, but Dad, Dad always was a stickler about coasters. I grew up in that kind of household. Oh. I'm also a ham and pineapple person, Brobean. Ham and pineapple pizza is fucking delicious. Bite me. It's a, <laughs> it is Canadian Thanksgiving. We had it last weekend. So this stuff is like from Monday already. That's why I got to get through it. Where you come in, anyone at 3,200. 32, we've got to be 3,400. 34. 36. Brilliant brainchild here. The Battle of the Double Dragon crossover. We're looking for 4,000 now. Yeah, exactly. Coasters, turning off the light when you leave the room, closing the dishwasher, closing the cabinets. Don't touch the fucking thermostat. Like all of the dad memes, that's my dad. If there's a dad meme out there, it's my dad. The last second, 43 is the cut, 44 to round it out. Give me 4,600 now. Looking for 4,600. 9.4. You thought there'd be more FF7s. It is pretty high, isn't it, Clinton? I thought the FF7 population was like pretty juicy. Yeah, 127 of them. I don't know. There it is, 5,000. Surprised you thought there was going to be even more. We've got 5,000. Be and not five, slamming the screen door exactly. I think the greatest hits version just isn't that worth it right now, Clint. Yeah, NS means it either did not come with the seal and therefore it doesn't have a seal grade, or it did come with the seal, but the seal has been removed, but the game was still unopened. Battletoads Double Dragon 9.48 plus 6,000. Moving into Chrono Trigger. I'm really excited to see what this one does. I'm expecting right big things out of Chrono right here. 14, and by big things, I mean like 30-ish. To make this copy yours. By Square's green team. We're looking for 15. Got that. Give me 16. 16's there. Where's 17? Oh, whoops. I'm still on PS1 reports. Storyline. Defining the RPG. Super Nintendo. We're looking for 22,000. Got that. Give me 24. Yeah, there's only one higher. There's only one nine eight, and it sold back in 2020 for twenty six thousand, I think. That nine eight sold for twenty six thousand. Twenty twenty prices. <laughs> Wild world. Twenty six thousand for twenty six thousand. Legendary game and a beautiful copy. We've got twenty five, but still need twenty six. Twenty six. There's the twenty six. How about twenty eight? Fantastic role player here. We need 28,000. You say all those things Every right now and you don't have children? Might be in the world. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be the same way, Timothy. It's ingrained in me. I will sell it. Wow. 000. Right at the 30,000 mark there. 31, 2. Starting off hot. With a chrono trigger. About 87. Chrono trigger I feel like it's a pretty safe game to hold on to. Like, I, 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 I think Chrono Trigger is going to be a long-term winner. It's one that I would love to own. One that I would love to own. Yeah, Mike's a big Final Fantasy guy. He's a big square guy, so he might very well might have been bidding on the Chrono. Big Final Fantasy guy, him and his daughter. There's multiple endings. Character development, we're looking for 15. Who's going to go 15,000? You can get in if you act now. Who's at 15? 14,5 is the winner. You know what's interesting about Mike? 
is he doesn't do like the all in last call. Like a lot of the time he'll just like say like uh, 15 and then it just closes. You just say 1300. He doesn't give like those verbal, those verbal warnings of like, you know, final call, last call, all in. Louder, more boisterous, we need 16,000 now. Missed all of NES because of work, Rip. What am I selling today? Fall ball, it already sold. I sold a Stinger on NES for 5,000. For 1,900. Classic side scrolling here. 50k on Chrono. What was the pop on Chrono? 31 total? 21 total. 296 is 198. And the uh, the 9.2 copy sold for 17. to get it. I'm a bit surprised that the, uh, like, I would think the price gap between these would be larger, but. Here's Contra the Alien Wars. It is a Majesco print, though. Majesco, Majesco. Oh, meant the mic from SGC. <laughs> we, Cam, we have way too many freaking mics in this ecosystem. There's like four in chat, four on Facebook, and now the auctioneer's fucking name Mike too. We have way too many mics in this ecosystem. Remember when all those Kyles were gonna fight in a field to be the last one standing? We need the mics to do that. We'll close it at three thousand. Thirty-six hundred though. Still, that doesn't feel bad at all. Donkey Kong Country. What a nine point. So here's Donkey Kong Country. Um, <laughs> remember we saw that insane one sell for what, like a hundred thousand or some shit. There's eight thousand. We got eighty-five here. Need nine. Give me nine thousand. Nine thousand ninety-five. How high was that one? Third best-selling super. Hundred and thirty-two thousand for the nine point six eight plus. That's the prior though. I have to feel like this one will get nowhere close. Game here. We're <laughs> yeah, 11, yeah. The mic pop report is absolutely oh, tanking the price on mics. 11. Absolutely tanking the price on mics. 000. 80 Donkey Kong 000. countries. 33 and 19 here for Not the Made in Japan's. Donkey Kong Country competition. There are even 9 8. Oh, it's over. Auction's over. 12,000. Right yeah. Away, <laughs> no hope. Oh. 12,000. Only the third complete in-box copy we've offered and the highest rated of those few for 10,000. Give me 11. And it's rare those chronos seen. feel weak? Lamb I thought they were going to get a bit more juice myself, but... 11,000 now. Who's going to go 11? Am I crazy? Like, I look at this Donkey Kong There's Country competition, right? I love this. I love this, right? I love this item. I would love to own it. Oh, no. Just out of the money. We need 12,000. <laughs> um, 12, I would want the case graded separately from the cartridge. You want a 12,000. Am I crazy? There's 12,000. Like, you there can't see the cartridge with this. I want to see the cartridge as well. This is one game where I would grade the cartridge and I would grade the case, but I wouldn't grade them together. Let me see 13. I wouldn't do it. Well, five is the cut. Still need that 13. You were thinking about it. It's there for you. This is super cool, though. Like, I, I think I think competition cartridges are fucking awesome. Well played. That bitter, and it wins it for him. 12-5. 15,000 for it, though, still. <laughs> you know, it's really interesting, right? That's pretty cool to see that despite all of the hype and love that Steeled Games are getting, the Donkey Kong competition cartridge with the case outsold a 9.4 A++ Donkey Kong Country. That's actually pretty fucking cool to see. That's really cool. Really interesting to see. Famed in that soft game. We're looking for 2,500. Sorry, 26. Let's go 26, Heritage Live. Not far to go. We need 2,600. There it is. Have I ever seen any factory case pack GameCube games? Yes, El Presador. I've seen their bricks. They aren't cases. They're bricks of four. So I've seen it. The only one that really comes to mind are a couple of those Zelda ones. Like the Zelda Collector's Edition I've seen and the Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest I've seen. I haven't seen many of them, though. But those two come to mind immediately. Let me see 3,400. 15k is probably a steal for that competition cartridge. Is next. Got I don't know where they sit. I don't know where they sit, Real Meditainment, these days. 
I don't know the last time I've, time I've seen one of those sell. Also, this is a 9.8 Doom here. 9.8 Doom for 38. Lot 90. I want it. I'm going to pop that one open there. Madden football on a nine Here's Madden. Six. Boom. We need 20. Maybe Mike's 20, a big Madden fan. Thousand. Epic game here. First Madden game for a Nintendo console. 22,000 with John. You got to go 24,000. That was your DKC Elysium. 28, 30,000 here with 32. What were you hoping for on it, man? Six. What were you hoping for on it? This is the singest, single highest. I mean, fully candidly, right here. I think that was a low sale for it. Like, you know, I'd probably be a little bit miffed. Just based on all the comps. I'm ah, curious how you think. Most famous games of all time. We're looking for 44,000. I don't like to be down about it, but example. I'll keep it real with you. First Madden on a Nintendo console. We're looking for 48,000. <laughs> they pulled Mike to the side yeah, and gave him a talk. <laughs> out. It's all you, Heritage Live. You Somebody thought at least 40K. Yeah, fuck. Someone's going to have a place of honor. Set yeah, I, I feel you, Elysium. I was thinking 000. in the 20 ish range myself, so. Your collection. Who's got 55,000? And um, 55, here's Madden. 55, Madden. Madden. 55. Madden's still in the air. Madden hype is still in the air. 60,000 next. Madden hype is still in the air. Important game and right at the top of the population here. We need 60,000 now. Who's got 60,000? And just for reference, the Genesis version is earlier, but this is the first time it went to Nintendo on Super Important Nintendo. Game. Important figure, gaming, John Madden, of course. We're looking for seventy thousand. Default Gen, are you bad mouthing a dead man in chat right now? Are you saying that Madden? Are you saying that Madden died in vain? There's seventy thousand. Seventy-two five is a cut. Who's gonna go seventy-five? Just Madden's doing very freaking well. Plus and yeah, default gen, I agree with you. Six, six, <laughs> I would much rather have the Metroid. Don't have to be an expert to appreciate something like this. We're looking for 75,000. Could be yours, bidders. Don't let it slip by. There's 75. It is crazy, 20. like, seeing Madden as well sell for this, but... 80,000. <laughs> From if we, Fox. oh yeah, here we go. John Somebody Madden football, there's 196. It's the highest one on the pop. There's only 10. You so, you know, it. like, it's not a common game. There's nothing common about this Madden game. Like, it, it is, it is rare. It's rare. It has insane sports appeal. Like, I know I'm, I know I'm talking it down a little bit. Like, it, it's a very fucking important game. Right now, but not for much longer. You can still get it. 90,000 is the number. We've got 90,000. It's just crazy seeing, like... Worldwide bidders, last chance. Give me 90,000. You know, worthless sports games, quote-unquote, explode. So... We'll sell. Don't let it slip 000. by. Nothing slipping at 80K. $100,000 on the Madden. Wow. One heavy hitter after another. This is about 90. How many That's Super Nintendo games have sold for 100,000? This has to be, like, right up there. That has to be a top 10 sale. 24,000. It has to be. There it is. 24,000. The Street Fighter 2 is yours coming up too? I'm wishing you the best, Elysium. Fingers crossed, man. 26,000 now. Third title. After the Genesis one. After the Genesis. Super Nintendo came after the Genesis. 26, 28. Beautiful game and excellent. If Clue Clue can sell for 150, Madden can sell for 90. That's not a bad comparison right there. Not a bad comparison at all, actually. Drive, your turn. 30,000 the number. Who's got 30? Any advance to 30,000? On golden auctions with Zelda here, we saw the uh, 9.8 sell for 180, 198,000. Second bid, as we discussed at the top, now we're at 32,000, slot 93, Link to the Past. I think that's the most recent and big sale on Link to the Past. 4,000 now. The master sword in this one. We return to the overhead view. We're looking for thirty-four thousand. And he advanced to thirty-four. Brandon, are you saying that Madden was yours, man? <laughs> if so, holy shit! About ninety-four. Mortal Kombat. Have I ever paid five figures for a game? No, El Presto, I haven't. Thirty-two hundred. The most I've paid for a game right now is. 4,500 Canadian, I think. So, like, 3,800 US. And it was for my Ocarina of Time that I have. That was the most I've paid for a game. The Legend of Zelda are linked to the past. 38,400. Still a pretty damn good sale, honestly. The 
the highest grade. Do graded games make loose copies more expensive? Right very rarely, no Pete. There's very little crossover there. CIB games might go up in value a bit, but like loose cartridges, nah. Mario 64 isn't so, gonna yeah, move because like the graded copy sells for 1 million, you know? Mortal Kombat's now, still gonna be a dirt cheap game. 50, it doesn't move the price on cartridges. Oh, you're only saying they dropped it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Brandon. That's what I thought you were saying, but like... Man, people in this chat are the ones consigning sometimes, so like... <laughs> I never put it past one of the chatters here that they they're a consigner. You bid on both the chronos, but he moves so fast on the nine two. Should have went for more. I meant to bid again. I agree. I agree. Some of those games, the man's moving fast on. Like I said, he doesn't give a whole lot of verbal warning. Right there for you. He's got ninety five. Really, Terry? I don't 10, think it was. 10,000. Well, fair enough, man. Last sale we had on it was January 29th. 52,800. So you're right, it's 14,000 down. You are right. Fair warning, bidders need 12,000. Fair enough, Terry. Fair enough. We'll Has anyone in the chat okay. bought a graded game for five figures? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, they have. Oh yeah, they have. Favorite here, Pilot Wings, what a nine point. Both bought six. and sold for five thousand or five figures in this chat. Fifteen hundred. Thank you, Heritage Live. Mm. Eighteen hundred sub next. Seventeen hundred sub next. Who's gonna go seventeen? There it is. Eighteen. Don't give me nineteen hundred. Pilot There's Wings is a launch, launch title? Yes. Title. Launch title for the Super Nintendo. Nintendo right here. Not a game that means anything to me, but like. You can see. You can see. People give a fuck. Flawless copy here. None graded higher from this launch title. Mm. We need 34, 33. Was there a copy of Sunset Riders? No, Bogo. It's alphabetical still. order, so uh, Sunset. No, no Sunset Rider either way. No Sunset Riders in this auction. Just going to take a peek, peek at Mortal Kombat as well here. 9.6A plus. I need to get more information. 9.2A sold for 9,000 last signature, though. 3,800 next. Who's going to go 38? If the 9.2A sold for 9,000, this sold for nothing at 13. Finest example there is. Need 4, so far, it seems like we're not seeing things pop the off that much. So far, seeming a little bit soft on the Super Nintendo lot. Or games, I mean, sorry. Heritage Live. 44 is next. That's where you should be. Give me 44. Got it now. If you missed it, I have some, uh, there it is. Some turkey pot pie. Still eating Thanksgiving leftovers here. Standing example here. One person's going to get it. Should be you, right? I know you agree. Bid to prove it. 4,800 next. Why are launch titles a big deal? It's a... It's a, it's a, it's a, up next. It's a provenance Nine, thing, Mike. You can never take away a game from being a launch title. So if you're like, oh, I want to collect the five launch title SNES games. Like... 4,600. We'll win it. It will forever have that title. Do you know what I mean? And since there's only five of them, it's a cool little set to collect. <clears throat> Lot 96, Rap Jam, Volume 1, Wada 10. Here's the Wada 10. 10,500, we're looking for 11,000. Pump this shit, Mike, well, pump it. <clears throat> That's what she said, what are you going to say? Prior 12? 12,000 is where we're at, we're looking for 13. Buy the grade, not the game. Buy the Wada 10, doesn't matter the price. Well, 5, 13 over here. Need 14,000. This is the first WADA 10 of any game ever offered at public auction. Historic moment here. We're looking for 14,000. Volume 1? Is there volume 2? I don't remember. Need 14,000. When Mike has his little banter, I can't even fucking hear him. Pain and naughty by nature in it. I can't it's hear him, Lee. Did he just say that's what 14, she said? 000. Did he? Any advance to 14. Oh, I can't even hear him. <laughs> Wada 10 offered a public auction. So you want it, but you got to bid now. Who's got 14,000? 13,000. We'll win it. 15.6 for the Wada 10. Wow. $15,000 just to say you own a Wada 10. Insane. 
Insane. Yeah, Miller, my game sold for 5k. It was an NES game. I literally cooked a whole turkey full four days ago. It's so dank. Yeah, this is this is from Monday. Wizard example here, nine point four. Nine point four A plus plus Star Fox. I don't feel like Star Fox is that common. Looking for seven thousand. Oh, forty four of them actually. Okay. Only one higher. No, sorry. Right here. Five higher. They did seven thousand. Bone it. Who's gonna go seven? Seven thousand from Heritage Live. Do I think people will want a graded cartridge too? Some people, Pete, for sure. Some people. There are some games that I love myself that I want to have a graded cartridge of. Like, not for any kind of, like, investment purposes, right? Just for cool display purposes. I think it'll be very cool to have some, um, some graded cartridges just to keep in, like, an office setting. Not, not expensive ones or anything. Just like a Mario Bros. 3 cartridge. It's cool. It's fun. Um, Edda Hedda Medi. We have like 12, 13 games before Game Boy. Not too many. So hard to find in these high grades. Why keep looking? Just bid now to win it. Mike doesn't inspire you to bid. He's getting too comfortable. Looking for 9,000 from you, Heritage Live. John's out. It's up to Heritage Live. One of you is going to win it wherever you are on the globe. Only one. It's right here. Give me 9,000. He did, but he pointed to someone on the side, so I don't think it was a joke. I wish I would have heard it. That dude's a fool for 15,000. He could have 780 Bioshock Infinites. Yep, there we go. Those are the comparisons we need. Those are the comparisons we need. Give me 15,000. Whoever bought the game from... Yeah, seriously, Alma. Seriously. Your GTA 3 first print should be 50k? Yes, Elysium. Yes, it should. Oh, yeah, Miller. The 5k was a good sale. I'm happy with it. I have no issues with the sale at all. I'm happy with it. Nick McGinty. Cover art there. 8, 100 bucks says the Breath of the Wild 19, on Wii U overtakes Mario Bros. 3 as the most graded game when the Wii U pop comes out. <laughs> it very well might. It very well might. Mario Galaxy is also going to be a really big one. Classic game, 9.8, A++. What's not to like? 20,000 is the number if you want it, and we know you do. Give me 20. The Street Fighter feels high, hey? Um, where is it? Why can't I see it? Street Fighter 2. There's only nine nine eight though. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. So, you know, if you want to separate yourself from the rest of the bunch here, there were cases of Street Fighter, if you don't know. Street Fighter 2 had some cases, so. If you want to separate yourself from the bunch with it, you kind of got to strike on the 9-8. 23,000, not bad at all, to be honest. 3,000, now 32. That's what she said. So what are oh he didn't crack a joke. It seems like he didn't crack a joke then. Not a hot take, I don't think. He needs thirty eight hundred now. Who's gonna take thirty eight? Thirty seven. The cut needs thirty eight hundred. Heritage Live. There it is. How about four? I know a lot of people are kidding, but the passion in this block just doesn't seem to be there. I mean so far, not really. I mean nothing has popped, right? Nothing at all. How about forty four hundred? 44, got 44, 46 now. Feel it out there. All you got to do is put it in. 4,600. He's got 46. <laughs> Last chance. 4,400 is the winner. Yeah, the Bioshock Infinite Pop Report is going to look like the Luka Doncic report. Seriously. Two, eight, one, zero, zero. What am I eating? Super. Turkey Pop Pie. Four. There it is. Nine oh, oh, that's the crust six. side. Turkey bot pie cam. It's very good. Very good. Having some real supper here. Some leftover Thanksgiving. And the Street Fighter 2 Turbo there. 5200 bucks. Now this is super interesting. This is the first item where I really think it should pop off. 9.6 A plus made in Japan. First print. First print of this game. Not the Majesco shit we always see. We always see the Majesco ones come up. But if we actually talk about there's the first 8, print, there's nine 85, of them. Only nine. And this is the highest one. For 85, got that. Need nine this should pop. Need should nine pop. Thousand. There's no reason that this one doesn't, in my opinion. 8,500 with April and Heritage Live, 9,000. Bucky's still you? sitting on cases of Street Fighter? I mean, nine. probably. April, tell them they won it. About one, zero, one. Super... Double dragon, yeah, it looks like he grew up on Atari. You think he intentionally said that's what she said? 
that. He's got 44, so 46. We've only offered one other. Factor. I'm absolutely a frosted mini wheat guy. Absolutely, 100. percent Fourth console game in the series. Frosted mini wheats are top tier. It's gonna go six. Bid could have been put in a week ago by fact. Made in Japan first right print here. 9.08 back in December 9th. 9.08 December 9th. 4400 bucks. know what that means. We're looking for six. This one sold for what? Double? A little bit more than double? Super double dragon. There you go. Heritage Live, you're in the lead for now. Let's see what happens. That should have went for more. That should have went for more. 6,500. April's got that right now. 7,000. Should have went for more. The increment for you. Who's Put the camera 7, down. What does that fork go? <laughs> Eight plus here. Looking for seven. Uh, Who's got 7,000? I'm doing a better job hyping these games up than Mike. Yeah, like, it. it's so hard to say, right? Like, how much of a, how, how much does the auctioneer matter? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Legend of the Seven I honestly don't know. 9.2. Where's 19? 3,600's better. Thank you. <clears throat> it does feel like some of these, though. Like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You need to make it to Japan, Greg. They have flea market stores bigger right than here. most malls. Filled with factory sealed video games, Pokemon cards, all in mint. Man, that sounds incredible. That sounds incredible, man. I would love to. I would love to. Key title here. We're looking for six. This is your. This is a Japan Eight copy, plus. first print of uh, Mario RPG as well. It's going to go 6,000. Pristine condition. Anyone at six? 32 of them. Interesting. Interesting that there's only one made of Mexico, though. That's weird. Really weird. And it's done. 6,600 for that. 9.2. Super Metroid. It's crazy. 6,500's next. We've got that. 2,200's better. How about 24? Third game. Fuck, almost series. spilled. One of the best games of all time, not just in the series. Need 4,000. Inventory screens, auto map, multi I think Super Metroid's leader. doing really good. Forward in the series, need 6,500. This is only 8.5A. I think this is actually selling pretty strong. Speed run classic as well. Give me 7,000. Millionaires all went to bed after seven. the auction break? Yeah, apparently. Got a bid to win, and now's the time. Seven thousand is the number. Who's got? Seven? You know what matters, but if you were selling They're a game winning. and that woman got pulled off stage and Mike sold your game, you'd be bummed. Yeah, I know. Like perceptually, perceptually, it um. Lot one zero. Perceptually, four. it does. It's just hard to like you know. We all know the impact and auction. You're gonna have proof, Emily. I I I do agree, Lee. I think it matters a lot too. Them it's just, you know, impossible to say just how much it matters. 2, There's 28. How about 3,000? Got 3,000. The 6,600 felt soft? I don't think this one's that bad. I don't think Mario RPG has that many big sales under its belt. Hard to find steel. Never mind. 9.4A plus. Holy fuck. Back in January, 16,000. 9.0A plus, 72. This sold for 66. Yep, 9.2A plus. There you go. 9.2 just sold for less than the 9.0 sold for back in October. Yeah, you're right, CCT. That was a bit soft on that. You are correct. Here's Super punch -O. Highest copy they've ever offered of Super punch -O. 50, some 50. Still need the 6,000, though. Who's going to go six? Yeah, I, I like 6, that style too, bro, Bean. I like the fucking classic auctioneer who's just rattling off words. Now, can you do 7,500? We're never satisfied. Mm -hmm. There's 75. Give me 8,000. Hi. Classic game and a 9.4. We're looking for 8,000. <laughs> Any advance to 8? Here. Come Last here. Chance. You can have some food, but you have to say hi to stream. Okay. Cook it. Come here. Hey, Good come choice. 8,500, though. Get back in at 9,000. Uh, you have to say hi. Super punch out. We're at 8,750. Say hi to everybody. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. How about 10,000? 10, 10,000. No Here's Pup Pup, everybody. Pup Pup has just arrived on the scene. Land, There's and then I'll give you some turkey, okay? Yeah, now I'll give you some turkey. 12,000, 12,000. She came into this room immediately because she knows I'm eating. Where's 14? There you go. 14,015. That is my girlfriend's family dog. But it's like, you know what I mean? It's basically our dog, too. Heritage Live, now's your chance. Act now, and you want a 16,000. <laughs> 15,000. And she won't leave until I'm done eating. 
So now I need to power through this so that she can get out of my hair. Zero five super Star Wars. What a nine point six. Yeah, ninety five hundred. No question. I have figure game, but how much? Let's see. Ten thousand. Now I gave her the plate. Ten thousand. <clears throat> the initial production <laughs> run here. I gave you the first print copy for Heritage. In the yeah, she's super freaking cute. 10, super freaking cute. Single highest rated right here. We're looking. Um, for she's 10, been 000. the girlfriend's family dog for like, Style like movie seven years. The box art. Ten years? <laughs> you 10, Poor dog, less Greg. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I figured that might be the reaction. So to catch up here, the Super Punch-Out went for 18000 which I have to assume is the highest price it's ever sold for as well. And if the Super Star Wars surprised you guys, it's because this is actually a first print of the game. The, uh... Ever offered, right? The reprints on the Star Wars games on Super Nintendo are super common, but the actual JVC first prints, they're not at all. Much harder to find. I'm gonna pop in Star Wars here just to get the numbers. Yeah, so here's JVC, there's 12. There's the relativity. The reprint has 78, the first print has 12. Turtles in Time, 9.88 plus. From John. Looking for 40,000. Recently announced new turtle releases latest this year. Been watching for a while, your first time talking to me? Once I win a bid on one of these items, that means I won? Yes. Yep. Like if the item closes and it, it moves on, it's yours, man. And he advanced to 44. <clears throat> Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, um, you call her Pupper? Her her actual name is Pup Pup, the dog's name. So you saying Pupper? You're pretty close. What a eight point five. Fifty fifty. I need sixty five hundred from you, bidders. How is tomorrow going to go time wise for games since it's not going to be an auctioneer? I don't think it takes as long as this one does, Gambit. Great eye appeal. We're looking for sixty five hundred. Doesn't take as long as this auction when we don't have the live auctioneer. Turtles in time for fifty thousand dollars. Let's take a peek. For seventy. Fifty thousand. I have to assume some people are going to be disappointed by this. We had the nine point four A sell for thirty eight. Oh yeah, someone's going to be sad. Someone's going to be sad at that for fifty. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! There's going to be some comments on that one. Ultimate. There's going to be some comments on that one. 9.8. Looking for 3,200. Great game. Dogs eating cereal and watching tens of thousands of dollars in games being auctioned off. I love this channel. Oh, yeah, Wiley. Oh, yeah. Because game rooms are becoming more popular, how long before you think they're hard to buy? Um, Just cartridges and stuff, Pete? Never. Never. There will always be stuff out there. Always, always. If anything, rising prices, like, you know, we always have an equilibrium. Sneaking in a quick view while you're at work? Good man. Didn't the sent you in a million bucks for this, Turtles? What was it? I think it was being offered on Facebook groups for like 300k or something. I don't know if it was an A++ or not. Yeah, it just closed, and you paid 100k for Clue Clue Land? <laughs> Imagine that being your first message, Squeaks. <laughs> so you're saying I just bought this? We've done it. 5,500. This felt soft as well on the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. This is one of the items I'm most curious about, though. First VGA item as well. It's a 95 wow. uncirculated. 15, there you go. Nin An actual Super Nintendo console. Time capsule here. Very freaking cool. 17, Very freaking cool. I mean, this could be in a museum, but it's not going to be. It's going to be in your collection if you win. Bid 19,000. There you go. Now 20, now 22. Nicest vintage system we've ever seen here at Heritage. Give me 20. You're a valuable Heritage thousand. customer? Yeah, exactly. You even got your catalog. Okay, exactly. That's how you know you made it. Super Nintendo console. Oh, uh, yeah. CCT. The yes. signatures are always usually right Friday, here. Saturday, or Saturday, 28, Sunday. 000. There's 28. Give me 30. You won the Super Double Dragon. Nice, dude. Really nice. Cool pickup. Yeah, 
Really cool pickup. 7,800 there for a 9.6A+. This Super Nintendo console, I was thinking $20,000. So, like, way over my estimates already. Way over my estimates here. Now, if you win, give me 38,000. Wiley. <laughs> uh, real name Dylan. Greg is the channel name. There you go. Got there. 42,000 next. Who has 42? This Super Nintendo console is fucking insane. Nintendo control set console untouched. This is crazy. Got 46, Nicest vintage system we've seen at Heritage. One you couldn't even say that seriously, in. knowing they gate so kept VGA out until a month ago. <laughs> You're not wrong. 46, oh God, I, I've lore dumped on you guys. I've lore dumped on. I've said lives. too much. 48,000 next. Put it I've in said too much. The stunner and a conversation piece. We're looking for I don't. I, I, I assume a yeah. NES system would go higher, Juice Box. Like I assume an NES action set, a good one, would go higher. But like, holy shit, this is already high. This is a good position to be. Fifty-five would be better. Looking for fifty-five thousand. Seems like they're rushing the auction. The DKC that sold for one thirty k session of auction was like eight minutes. Yeah. Different auctioneers, man. Different auctioneers will hold stuff. To make it yours, though. Person of 55, they're excited. They're pumping their fists, they're figuring out where they're going to put it. Match that all away from them. One bid, 60,000. Could be yours. But you got to act now. And you want a 60,000. Fair warning. Ooh, and congratulations. 55,000 wow. wins it. 66,000 for the got Super it. Nintendo console. Applause, even. Nice. That's insane. And it's uncirculated. Uh, I don't even know. I don't know how. Like, I think there were some Super Nintendo bundles that had like a controller and shit, so you could end up with uncirculated that way. Maybe there were some cases of them too. Maybe. I just don't know enough about consoles to say anything definitively. Systems aren't sealed but are qualified, right? So this system, Lee, because it is standard scale, uncirculated. This box has never been opened. This is a fully never opened Super Nintendo. It is the equivalent of sealed, but since sealed doesn't exist, it just gets a standard grade. Qualified would mean opened. So that one there was, it was a case pack. It's in the description. 2400. It came from a factory sealed case of consoles. Yeah, wow. So what is it? Is a case pack of consoles four or six? How many are there? Next one. One, one, one. Bonk's Revenge. How many consoles come in a case pack? I, I don't even know. When the 9.6 guy had a 125k offer, he should have taken it and ran to the bank. That's what I said, Alma. <laughs> That's why I was memeing on it. You take that money and you go. You're unsubbing. Your life is all a lie. Oh, no. Come on. Stay. Stay, stay, stay. Stay and hit the like button. Do both. Four for SNES? Okay. Four for SNES. Gotcha. Entering into Game Boy Block, though. $2,800 for the Spider-Man. $2,800. Oh, that was the VGA 90 Spider-Man. Sorry. That was the VGA game right there. $2,800. Um, afterwards, I, I'll do a recap video where I price check the VGAs versus the WADA, so don't worry. We will do all of that stuff. We will do all of that stuff. We're looking for 3200 And he advanced to 32 Castlevania Adventure. 9.6 has to be like the tippy top of the uh, pop report on this, no? We're looking for 3,400. Beautiful example. Ah, yep, it is. It sure is. There's 16 of them total, 3.96s. Any of you guys bidding on Game Boy stuff? Any big Game Boy stuff fans in the chat? It's never been my console of choice, personally. He's got 38. Last chance bidders, and you want a 3,800. You think he ended up selling it on Comic Connect instead? I think he ended up with a big trade for it, Box Week. I think it ended up going with a big trade. You're still processing that my name isn't Greg. Dragon 2, what a 9. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the master magician, Lee. The master magician. We've only offered this twice before. Great opportunity. The Castlevania there, $4,300. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like a lot. Like, I know Game Boy isn't nearly as loved as other consoles are. The 9.4 back in October went for 42. 
Yeah, so there you go. Back in October, 4200 got you the lower copy. Now 4300 gets you the best copy, essentially. The handheld edition, anyone? 28. Someone offered you an N64 orange console, new sealed for 5K. Martin Sheridan, I don't think the Fantastics have any kind of seals on them. I don't think. So you'd have to be absolutely confident that it's never been opened before. I don't think those Fantastics have clear seals on them, do they? How about 800? A fifty now with Heritage Live need nine. You're literally shaking? What were you, ZG? What are you shaking about, ZG? Next. I want to be shaking. Why are you shaking? In a long line of Mario Sport games. We're looking for nine fifty. He's gonna go nine fifty. GB very revolutionary though. Wait, my name's not Craig. Holy fuck. <laughs> I've dropped the bomb. About one one five. Kidder. Kidder. I've dropped the bomb on chat. Golf 9.28 plus there with Mario on the cover, but not Mario Golf. That's just golf. Thousand bucks. Second example. Get Icarus. Miss Miss Myths and Monsters. Jesus. 9.88 plus. If it's no big peaker, where did the Greg part actually come from? Just nothing, Wiley. I just made it up. <laughs> I just chose a name for the channel because I didn't I didn't like my name for like brandable recognition type thing. I thought Greg just hits harder. I'm a sham. I'm a fraud. Sorry, guys. 36, we got it. 38, though. 4,000. Need 42. That'll Four coast here, the handheld variety, 46, 48, 5,000. Our three line warrant here, four line five. first print, four line, I believe, squeaks. I believe four line. Beautiful copy. Prior I think it's four line. I was just doing this last night as well, man. You are in the lead. I was just That's literally that. doing this last You're night. I think it's four line. Need 6,000. There's 6,000. Not only is not going to have to delete the video, he's going to have to delete all of us. <laughs> we'll never know exactly. 500. To make only sealed games you have the spectrobes games and the fossil fighters the heart and soul of the only things i'm in the collection fossil fighter i think has gone up quite a bit on ds hasn't it i thought that game had some crazy sales get the dylan games just doesn't have the same ring exactly super junk dylan just doesn't have that fun alliteration but greg greg hits hard boys and few girls i always say boys i gotta be inclusive the Myths and Monsters there, 7800 bucks. I think we've seen this come up before, actually. 1700 over here with John, give me 18. Highest graded we've offered. Pretty sure they've offered, not maybe not 9 eights before, but I thought Kid Icarus has come up before. Mario's Picross, 9.8, A++. Kind of crazy. There's three of them. <laughs> there are three of them. Let's see what we do. Let's see what happens. 32 from John. Gonna go 34 now. In the UK, colored ones were sealed. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just speaking out. Um, I'm just speaking for North American. I can't really comment on UK at all, Martin. Puzzle game here. We need 46. 46, 48, 5,000. Bro Bean, Bro Bean. He says prior. What's how much do I think the Mario 64 is gonna go for? Something like 24,000. 30,000, somewhere in there. For 6,000. You see how it is, Greg? Sticking to the false narrative that your name is Dylan. I can't believe you. Why would you lie to your audience? Exactly, right? Greg's a mean name already. People already know good guy Greg. It just, it just works. Yeah, Master Chief. Master Chief or Master Chef. I'll take both. <laughs> Greg pretending his name is Dylan is the best meme, yes. The reverse bluff. April, let's sell it. 6,000. Here's a big one. So the Mario, Mario's Picross there did 7,200. Fucking Mario. Why do you say Mario? 9.6 on the uh, Mega Man 2. A+. The Mega Man Game Boy games, not easy to find any of them sealed, honestly. What's the pop look like on this, actually? 11 of them. There you go. And five of them are players. Six of them. And there's three nine sixes. Yeah, the the... 5,500. Anyone at 55? Really? Nicely done, bitter. 52. 50 really? That, I think that's a great deal. Is it not? Lot 118. Metroid 2, Return of Samus. 2,500. 
Was that not a great price, nine, nine, price nine, here? Nine, what the fuck? Four, really? Forty two hundred. Big jump there from here. Sixty three hundred. Expected where's forty four hundred. Back in the October signature, worst grade sold for ten thousand. Four hundred. Nine point oh a went there. for twenty six. Wow. I, I really thought that Mega Man 2 was going to get some juice. I really thought that was going to get some juice. <laughs> yeah, Bill, man. I, I was going to like swing at the Mega Man there. That's crazy to me. Do the Dylan. You missed your calling. Deceiving the audience. I should be ashamed. 5,500 has it. <laughs> yeah, the real scandal leak. This was the real scandal all along. The Metroid 2 outsold it there. That, I don't know. Here's the Pokemon Blue. 9.4A plus Sandshrew. I'm really interested to see what these do. All of the Pokemon games. I'm really interested in seeing what they do. This doesn't seem bad already. Under 10,000. It doesn't seem bad at all. Fuck, really, hey? 9,000 for that. That's the blue version, of course. Lot one, two, wow. Four. Pokemon red version, so lot of 9.4. Where's 11,000? 16,000, 17. That was the highest so pop one for, yeah, like, uh, man. There was a guy in the Facebook earlier telling Dylan about what Greg said in his video. Dylan never told him. No one did. Yes. <laughs> Yes, and yes, no one tell him. No one tell him. <laughs> Man, that guy showed up to my video too and said the advice was literal cancer. That guy was not happy. 20,000 for the red, 9.4A++. That, 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 like... Oh my gosh. Let's see what this does. 9.6A++ yellow. Give me 3,600. Dylan the gaming villain. About seven thousand. Play worthy piece here. We're looking for seven thousand. I send my games in box protectors always. I always use box protectors. Who's gonna go seven thousand? You love collecting games for the handhelds. Feel like they aren't getting the love they should. I mean, I feel the same way. Five hundred wins. Seventy-eight hundred. That's it. Lot one, two, two. Street Fighter two. Lot of nine. Did Pokemon eight. people forget to come to this auction? Now I know this is the last print of yellow, but like it's like mint. Unreal and A plus plus as well. Mint. Seventy eight hundred dollars. Only the second copy we've offered. I, I, I guess. Sixty five. I, I guess maybe no one wanted the solid E. I don't know. I don't know. Red did twenty thousand. Let's take a peek. See peek. Thousand. Who's gonna go eight? Anyone at eight thousand? Nine point four eight plus. So red, red so stayed pretty consistent there with twenty thousand. Down a little bit from January, but pretty consistent. But one, two, three. Super Mario. Land. The blue though at nine thousand. No, sorry. Oh no, shit! I thought I was missing the big one. I just want to see blue quick. 9.28 plus Sandrew 66. Great game for the Game Boy here. We're looking I guess. For I guess just a little bit of a bump over the 9.2. There's 34 and 35. Interesting. Really interesting. Looking for 3,600. Pokemon <laughs> crashing hard. Yeah, like seriously. Dylan should only wear tees. Yes. Yes, that is very true. 36. That bit didn't work. You can get right back. 3,800 next. Gonna You're just broke right now? You and me both. You and me both. Pokemon's been falling for months. I thought we were going to see a little bit of a Last bump, chance. but... 3,600 takes it home. <laughs> About one, two, four. Oof, you have to admit here. you like Dylan the gaming villain. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys just have to see me last on YouTube long enough. That'll probably be a nickname. If the channel keeps growing, eventually we'll get there. Here's the set of 95s. One, two, three. Really curious to see where these boom at. Nope, Sonic hasn't sold yet. Wario's first appearance. Wario's first starring role. Daisy's first appearance. 40,000. For Mario Land collection in one bit 109 right now, watching and only 41 40. likes. Wow, that's the Anyone biggest scandal 40, of this auction, Skate Soup. 41 likes. That sold for nothing. 
<laughs> 45,000, really? About 125. I, I was thinking like almost, not quite double, but like 70. The VGA love, I don't think it's there yet. I don't think the VGA love is there yet. 45,000, hey? Um, 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 um. Only released in the US. Yeah, the the over, over under there was well. set at 100k, and uh, oh, we only had two people think Game over, but shit. Ones for you, 45, the just oh, wow. The highest graded of three wow, wow, wow. Who's got 12. Making me wish I had some money for this auction. That's how I'm feeling right now. Oh, delayed bid. <laughs> Wishing I had some money for the auction. Tennis. Good to see the Game Boy system Plus, with Pokemon Yellow beating out the game. I guess so. <laughs> At Dylan Register's Windows, that's the big lore. That's the big lore. 77 likes, nice. I don't know what the actual like counts at. I just trust chat. I just trust the chat. Way more than 41 likes, good. Good. has <laughs> it. Oh, sorry, 1,700. You? Pokemon isn't crashing, it's still up like the Dow, even when it's down. It's just not at people's expectations or projections. Yeah, I just thought we were going to see a little bit of pop, even on the, um... Okay, here's Tetris. Tetris, sure. Surely Tetris gets some love, right? There are 20 of them, there are 3 and 9, 4. Two higher. Nope, no bids. Okay, there we go. We've caught a bid. Yeah, I could have traded my Kung Fu for 395 Game Boy Marios. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. The seller just vomited through me. Yeah, well, really, though. Great conversation, for any collector here. Everybody 45,000. Everybody's played it. Give me 14,000. I don't even know if he made profit on those. 14. Like, I, I feel like that has to be close to, like, not profiting at 45k. Here's the Game Boy console. Very cool as well. We just saw the uh, Super Nintendo explode. This is much lower of a grade, obviously, and Game Boy consoles in general are much easier to find as well, so we'll see. We'll see how this one does. At this point, though, this console is going to outsell, like, every fucking game. Yeah, it just outsold Tetris. Insane. Insane. Console hype is here, apparently. Console hype is here. For myself, this isn't even close. Give me the Tetris all day long compared to the console. This is oh, crazy. Yeah, Sarah, I know. I know, I know. Do you do you have any idea what he was in them for? I don't know what he was in them for, but like 45000 for the triple. Like I assume he had to have paid almost 45000 for them. You know what I mean? This will go above 20. It's looking like it, Lee. It's looking. I will sell it. 17.5. Yeah, 21,000 for the Game Boy console there. Jesus. The Game Boy console, though, by Atari. Like, I don't know. They just aren't that rare. I feel like I've seen a ton of them hanging around. You know? Important game here. Looking for 3,200. You know what I mean? Like, I don't disagree with the Super Nintendo right console being really expensive, but like... 21,000 on this is big. Here's Pokemon Gold. I assume it's going to sell for nothing. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Swipe that out of there, 3,600. Okay, so here's Silver, 9.8. Pokemon Silver version, one and 9.8. The first time a 9.8 has come to auction, which he just didn't feel like mentioning. First time we've seen it. There we go, finally. Stunning example. know that holo foil box is a tough, but ding and dense. It's a 9. You're sure a lot more than that? Yeah, that's kind of how I feel too, Sarah. That's kind of how I feel too. Bro Bean, five dollars. Here's some money so you can bid, bro. I got you. Thanks, bro. One, <laughs> Thanks, bro. Three, zero. So the Pokemon Super Silver did get the thirty-one thousand. That one got some respect there. That one did get some love. Here comes the crystal. I was thinking somewhere in the thirty-five thousand range for the crystal. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens on the crystal. And you consider this the hardest to find in the Pokemon series. You've got an opportunity right now. You act quickly. 24,000. First Pokemon game to see 
for a playable female character as well. We're looking for 24,000. Important game could be yours, Zach, now, and he wanted 24. Okay, there we go. We got some bids on the Pokemon Crystal. Excellent gameplay. There's only 30 of these, interestingly. 30 of them on the Pop Report. 26,000 is what we need. Who's going to go 26? Last chance, bidders. And 24,000 owns it. 288 on the crystal. Lot 131. 288. I don't know. No I don't know. It feels looking for 11, soft. Feels 14, soft. 15. Knew there'd be a jump there. Who's going to go 16,000? This is just beautiful. That's all you can say about it. Give me six. Look at how sus when he says female. The gamer woke yellow, knowledge. Bright yellow. Got the Pokemon edition. Interestingly, um, what? Golden Auction sold a, an 85 plus a 90. Certified Link sold a 90 for like $10,000, I think. <laughs> Man, these are getting stroked quick right now. We went through those Pokemon games in like two minutes flat. 18,000 for the Pokemon Yellow console. I think it was Certified Link. Certified Link sold one of these in 85 plus or 90 for like 10,000. Good flip opportunity there. I'll show you the misprint in just a second there. Handy freak. Uh, no, Patrick. I have not won anything today. How about 3,400? I haven't won anything yet today. Come on. Give me 3,400. Who's going to go 3,400? 9.88 plus plus Diddy Kong Racing. He advanced to 34. Not the rarest game in the world. There it is. How about I know that much. Take a peek here. Nintendo 64. Not yet. Not yet. 3,600. There are eight of them in 9.8. Eight of them. Sell it. $3,400. $4,000. That doesn't seem crazy given how many there are. Oh, yes. Lot 133. Golden Eye, baby. 007. Lot 9.2. Looking for Oh, sorry. Shit. 000. Thanks, Spacebird. The 90 from Certified sold a bit okay, above 20. 000. Okay, okay there you go. One of the original production there you go. I, for some reason, I got that mixed 000. in my head. Thank you, Spacebird. One of the most beloved games based on a movie. No question. And the best game to feature Pierce Brosnan. I was going looking for twenty thousand. Nobody liked that Taylor Panama game. Give me twenty. <laughs> How much were you hoping for on the Diddy Elysium? What were you 22? hoping for on it? Goldeneye. Like I mean, before the. Uh... Game, there's twenty-two thousand. No, this guy will sub out Wiley. He'll sub out eventually here. Same. Twenty-four thousand. We're almost at the halfway mark, so I assume he's gonna he's sub out right away. 000. Classic game, and he won at 24. I, I, before the auction started, Elysium, I would have said D Diddy Kong would go for more than 4,000 bucks. Goldeneye still brought in 26,000 in the 9.2A+. You bought the Diddy? Nice, Greg. 6K? Interesting. Here's Harvest Moon, 9.6A++. Interested to see what this does. Plus here, looking for 5,000. And favorite here. Five, oh, 14 of them. For 5, Highest pop. 000. Highest one in the pop, 5, 14 total. 5,000 now, 55, 6,000 next. Uh, no, Sonic hasn't sold already. Sonic has not sold yet. Buy the Kobe and flip it on Golden Man. I think this Kobe's going to sell for like 25,000. Anything about? I think this Kobe's going to go stupid. 5,500 has it. 66 for the Harvest Moon. Five. Doesn't even feel that bad, honestly. Here goes Kobe. Let's see what we got here. Seven and a half. Who's going to go seven and a half? <laughs> 24. 2426. There we go. Sorry. 26,000. There we go. 26,000. There we go. the game here featuring a 19 year old Kobe. Immediately Ryan. shot up to 30,000. No doubts on the Kobe. No doubts in the world on Kobe. Four boxes are notorious. Jesus. Fragile. Anyone at 26? There's you had 18 copies of Diddy Elysium. Holy shit. 18 Anyone copies. Here. You're a madman. Kobe Bryant, youngest player ever with a video game title. We're looking for 30,000. Also, just out of... Um, Kobe's courtside. Anyone at 30,000? Uh, Kobe isn't rare. Like, there's 73 total, 398s. Like, we'll Kobe's kind of common. Oh, that's done. 33-6. And Mikey is out of here. Let's check Crystal really quick while Sophie takes the stage. 28-8.
Uh, back in October. We haven't seen Crystal in so freaking long. Okay, so I'm picking up a lot of... We I haven't seen it since October it's signature. It's a 9.48 plus plus for 25. So it barely outsold the 9.4 from like seven months ago. I kind of expected it to pop just because it hasn't shown up. Let's see if Sophie brings the heat. Tydrenius. I don't know enough about Logan Paul's site yet. <laughs> I haven't looked into it. I heard about it, but I haven't looked into it yet. No opinion from me. Did you send your Kobe 9-6? Yes. Elysium, send it to them. Say you want it in the next signature. I think you'll do well. Or send it to Golden, man. Send it to Golden Auctions on Kobe, too. They like their sports shit over there. Well, number 137, what? we have a VGA game, The Legend it's of Zelda, a Korean. It's not a Korea, steal? 4,800? NM plus MT Sealed standard release. Open the bidding. 4,800 does ABC not seem bad for the 968+. A plus. Live, here's the 90 live. plus Ocarina. If it was a 9.6 A++, 9.6 A+, its comps are around like twenty five, thirty five thousand dollars $35,000. A VGA 90 has a decent chance of crossing 9.6, A+, A++. Could be a 9.8. It's going to be interesting to see where this falls. Going to be really interesting to see where this falls. Yep, that's the big question, Mike, right? If popularity grows, then these prices will all be small in the future. If this hobby doesn't grow, might be in for some troubles. I'm probably not, Rob. Probably not. You wouldn't expect a 9.6 on an 85 plus. Like it could, but you wouldn't expect it. warning to you. All bids in now at 17,000. Last call. There's my bid at 17 at the last minute. Let's go 18,000. We're getting up to 20,000 here on the Ocarina. Up to 20,000. 18,000. This, this, this like seems pretty decent for me now. I don't expect it to paste the water one, so. How did we go from the FF7 140 down to 32K? Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Insane. Fair warning. Last call. If you see a high-value VGA game, I'm already going to be sus about why it wasn't crossed. Interesting. So why didn't, wouldn't be confident about 9.8 or even 9.6? Interesting. This is Wade's. He would have crossed it if it was 9.8? Fair. Even at 9.6, though, Sarah, I think you would win out. Even at 9.6, I think you would win out on this one. But... It's Here's the 96A++ Collector's Edition. <laughs> We've seen this one outsell the Collector's Edition quite a few times already. Stays true. Ocarina of Time, the 90 plus standard, crushed the 9.6A++ of the uh, Collector's. This is a big one. Uh, this is sometimes known as the red label version. We're going to open the bidding. This is a big one. At 39,000, 100,000 with Heritage Live and 110. I'm asking 110,000 now. Shot a right to the fucking moon immediately, hey? 120,000 to advance. A great time to consider using your cut bid at 115. I'm asking 120,000 to advance now. Right to the moon there immediately. Three player's choice emblem version. It's at 110,000 go 120,000 Heritage Live. Do I have an advance to 120,000? This is the highest graded early production copy ever offered by us at Heritage Auctions. I need 120,000 to advance Heritage Live. Fair warning to you. There we go. 115 with the cut bid and 120. A little bit now more I'm juice on it. 130,000. <laughs> yeah, go in 140k don't be a bitch you got me there you got me there yeah Ms. Kiff crying no doubt no doubt Ms. Kiff crying first time we've ever seen one this highly and even on the pop report um there's ugh, the pop report isn't that small oh sorry we have to open it up 31 of them only Lee there's only 31. There's only five nine sixes, no nine eight. We've already seen Smash Bros. sell for like 140,000. So 
Just, just based on relativity, I don't think it's crazy to see the Mario Kart also bring in 144. 144 is that sweet spot. 144 is that sweet spot. I said that in chat in Discord the other day. <laughs> I can't remember what game someone said, and I said 96 to 144. 144 is like that. That's a sweet spot. Stuff caps around 144. Last call. 55,000. What do I think Pokemon Stadium 2, 9, 8, plus plus will do if in the next SIG? Like, I would think around 15 to 20,000 Elysium, but I don't know right now with Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, the fate of video games rests on Chris Pratt's shoulders. The Mario Kart 64, 9.8... 9.4 A plus sold for literally half. That's crazy. 66,000 for the lower copy, 144 for the higher copy. 9.8 A plus on the snap. My own estimate on this was like 16, 17,000. We'll see. The snap is really sneaky on the pop report here. 94 copies, right? So like not that rare. Oh, sorry, let me open it up. Yeah, not that rare, but there's... 198 and only 196. Which is just really interesting. So if you don't buy this 98, there's a 96 out there somewhere. And like, that's it then. Then there's a big drop off. Just weird. <laughs> I disabled it. I disabled it. 9.4 A++ Mario Kart 64 sold for 70k already on gold. Right. Right, right, right. Well, that 9.4 A++ never should have sold for 20k, Monty. That never should have sold for 20k. The person who sold that made out like a bandit on golden. Let's go 10,000. It's 9,500. I'm asking 10,000. Heritage Live bid now at 10. <laughs> Elysium, I'm like gonna look closer tomorrow now too with how some of these prices are going. A little bit over 10. 11,400 on that one. So I was high on the Pokemon. I was high on every Pokemon game. All of my estimates were high on the Pokemon games. And I was low on the Poke on the Mario 64. Lot number 142, we've got a Super Mario 64 water 9.6 A++ field. Let's open the bidding. A lot of high value games seem to end at the 144,000. Something about that 120. Yeah, it's weird. It just, it's right there. That 144K is where a lot of games cap. It's super weird. I'm asking 44,000 now, Heritage Live. This is the first 3D game of the Super Mario series. We're at 46. I think this is the first... Like, uh, it's been a while since we've seen the 9.6 A++ Mario 64. We haven't seen the 9.8 one since the golden sale, I believe, for like 700 and some. Above 144, the bid increment might jump dramatically. You might be absolutely right about that, Super Junk, actually. You might be right about that. That would explain it, actually. Thousand to advance Heritage Live. It's at forty-eight, asking fifty thousand. Fair warning. Last call, and all bids in for fifty thousand. Also, yeah, if you're wondering the pops on the uh, Mario sixty-four, we have eighty-one, we have three nine eights and five nine sixes. Here's the nine four A plus. This one just sold for fifty seven six. Fifty seven six. What do we got? Nine point four A plus plus or forty thousand back in January. I need your bid at twenty. I want to see if there's another one. The bid is against you with our internet bidder. I'm asking twenty six thousand. Stop. Twenty six thousand to advance. Look at that. Back in the October signature. Nine point six A plus plus hundred thousand. The floor is gone on Mario sixty four. Last call. I assume we'll see them come down a little bit more still. What is surprising to me, though, is that the Mario 64, 9.6A++, doesn't at least pace the Mario Kart 64. You know what I mean? Like, how does it not at least pace the 9.4A++ Mario Kart 64? That's weird to me. Has that seems weird to me. Oh yeah, Lee, we were able to pay. We were able to say that a long time ago. We were able to say that a long time ago officially. Ah uh, yeah, anyone can participate. Anyone, people from Europe, people from anywhere. Heritage ships worldwide. Smash Bros. I think just got absolutely smashed as well. 
Pun intended. I think comps on this are closer to 100k, aren't they? 74,000? Well, $50,000 for this one. Oh uh, yeah, 72,000 was the last sale. That's a $22,000 drop there. And here's the 9.08. Bid kind of excited if things are settling. More stuff's going to be accessible to the common folk. I mean, I agree. <laughs> I'm excited to shop. I'm excited to shop. Mario Kart, more people like it than Mario 64? Really, though? Really, though? Do they? I don't know. Yeah, I can't wait to get your 9.6 copy of Mario 64 next year for 3,000. With the way it's going, man. With the way it's going. 19,200 for the 9.08. 9.6A plus Emerald. How's Emerald looking? 76 of them, 12 and 9.6. 8 and 9.8. Heritage Live. You don't have the bid. I'm asking 5,500 to advance Heritage Live. Bid now for 5,500. How long between shipment to sale Good did it take morning. your NES games to hit the auction floor? Uh, one of them was like three months. The Kung Fu was like two or three month turnaround. The Stinger was a four or five month turnaround. Yeah, the one point, exactly. The 1.5 million Mario was never a real price, so. What do you do? What do you do, right? Let's open the bidding. We, we, we keep watching Mario 64, like, fall in price, but, like, who knows what it ever should have been worth. You know what I mean? 6,000 for the Emerald. 6,000 for the Emerald. Okay, that's actually, that, that didn't move. Back in October, 6,600. 6,000. <laughs> Emerald is doing fine. Emerald's doing fine. Casually slept through the first three and a half hours. Did I miss anything big? Yes, Thane, you did. Weird that Mario Kart is lapping Mario 64? Pun intended. I hope that's pun intendedly. If not, you disappoint me. If that wasn't pun intended, you disappoint me. Go 8,000 now. Still against you with our internet bidder at 75 to 8,000. But yeah, I just, I, I don't know. It seems like Mario 64 should at least pace Mario Kart 64, but it could just be that people are afraid of it. Who knows? Maybe you got too much notoriety. Who knows? So this is a bloodbath pretty much? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, CCT. <laughs> All of us Timmies are about to get our wrists rulered by Sean. Oh yeah, Sean is going to fucking give it to us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yep, Sean is gonna give it to us. 14 bid 15. Good Lee, good. 14 bid 15. Good Lee. Against you, Heritage Also, Live, I need your this Castle of Illusion, 9.8A++ plus plus on Master System. Bid asking 15, Doing pretty freaking good as far as I'm concerned. Last call to Heritage Live at 15,000. Soldier Emerald 9.68 a plus for 500 more than this one. Let's go, Elysium! Let's go! <laughs> Friday night auction? What is this madness? This is the big one. The big auction, Screaming Potato. The signature. Yeah, nothing from July will ever replicate. Well, I mean, it might, but you know what I mean. July just needs to be taken out, so we can just ignore July for the most part. 13, 14 against you, 15, 16 against you, try again at 1,700. For internet bidding between 100,000 and 200,000, the increment is 5. For live bidding between 100,000 and 200,000, the increment is 10,000. That's crazy. A $10,000 increment. Crazy. Yeah, Sonic's coming right away here. 10 lots away, give or take? Where the fuck is he? There he is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. About 15. 15 lots away for Sonic. It's coming. It's coming. 3, to advance. Is it true that I'm dumping game collecting and going all in on stamps and carnival glass? Yes. Yes. I collect, um, radiate, what is it? Radiation glass? Uranium glass now is all I collect. Uranium glass. Good future in it. Good future in it. Cool items. Cool items. Get your uranium glass at the ground floor.
3400. How do you guys feel about the auction? I feel like I'm surprised myself a lot of the stuff I look at. Are you, are you, did you guys expect more prices on some of this stuff? How do you feel about it? Radiation glass? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I think it's uranium glass. I don't think it's radiation glass. What the fuck is carnival glass? Shit like this? I don't know how to explain it really. It's just like, is carnival glass worth anything? Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty good. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it, but that's what it looks like. Uranium glass is way cooler. Uranium glass is way cool. Cooler. I'll take the cut bid. I'm still asking six thousand. On the cut bid now, it's fifty-seven fifty. Mickey Mouse There's Castle of Illusion original artwork sold on Heritage, mislabeled as random book art for twenty-six hundred. Has side offers up forty sixty k that have all been rejected. Insane. 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 This auction's been very interesting. One of the more interesting ones. Yeah, well, seriously, that's true. For me too. It's been an interesting one for me too. Joe Montana went for four thousand. Michael Jackson Moonwalker seventy two hundred. Death and Return of Superman nine point six eight plus. If you guys don't know, if you haven't looked at the uh, Genesis pop reports yet, absolutely nothing exists on the pop reports. Like they're they're scant. There's fuck all. In case you didn't know, like Genesis doesn't exist. Why is Sophie? Why did she stop talking? Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. There you go. Only two have been graded. This is the highest. Very hard title to get. And yeah, Death and Return of Superman here. There's two. There's two. There's two. Wait. <laughs> Factory Seal Genesis just doesn't exist. So. Uranium glass brings back so much nostalgia from my childhood. That's cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever handled uranium glass in my life. We're not. <laughs> and you can see, like, there are no comps on shit like this, right? Like, this is literally how, how bad does someone want it? That's what a lot of this good Genesis stuff does. How bad does someone want it? There's no comps. There might never be comps. You it's just guess. I'm asking seven. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Sophie's definitely life. just yucking it up up there. Now. She's definitely just yucking it up. Lots of adjusting. The pop reports definitely did something in people's call. decisions to buy what to pay. Kind of feels like that. It feels like they're rushing this auction with Emily. Each lot took like five to ten minutes. <laughs> Emily let everything hang, though. Like everything. Even Philip let some stuff hang pretty long. A uh, retro habit. Yes, it did. The and Metroid went for what, 150, 160, I think? 8,400 there for Death and Return of Superman. Number 151, Golden Axe 2. This is a water 9.4 A plus seal. Let's open. At 33. I don't know what to expect out of this either. Heritage Live, go 42. As a fun little note, right? If you're like Golden Axe 2, that's cool, but maybe I'd like Golden Axe 1. Well, we can open this up and um, there are none. You can't have a Golden Axe 1. All you get is the stupid Sega Classics version. If you want Golden Axe 2, there's two of them. The shit just doesn't exist. I might have it behind me here, just one second. I need your 5,000 Heritage Live, 48 bid go 5, 5,000 asking 5,500. There's my bid go 6,000. <laughs> this right here. I'm this is Consolation 6, Prize Gold Max. 5,500 is bid, 6,000 bid go This is the one you get. Seven. You don't get a real one. You just get, you just get classic version. 6,500 go 7. It's absolutely ridiculous. 6,500 is bid go 7,000. Absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> Warning. Just buy it on All PCE. Thane, I don't know if you're kidding or not, but I did. <laughs> I don't know if you're kidding or not, but I did buy it on PCE. Yeah, Sega Classics all you get in, Asuma. 7,800 bucks there for Golden Axe 2. Copy of a legendary Genesis game, the John Madden Football, <clears throat> excuse me, Water 9.6 A-plus field. This is a clamshell 
promotional copy and we're going to open the bidding. 67,500. I'm asking 70,000 to advance now. Heritage. So the last time we saw Madden come up, $480,000, right? That was the copy from John Madden's office um, right after he died, the charity auction. That was also a different variant. That was a paper box version. This is now a clamshell version. I don't really know if people care. There's two of each. So you don't really get to be a chooser here. You take what comes to auction. Interestingly, no bids. Even Sophie's fucking like, where are the bids at? Where are them bids at? She doesn't want to close this. Of course she doesn't. <laughs> you, <laughs> you saw it on her face. She gave it one of those. Fuck. <laughs> that's that's crazy. I thought 81,000, right? That's good, but like shit. I thought it was going to get some bids. This copy sold on eBay for 11,000 last year. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, thing. Good. There it is. Go 70,000 now. It's 65,000 on Heritage Live. Do I have an advance? 81,000. I think you cut bid at 67. So here's Madden Championship Edition now, the rental only copy. It did come out after the first Madden. So this is a later one, but is a rental exclusive game. I need 75,000 to advance. The interesting thing though is that John Madden Football. Oh, sorry, there's five and seven. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Five and seven on John Madden. All bids in. Championship Edition has three total copies. So Championship Edition is more rare, and it did outsell frickin' John Madden football, the first one. I never would have thought that. Where did we put the frickin' cutoff on Madden here? Madden Championship Edition, 100k. Okay, did we do the other one as well? Madden on Super Nintendo. Madden Genesis Clamshell, 125k. And yeah, I was over. All four of us were over. There was one under. Only one person thought it was going under. There you go. Rick. That's crazy. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Run the show. Pre bidding takes all the action out of it? Well, it, it, it's not supposed to, Mike. It's not supposed to. Did you start buying all the Madden 97 for N64? They're popping everywhere. Yes, Elysium. Yes, you should. The first one is a weird variant. First Madden. Yeah, it's like the promotional. Well, they, they marked it as a promotional copy. I don't know enough about it to talk definitively, but I didn't think it was going to cause such a difference between variations. Because if we go over here, right, there's like, there's five clamshells and seven paper boxes. I don't know. You could be very well right that that just scared people off. John, that could have scared people off. You're very correct on that. I, I just don't know. I just don't know. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Hard to say. It's really hard to say. And uh, yeah, Madden 95 there. Just random, random year of Madden with Madden on the cover. 1600 bucks. Michael Jackson Moonwalker. It's 8750. Still asking nine. Bid now for 9,000. Heritage Line, you're on the cut bid now at 8750. I need 9,000. There's no sealed Sega Genesis games because Sega kids could sniff the games out and would tear them open. I saw it in the 90s. I believe it. Predictions for the Sonic? My prediction coming into this was like 480,000. Just under 500,000. Just under. That was my prediction. Now that we've seen everything we've seen, I'm not sure what to expect on it. It's sitting at 276 right now. Sitting at 276, so we'll see. We'll see. 10-5 with a cut bid at the last second. Let's go 11,000. No, I still don't understand the variance, Elysium. <laughs> All I know about Sonic variants is that, um, let's just check Moonwalker first. Eight of them. 9-6 is the second highest. There's one nine eight out there. Come back to me now with 12,000, or fair warning. Last call and all bids in at 12,000. You said over 600 something? Yep, yep. A lot of people were going over 500 for it too. A lot of people were going over 500 for that one too. The highest graded copy of All I know about the, um... Mortal Kombat Water 9.8 A++ Seals. Actually, quite a few Mortal Kombats. There's six of them. Interesting. 
Um, 20,000 on Heritage Live. Go 22, all I know is it's that the Redwood copy is a slightly a later Heritage print, Live, right? 20, 000, the San Francisco 000. ones are earlier. Live, Any of these G to A rating ones are later. Sega Classics in there. K to A rating later. Sega Classics later. So I just don't know if this one here and this one here. I don't know which is earlier. Printage in Japan, made in Japan, no clue. That's all I know about them. Why is Sonic going to go so high? It's rare in general, Martin. So it's just like, right, there are um, 14, 16 copies? 16 copies, this is the... How many are there? There's five, nine, eight, two. Uh, there's four, nine, eight. There's not many in general, and Sonic just has the um. Sonic just is Sonic. It's just like a pinnacle of gaming. So. The Mortal Kombat there actually did pretty freaking decent at thirty-one thousand, in my opinion. That that's actually pretty good, I think. Out of, out of a lot of stuff we've seen tonight, this feels decent. The 9.6s went for 10,000-ish. Oh, we haven't seen the 9.8 before. There you go. Moonwalker did not feel that strong. 9.6a plus 13,000. That's a year and some ago. Jesus. A year and some ago this sold for 38. I wonder if it would pull that now. This is the second highest copy on the pop. NBA Jam. Last call for 6,000. There's my six go 65. It's 6,000. Your price prediction on Sonic is 300K. After seeing what we've seen, Sonic will not break 500. Also, the patents are later too, right? Uh, I, I, Mike, I just, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, Sonic, Sega games are sealed in the US, Martin. If you're in UK land, then I think you only got those sticker seals, right? They're actually sealed in the US. Flight number 158, we've got the PTA Tour Golf. What a 9.2 I don't think they are uh, Elysium, yeah, though. Because down it's here, you have Sega quality. Classics versions. Like, this is Sega Classics right here. This is Sega Classics. This is not a Sega Classics version. Uh, maybe they are. Maybe they are. Um, I would just think that there wouldn't be a later Black Label copy than a Sega Classics. But I don't know. I don't know, man. And we're at 15, and 16 goes 1,700 now. One Mario, two Zelda, 17. three Sonic would be it's a close rating. Yeah, exactly, right? I, honest to God, JK, I think I would even put Sonic above Zelda. Like, for just, like, video game character recognition and notoriety. I think more people would recognize Sonic. I think it's a more immediate, well-known character. I need your 1900, 1850, 1900 to you. Oh, Rick, you were the underbidder on Crystal and Snap. How'd you feel about them, man? How'd you feel about them? They all fell lower than my estimates, so. I was obviously a bit too bullish on them. How'd you feel about them, Rick? How'd you feel about them? This is also doing really well. I don't know why. I need your 2800. Heritage Live is at 26 for 28. I don't know why it's selling for so much. It's a fuck ton of money. A lot of money for a golf game. Outselling even John Madden. You just bought an 8.0 Sega Mortal Kombat for 275 Heritage three weeks ago? Sounds like a much better price. You're going for the Shining Forces. I look forward to these rage. I look forward to these a lot. Lot number 159. The Shining Force, what a 9.68. Sonic over Zelda, boo. Uh, title that is used yeah, the movies help exactly, Genesis. exactly. We're going to open the bidding. 1850. 19, but 2000 is against you. Try again at 2200. I'll even, I'll even get some juice on this one. The bid is now with Heritage Live. At You've been outbid. Go 28. I need 28, how about 3000? 3200. This Shining Force 32, is really freaking neat, in my opinion. I don't even like Shining Force that much, but I respect it as a game series. And you can see, like, we're talking four copies, four nine sixes. <laughs> Where the hell are all the other copies? Why do we only have four nine sixes? That's so weird. But Shining Force, to me, I think is like the... Like, oh, hi. Oh, God. I think that's cheap. I think that's so cheap. I think that is so fucking cheap. I, as far as Sega Genesis is concerned, 
another Shining Force has to be a top 10, no? Like, as far as Genesis is concerned. Shining Force is fucking huge. Shining Force is huge. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me that it only brings $4,300. What a cool fucking game. What a cool game. That's crazy. Someone else give me an opinion. Am I crazy? Like, Shining Force is kind of goaded, isn't it? Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just in a big gamer mentality here and no investors want that. Those Shining Forces were a steal? Yeah, like... I don't know. Uh, you know when like, you're not prepared to bid? Like, I wasn't prepared to spend $4,000 on Shining Force, but if I saw it on eBay, I would bin it. I would bin it immediately at three nine nine nine. I would just click the bin button. But when you're not ready for it, like, if you're not ready for it, I can't bid in the moment. Crazy. I don't know if they actually go as far as collections or court default and, but yeah, you're basically banned from the auctions. I know that much. If it was the 90s, a lot of these Genesis games would be much higher, or perceptions of them. Shining Force is goaded for sure. Goaded maybe popular. Eh, really? You bet me title bought them? It's, yeah, seriously. Man, I just, I, I'm baffled. I'm baffled. I'm baffled. Sonic 3D Blast here. 9.6A plus outselling Sean Shining Force. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Title's going to make you spend more things. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the title way. That's the title way. That's the title way. Make all of us pay for more. It's 42. I'm asking 44. Heritage Live. It's 42 bid 44. 4200 is bid go 4400. This Sonic 3D Blast though. 4400. Fair warning. And all bids in and last call. And 42. Oh, there's only eight of them. Surprisingly, Sonic 3D Blast. There's only eight of them. Here we go. Well, number 162, we have a Sonic the Hedgehog water 9.8 A plus sealed, early production, made in Japan, all the key points you would want to have in this game. And what is the bidding? 230,000. Here we go. And 380, but 300,000. Immediately to 360, 370 there? 320,000. It's 300,000. With our internet bidder, I'm asking 320000 from Heritage Live. This is the retail copy. This is the highest graded early production copy offered by Heritage Auctions. And we're at 300000 Heritage Live. <laughs> I was wondering what she was going to say there. Don't forget about your cut bid. If it's still available to you, 310000 It's still an internet bidder. bidder. That's high. That's still a pre-bid that has the high bid right now. 300000 is bid. A pre-bid is still the high bid. Heritage Live. Do you have a bid for me? At is that a tear on the bottom right? I believe it is, Wiley. I believe it is a little tear over here. Heritage Live. All bids in. They can't end it yet, can they? For $320,000. You got to hang this a little bit longer. Oh. 300,000 it is. Throughout there we go. Bidder. Congratulations. 360. Lot number one, 360. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. This is the water 360. 9. 6A sealed clamshell early production second highest graded copy. 360. And it was a split crowd there at 500k. At 100, 2, under, 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 over, 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 over. A few people thought over. Almost a split crowd on the Sonic, actually. Almost a split crowd on it when we did the little over-under game. Really, really, really interesting. Really, really interesting. With Heritage Live, I need 2600 or fair warning. And last call. And there's my 26. I thought it was going to go. She's a bit alarmed. I think so. I think so. Heritage Live, I, I thought the Sonic was going to get a little bit Stop more juice for sure. I thought closer to 500,000. I thought closer to 500k. Oh, we have a delayed bid at 27. I mean, Come back to uh, 28, Heritage Live. El Presador. I don't think you won the Sonic bid. one, bro. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't think you did, bro. 28 go 3. 
Oh, it's 360, Lee. 360 still on Sonic. Last call. 2800. It was on Clubhouse thing. I think they put out the invite open. I think Dan Alleg just puts out the invite where anyone can get into the chat if you want, and you can play along, so. Next time, we can all get in there. I'll see if he, um, I think it's open to anyone on Clubhouse, so. She didn't help it, she didn't help it. It's interesting, I, I, I wonder how long they're allowed to hang a game. I wonder how long they're allowed to sit there and be like, bid, 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 bid. Because if no bids come, like, what do you do, right? Eleven thousand to advance. Also, like 10, I know, all of us know. I think at this point, who can sign this game? I mean, I'm over the moon for him. Hopefully, he's still happy. It's a, it's a fuck ton of money. I hope he's still happy. I hope he's still happy with it because, yeah, it, it's a fuck ton of money. Like, what do you say, right? Three hundred thousand dollars. I'm happy for him. I hope he's happy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Also, Spider-Man there, 9.8A++, 13,200. Sonic 3, 9.6A, 3,300. Streets of Rage 3, 9.6A+. Here's another one. Uh, if you're like, wow, maybe I'll buy a Streets of Rage. Okay, so you got 8, 9 on 3, and 7 on 2. And Streets of Rage 1, they're all Sega classics. You got fucking pranked, bro. You can't buy a Streets of Rage 1. They don't exist. 42 go 44. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how scant the uh 4200 the uh 4400. The pop reports are. 4400 fair warning. There's just no games on the pop reports. Live at 4400. 44 is bid there it is. Go 4600. It's a house mortgage amount of money. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Literally a house. So who can well, sign it? I don't want to say his name, Monty, just in case he doesn't want to be, like, super public. He might post about it on Facebook or something. But I don't want to say his name just in case, right? Keep that private until he decides not to. <laughs> the very next comment after I say that... Thanks, Boxwee. <laughs> Good timing, Boxwee. Good timing. <laughs> you lost that Spider-Man game? Damn, John Johnson. What's the pop on it? I assume that's one? Oh, there's two 9.8s. Interesting. Crazy. Crazy there's actually two 9.8s on that one. Yeah, Sonic Dole 101. If you just walked in, dude, you just missed the Sonic for 360,000. You literally just missed it. Hyperstone Heist. 9.8 A++. After we saw the Turtles on... um, We've seen Turtles flop all day. This one's not going to pop. There's no fucking shot. Uh, the over-under was set at 45k on this one, and I actually said over. I was expecting big things from this one before the auction started. We'll see. I thought 45,000 was like very doable. <laughs> oh, we got some bids. We got some bids. We got some bids. I think the high, the high auction on this thing, I think is just like fucked. I think it's 84,000, isn't it? 20,000, 66. 66,000 in the July signature. Prior to that, we had 26,000. We had a 9.4B for 66. 9.8A, 20,000, October 31st. And this one just closed at... The same price almost as the 9.8A did. So this is the A++ almost sold to the same price as the 9.8A. That's a world of difference. Yeah, no, not, not Bucky. Not Bucky. Not Bucky. Nine is against you. I'm just going to stand. Yeah. Happening again. <laughs> was there a mass arrest of the one percenters in the break? Yeah, so much seemed to be going away low. Yep, not the splashes I was anticipating for sure. 
For sure. Early, early, um, early impressions of this auction. Like, right. not a whole lot of yep. splashes. Still high prices, right? Good prices, but like... All right, we're at 4000 This Let's is not a market stimulator, so to say. 44. It's 4200 I'm asking 44 now. Not a market stimulator for like it's FOMO and people running out to purchase as far as I'm concerned. 4600 It's 4400 with you. Maybe my thoughts will change once I run a full analysis of stuff and more price comps and stuff, but early impressions. 48 is big. Not huge. Not huge. There's my five. Here's tournament fighters though. 9.88 plus. 5,000 go 55. I assume that this even has low pop because every game has low pop. I'll take the cup bid at 52. 11 of them. Seven of them. 52.50. Seven of them. Four and 98. Do I have an advance to 5,500? 5,500 to advance. Fair warning. You want to know what some of these bidders do for a living? Yeah, you and me both, man. You and me both. It's 5,500. I'm asking 6,000 Heritage Live. You and me both. I need your 6,000. You know, it's funny too. A lot of people were saying um, yesterday, are there too many items in the auction? Is there going to be saturation or fatigue on the wallets? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> a lot of fucking great games coming up for auction. It is hard for, um, like was said earlier, there's only so many people who can afford to bid 100,000 on games, and there's only so many times that people can bid 20-ish thousand on games. Maybe. Here's Dojam and Earl, Panic and Funkotron. This is a system exclusive, has a cult following, it's hard to find. And it is the only sealed copy that we've offered Heritage Live. We're this woman knows her Toe Jam and Earl. It's 1100 a month. She knows. Five of them total. Two nine eight. 1200 to advance. It's 11 asking 1200. 1200 to advance. Plot twist. Every single game Heritage was being won advance. by Jobst. Yes. The reverse pump by now. Carl. Crash the market. Buy everything. 1400 Heritage Live. Crash the market. Buy everything. Now it's 1500. 15 is bid. Go 16. Put it all on credit card or use crypto. <laughs> or put it on a crypto credit card. The toe jam queen, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Their new nicknames need to be Big Val and the toe jam queen. <laughs> I'm sure they would absolutely love that. Big Val and the toe jam queen. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Heritage live. You have to bid at two thousand. Do I have twenty two hundred? How about twenty four hundred? Uh, uh, they're gonna they're gonna fucking hate me. <laughs> twenty two bid twenty four. I sit over here being a big troll. Fair warning. Last call. Twenty six hundred. Toe jam and Earl there went for twenty six hundred. On number one sixty nine. X Men water nine point eight A plus. Yeah, and Magic Mike, exactly. Magic Mike and Phil Drip. Can't forget the other boys. And Funky Funky Barry. Oh, right. 46. <laughs> Big Val and the Toe Jam Queen sounds like a country band. Yes, yes they do. Yes they do. Here's X-Men on the Genesis 9.8A+. With the poster offer. How about 5,500? We just saw X-Men on NES pull, what, 16,000, 15,000, somewhere in there? Oh, I assume this one will, um, first discussion in Facebook groups about undervalues already? Yep, there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, they're going to hate this channel for sure. <laughs> Hopefully they don't watch. It's with you, Heritage Live at 85 a month. I mean, I have to assume the X-Men on Genesis will not exceed the, uh... So 9,000. The, uh... Oh, they put a hyphen Fair in warning. it. All bids in. Heritage There's only 198. 9, Last call. Yeah, only 198. Eight of them total. Still brought in 10,200. So here's Spider-Man now. Here's Spider-Man. 32X. Let's see what she says. This is a water 9.2A++ sealed... This is one of the rarest Spider-Man games, and we're opening at fifty-two-fifty with the cup bid, ninety-five hundred on Harris. Yeah, this Live. is the, um, the peak of the thirty-two X library. Like, if you don't know anything about thirty-two X collecting, this game right here is the grail. It always has been. Even complete in box, it's very expensive. Um, it's the peak of Spider-Man. 
really, as far as I'm concerned. But it exists on a piece of shit console being the 32X. So it's a really fun discussion of like Spider-Man super rare bad console. 18, go 19, go 20,000. So let's see what we do here. I was thinking under 20,000, so it's already past my estimates. Already past my estimates on it. 21 on the cut bid, and there's my 22. Let's go 24,000. Has VGA shown up at all? I think VGA collectors aren't feeling bad, Sean. Not bad. The console sold really well. The console sold really well. The Zelda even did pretty good, the 90 plus. All bids in for 24,000. There we go, 32X, 26,4. 26,4. Oh, number 171. Yeah, I just, I, I feel like it should be worth more, but I don't know. 32x. What was the over under? Just one second. We did that one too. Uh, what the hell did we call it? Web of fire, 20,000. Over, under, under, over, under, over, over. Mixed opinions. Very mixed opinions at the 20,000 mark there. So. Panzer Dragoon, 9.8A plus. One of the games for myself that is synonymous with Sega Saturn. Like if I think of Sega Saturn, I think of Panzer Dragoon. I just do. It's 46 to 48. Heritage Live, come back to me now with your bid at 4,800. The original Spider-Man for PlayStation 1, a rare game, because I promise you, you can't seem to find a copy anywhere. I honestly don't know. I don't keep up with it that much. I know it's a very, like, like I played that Spider-Man game growing up, if you're thinking of the same one. <laughs> There's only 11 of them, 10 of them. Like, definitely not many. If that pop reports to any kind of indication, so... The generation of people buying this stuff, approximately 40-year-olds grew up with the pump, your 401k, literally that's it, you have seven figures. Biggest stock market run in history. Well, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, Bill, you're not wrong. Wealth accumulation, wealth management was pretty fucking easy for you guys. Pretty freaking easy for the last generation. There's so many VGA on Heritage now, much of them look like former wins from Certified. We joked that would happen and it did. Of course it did, Star Tide. It was easy. It was easy flips, right? Easy flips. Easy flips. Buy from Certified, send to Heritage. This Panzer Dragoon is actually doing great, in my opinion. I think this is selling pretty damn well. With everything we've seen. There are six of them. There are two nine eights. I think Panzer Dragoon's doing very well here, in my opinion. All bids in and last call. Eighty-two fifty with the cut bid. Still going. Still going. Like, put this into perspective, right? We just watched Shining Force on the Genesis sell for forty-three hundred dollars. 8,500 is bid go nine. There is no bid way warning. that Panzer Dragoon as a system like specific I game, you know what I mean? Shining Force is pretty specific to Genesis. Panzer is very specific to Saturn. How the hell did Shining Force not get more juice? All right. Well, I'm still on about that. I'm still sad. I'm still on about that. Classic. Castlevania Symphony of the Night 109.4 A plus. Here we go with PlayStation 1, folks. Big PlayStation 1 games coming up. This will be interesting. Let's see how PS1 fares. Heritage Live, you have the bid at 6,000, asking 6,500 now. It's a bit of 6,000 goes 65, 65 is bid goes 7. Symphony of the Night, 7, 41 total, 14 copies higher than the one 7. currently being offered here. 7,000 to advance. Heritage Live, bid now for 7,000. Panzer Dragoon has way more name recognition than Shining Force. Really? Do you really seven. think so? Heritage Live, you're at 6,750 with the cut bid. Come back to me now. Really? Seven, my 7 goes 7,500. It's 7 bid 75. Don't Saturn games go bad because of disc rot? I don't know enough about that. Now at I don't know enough about that, but I wouldn't be surprised. All bids in now for 75. Yeah, Symphony of the Night, I definitely think, has more pop than people were expecting. I think that this pop count is going to hurt the game, not help it. I agree with you, Mike. I agree. I thought the pop was smaller. Like, seeing this pop was a bit of a surprise. Oh, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, Mike, 22. You have to open it up. 22 isn't so bad. Sorry. 22 isn't bad. 
7,500. $9,000 though feels kind of soft. Uh, look, number 173, Crash Bandicoot. Oh no, never mind. That's not bad. Back in the last signature, it sold for 10,200, sold for 9,000 today. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Thousand dollars down, but like you know, not bad. At twenty six thousand, what a jump there from five to twenty six go twenty eight thousand. Crash Bandicoot still fucking alive though. Wow. Heritage live. I need your bid at twenty eight thousand. We went from five thousand to twenty six immediately. It's a twenty six. Feels good. I have twenty eight thousand. Twenty eight thousand to it. Agreed on pans are having more recognition than Shining Force. Fuck you guys. You guys are nuts. And lost You guys are nuts. You agree with pa Oh my god. Apparently I'm nuts. That's crazy yeah. that you guys all think so. Like, I, well, I clearly I have to be the one who's wrong, stalkers, right? 31,200 here. A Crash Bandicoot still doing long good. 9.48 plus for 48,000. 9.2? Quite a bit down, but I mean, every time you go down a 0.2 increment. Like, at these higher amounts, 0.2 increments can make a world of difference, so... <laughs> April's got all the bids on Heritage Live. And we're paused. Are we? Are we paused? Heritage Live? We're at 4,800. Do we have 5,000? <laughs> it's at 4,800. Why Heritage is Sophie's Live? vibe so awesome? 4,800 is bid go five. She definitely passes the vibe check. 5,000 Heritage Live. Fair warning to you at 5,000. 49 with a cut bid. How about 5,000? 49 go five. Live. 9 thousand for that sounds expensive john johnson just relative to everything else going around nine thousand sounds high 500 to advance heritage live you have the bid at five thousand headed out for the night seat towards tomorrow's signature fair warning have a good night daddy hope you enjoyed your pizza five thousand the dark stalkers there six thousand for the what long box i wanted to see the uh crash bandicoot there what a nine point six eight crash bandicoot sitting at 15 only Pretty crazy. Nine six, only one of them. 42, like, <laughs> you know, like Crash okay. Bandicoot, one of the games that has the most incentive Again, to send in. We saw high ass Crash Bandicoot sale almost April. two years ago. Still only fifteen of them. That's insane to me. That's insane to me. We're at eleven. Let's go twelve thousand. Destruction Derby nine point six eight plus 12. long box. Live twelve go thirteen thousand. Okay, thank 11, you, John. 13, 14, thank you, Shining Force over Panzer. 13, 000, thank you. Go fourteen thousand. It's thirteen bid fourteen. 14 goes 15,000. Do not be the first buyer on things like Panzer Dragoon, in your opinion, throwing money away. Wouldn't be somewhere I go either, JK. 16 goes 17,000. 18,000. Wouldn't be where I go either. It's 18 goes 19. 20,000. FF7 will be interesting. The pops looked high too. Yeah, I don't know how much people know that, Mike. Like, FF7 was never going to be a low pop game. This Destruction Derby is fucking pop. How's Destruction Derby looking? 19.5, I'm asking 20,000 to advance. The long box only has Heritage three. 5, is this is 20, the second 000. highest. There's only it's three 20, long boxes 22. for Destruction Derby. That's Heritage nuts. Live, 20, 000, three of them. 22 is bid go 24,000. It's 22, I'm asking 24. <clears throat> 24,000 to advance. Heritage Live, 22 is bid go 24. What even is Destruction Derby? 24,000, Heritage Live. I don't know, Dane, this one's They're above wanting. my knowledge pool. All bids in. This oh, one's above my knowledge. People, people fucking love it. People say it's a great game. People like it's nostalgic, important. I don't know. Seven one. Seven I don't know. Four. One number one seventy six. Doom. This is what a nine point. Yeah, there you go. JK. Field. See, we talked about it before, but the Destruction Derby is amazing. Twenty one. It has its fans. Twenty two. Twenty four against. Here goes 26. Doom. Nine point eight eight plus. Long box. Doom. Big old Doom long box. Six of them, and two nine eights. That's what we're looking at on Doom. Twenty-six thousand to you, Heritage Live. Bid now. Fair warning. Twenty-four thousand. The internet. Bid. Doom just barely well, outsold Destruction Derby. I'm surprised by that. Here we go. Nine point eight eight plus. Let's open the bidding. Ten thousand. Realistic violence first print. Where is this going to fall? 11,000 to advance. I mean, I would think something like 25, 30,000 despite the pop report. I'm asking 11,000 to advance. Heritage Live. Fair Nothing. Warning. 11, 12 against you. We getting bids here? Where is it? Realistic Heritage violence. Live. No, there's 15 of them. Shit. That's going to hurt. 15 is, that's higher than I anticipated. 
14,000 now. 15 is a bit higher than I anticipated, I'll be honest. Live. I need 14,000. 13,5, go 14. 14,000 to you, Heritage Live. 14 is bid, go 15. It's 14, Racing game emphasis on contact, the damage system was blow, mind-blowing for the 15, time. 15, play the warning. big All price bidding. hitters in a YouTube video and Last give us your opinion goal. after a decent 15, play. 000. Good. Play the after big price hitters. 7178. When will we see an original pin Dragon Ball GT cell? Buy Atari. Did you see that there's Field. fuck all of them? The I'm sure you saw that, that there's like no final bouts on here. Um, yeah, there's two. That's hilarious. 196. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see one anytime soon by Atari. 16,800 there on the Final Fantasy 7. Here is the Masterpiece. Yeah, Masterpiece misprint. The copy that everyone knows. The most notorious one, right? 10,98s on this one. 33 total. So actually less copies of the misprint than Realistic Violence. Again, surprising. It's 6507. 7,000 to you, Heritage Live. Bid now for 7,000. Have I bid on anything Still today or the past few weeks on Heritage? I have not. I have not, Shinken. I mean, I put in a shitty bid today. I put in a little bit of bids, you know what I mean? Nothing too serious, but... Nothing too serious. Bid now at 8,000. Heritage Live. How did my game do today? Can I retire? No. <laughs> I will still be on YouTube tomorrow, unfortunately. I'll still be hanging out with you guys. It's 8 bit 85, Heritage Live, 8,000, the bit I need 8,500 to advance. When did they add the, you have the 9.6 GT, buy Atari. What's the seal rating on it? You fucking madman, of course you do. What's your seal grade on the 9.6? That's insane, of course you do. Of course you do. Go ahead and take a peek here at FF7 as well. 16,800. And the cut bid at 82. There's your comp. The end of January, it sold for literally twice as much. End of January. Literally twice as much. That hurts. That's a freaking slap in the nuts if you were that person. Dang. We're already at 52.50. What did my game sell at? 5,000, Rick. 5,000 bucks. I think they do allow payment plans. I think they do. I think it's they allow payment plans if you set it up with them, for sure. And 9,900 there for the uh, Masterpiece misprint copy. 9,900. Here's Mortal Kombat 3, 9.88 plus plus. 8,000 to advance. 7,750 is bid go 8,000, fair warning. There's nine of them, two nine eight. 8,000 go 85. 85 is bid, let's go 9,000. Nine is bid, go 95. 92.50, I'll take that asking. PS1 Dragon Ball GT is 9.6A+. Viatari, can you name Dragon Ball Z character? <laughs> the call out. It's 10, bid 11. Oh, the call out. The call out. 11. 11 is bid, go 12. 11,000 is the bid, I'm asking 12,000. Which one do they say unfortunately on? Which one did I say, unfortunately, on Joe? 12,000, <laughs> Well, F you too, Greg. All bids in for 12,000. You bid the 7,500 on the FF7? Yeah. Which one did I say, unfortunately, on Joe? What game of mine sold for 5,000? Stinger on NES. Stinger on NES. Oh, you guys disgust me not being DBZ fans. I'm stuck over here with the fucking 80 plus because as a rip, and meanwhile the guy who has the 96 can hardly name Goku. Disappointment. Disappointment. You guys, yeah, you guys, you guys make me sick. I'm You always wondered why your Dragon Power NES always went so cheap. 10, Live. You're on it the was the first now. Dragon Ball game? Yeah, that, um, 11. Bill, I think 10, there's Dragon Power 11. coming up tomorrow, isn't there? I think not 12, enough people 12, know about 11, that, Bill. I don't think enough people know, bid now for 12, to be completely 000. honest with you. Heritage Live, the bid is 11. I need 12, Which one's Ramen's, Rick? Sorry. 11, I'm still asking for 12,000. And there's my bid at we are old. Now. Yeah, get the Greg get gatekeeping. Now. Exactly. You exactly. You guys don't deserve Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I still have to stream tomorrow, unfortunately. I still have to hang out with you guys, unfortunately. Exactly. 
Exactly. I'll be here tomorrow. Don't worry. Don't worry. Five thousand dollars isn't enough to change my lifestyle. Frozen pizzas and long streams. That's all I got ahead of me. The Rayman. Sixteen thousand eight hundred for it. I wonder if he's gonna be happy. I assume he'll be happy. I assume he's gonna be happy with that, Rick. And we're gonna open. The jewel long box there, three of them, three and nine six. Crazy. Resident Evil Jewel Box. Not the long box. This is the jewel case version of Resident Evil. The bid is against you at twelve. I need your thirteen thousand. Have I ever bid for anything on this auction site? Yep, I sure have, Maxwell, and I've won on this auction site. I think I've won five or six items off of here. We mean fortunately, yeah. Not his autocorrect. Fourteen five was the cut bid. Can I buy your space chimps with my fat stacks? No. <laughs> I need all 5,000 of those, Jimmy. I'm sorry. Come on, you. You know I'm a DB fan. Yeah, I know. I know, Opal. I know. There's a few of us. There's a few of us. 17,000 for the Resident Evil jewel case. I don't have nearly as much price gauges for these in my mind. I remember people, wasn't the Resident Evil jewel case someone was trying to sell it for like 150,000 or something for the longest time? There's 12 of them. I mean, it's right here. The long box, look at that, five of them, way better. Statistics for the 9.4 Tomb Raider pop shows eight mm -hmm. copies in that grade. Three of those already sold on Heritage. Only two copies, nine six, and one of them has already sold on Heritage. None higher. It's seventy five hundred a month. Yeah, Wiley, like that's insane. Heritage Live, you have the bid at seventy five. Let's you know, that's insane. I need your eight thousand Heritage. That is like that's a low pop for Tomb Raider. I need eight thousand or fair warning. Here's Ridge Racer. 9.88 a plus on the long box again. Fucking some really impressive long boxes in this auction. Long boxes aren't my jam, but like I know there's people out there appreciating what's coming through the auction block here. What do we got here? Jewel long box. There's five of them. The, the weird thing that I'm seeing with a lot of these long boxes are how many, like, there's barely any graded. But the ones that are graded are in these high ass grades. It's interesting. 3600 goes 38. It's 36 bid 38 Heritage Live. This one would have been. Yeah, there we go. Mike also with the Dragon Ball avatar. Exactly. The Ultra Instinct there. Isn't 5,000 US like Infinite and CAD? Kind of. <laughs> yeah, kind of, Joe. Kind of. 5,000 USD does go a long way in Canada. So 9,600 there for this one. And this one, I believe, was the what? The not for resale one? Yes, yes, yes. Not for resale? Yes. Says it right there on the front. Not for sale. Not, not even for resale. Just not for sale straight up. Like, no, you can't buy this shit. <laughs> Road Rash, 9.68 plus. I think one of these just sold at the, um... One of these just sold at the Dreamer auction, didn't it? There's two 9.6s. Pretty sure one of these just sold at the Dreamer. 9.68 plus just sold for 15,000. We'll see what this one does. Now at 14,000 or fair warning... Last call. Same price? All bid then. 14, there it is. Go 15,000. Just passed it. 14 bid now at 15. I need your 15,000. There are Nocentes, the long boxes. He got damn close to a set. Wow. That's crazy that he put together a set. Bid now at 15,000. That's nuts. Last call. That's nuts. Fair warning. Yeah, GT gets really good once they get back to Earth, in my opinion. Like, GT isn't bad. It just could have been way better. But it gets, like, good, in my opinion, once they get back to Earth. Road and track presents the need That's insane need that he almost had a full nine, set though of sealed long um, sealed long boxes. Couldn't think of the word. Goes a long way in my hick town in Canada. Yes. Need for speed game. Yes. Thirty six go thirty eight, four thousand is bid go forty two. It's four bid forty two. Forty two is bid go forty six. What even the forty four? I didn't even need to say it. <sighs> Is Dragon Ball GT transformations on Game Boy Advance valuable? Not really, Elysium. It's one of the easier Dragon Ball games to find on Game Boy. There's quite a few GT transformations um, floating around out there. Don't you lecture me with your $30 haircut. Goku dies. Don't you lecture me with your $30 haircut. Goku dies. 10,000 speed. I'm asking 11,000 heritage live. 
It's ten thousand. I don't know where it's from. I don't know where it's from. Well, I can't tell you where that's 10, from. Ten thousand is a bid. Ten five with a cup. Vegeta's saying it. I know that. Still asking eleven. Harrison that sounds like a Vegeta quote, but I don't know where he'd be saying it. Bid now for eleven thousand. But yeah, my, my guess is a Vegeta quote right there. And yeah, the Road Rash did sell for a little bit more than it did at the Dreamer collection there. Need for Speed, 12,600 on that one. You can't believe the Need for Speed is going for more than 10k? Really? I don't know, that seems like an easy one, no? 9.4A plus sold for freaking 24,000. 9.4A for 21,000. <laughs> need for Speed! Live, for myself, Need for Speed sounds like one of the easiest live, ones to cross over five figures. Is in my own opinion. 46. How do so many five, folks five, have this five, much five, money? Five, <laughs> yeah, I know, Shinken. I know. I know. This is high end collecting, man. The world of high-end collectibles, like, we're watching shit sell for 10,000. There, there's a world way above this as well if you go into, like, coins or sports cards, so. Android 13 says it to Trunks. Yes. He says it with his Aussie accent. What the hell did they give that guy? Don't you lecture me with your $30 haircut. Like that, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know now. Five goes seven. Heritage Live, I need your bid at seven thousand. <laughs> As if, Opal. As if. Fair warning. Seven is bid goes seventy-five. It's seven thousand. Asking seventy-five hundred now. Heritage Live. Unreal. Seventy-two fifty. I'll take the cut bid. I'm still asking seventy-five. One day you'll be the guy who buys it all. I wish. I wish. Let's go eight thousand. Yes. There we go. There we go, Opal. I got it. I knew it was somewhere in my brain. I just couldn't place it. I just couldn't place it on the spot. It's in here, though. It's in here. <laughs> Can you tell that we're freaking four and a half hours into the stream here as we're just yucking about Dragon Ball at this point? Street Fighter Alpha Warrior Dreams there. 9.68 plus for 9,000. And we're at 3,000. Here we go, it's Siphon it's Filter 3, 9-11 edition. It has the it's UPC punch, though. Almost all of them do. Let's actually take a peek at that. They're not going to differentiate that, are they? No, they are not. So we have 23 American flags, but they are not going to differentiate pole punches. I don't know if they ever will. And we have 12 of them in 9-8. <laughs> Piccolo the Lizard Man. Oh, oh. You guys make me sick. Tomb Raider, what a 9.4A plus sealed. Jesus, the Lizard Man. The first appearance of Lara Croft. Let's go 17,000. The Lizard Man, exactly. Jesus. Do we have anything big left? Yes, we have the Tomb Raider right here. We have the Twisted Metal. Big bangers here to end it off, actually. 38,000 is big, go 40,000. I think the Heritage compo, Live. didn't we have this at the Dreamer Come auction too, now, around 60-ish, 50-ish? I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to miss the Twisted Metal, but... 66,000 for the 9.6 A+, 43,000 for the 9.4. This just sold for... Yeah, okay, this, this is... Doing well. That did fine. That actually did like pretty good. The Tomb Raider did well. <laughs> Twisted metal. If I could have one long box game, this would be the one I choose. They learned Tomb Raider isn't that rare. Tomb Raider did good, JK. Tomb Raider did good. Where the hell is it here? Tomb Raider, made in the USA. 17 of them, man. Only 17. 894s, 296s. That's not a high population count there. Not a high population count. He was the lizard man. Jesus Christ. It's 30,000 to 32. 32 bid 34,000. It's 32, I'm asking 34. 34,000 to a I'm not, I'm not, I'm not entertaining you guys anymore with Dragon Ball Z, okay? I'm not entertaining you guys anymore. How about 40,000 Heritage Live? Twisted Metal here is doing pretty good. 40,000. You're on the cut bid. I need 40,000 to advance. 
Twisted we, we metal. 42, 000. We we saw 42, one sell 000. at what? The signature? Halloween yeah. signature? 42 bid 44,000. Dreamer. 44 bid 46, No. Yeah, Halloween signature. 87,000. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! Is How about this is a ridge long box. Same, same, same print. Holy fuck! I don't think we're. I don't think we're crossing eighty-seven. Oh my god! I hit make offer. No, 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 no. I don't think we're crossing eighty-seven thousand. I don't think we are. Heritage Live, you're at fifty thousand. I don't think we are. Fifty-five thousand bid goes sixty thousand. Sixty thousand is bid asking sixty-five thousand. I'm about to be wrong. It's I'm wrong. Nah, I'm wrong. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Now I'm asking eighty thousand. I assume this is the highest. Seventy-five thousand is bid go eighty thousand. Ridge long box. There's a nine eight out there. What the fuck? Asking eighty thousand. There's my eighty thousand. Eighty-five thousand now. Eighty-five is bid go ninety thousand. Ridge long box nine six. Is this one not even represented on the pot? It should be right here if it's a ridge one, right? Is this actually a cardboard box? Is this not the ridge one? It looks weird. We're crushing. This is this is crushing. This is crushing. Out of all of the items in this auction, out of everything, twisted metal is one here that's crushing. Twenty-five with the cut Interesting. There's my one thirty. Now I'm asking one hundred. Interesting. 130,000 is bid. Yeah, playing flat, fast, and loose with the mouse, exactly. 130,000 for 140. 140 to you. Wow. Fair warning. Last call. All bids in, are you sure, at 140,000? 130,000. Yeah, Twisted Metal's insane. I love it. I would love to see it. 156. It even crossed the 144 barrier. The legendary 144 it crossed. Wow. That's big. I'm excited for this one, too, here. 21,000 on Heritage Live, go 22. Like this Halo could do big fucking numbers as well. 22,000, 22, go 24,000. Two big spenders have a sweet tooth for this game. Fucking dab on them, skate suit. You just did that. You just did that. Twisted Metal's fucking awesome. Like, easily one of my favorite PlayStation games. Like you said, it could very well be one of the, um... All One of the absolute keys of PlayStation, like for sure, so for sure. Now Heritage Live, you have bid at twenty six. I need twenty eight to advance. It's I think this Halo needs a lot more juice, doesn't it? Twenty seven thousand with the cut. I think this needs a lot more juice. Twenty eight go thirty thousand. It's twenty eight. I'm asking thirty thousand. Just for a little bit of uh, <laughs> a little compy comp. There we have one hundred and eight thousand at the end of January and eighty four thousand in October. Thirty two. Asking thirty four thousand now. So uh, yeah, this guy needs this guy needs some juice. We need some juice here on Halo. Thirty four thousand. Fair warning. Last call. Thirty four. is bid go thirty six. It's Got a little bit here. There's my 36. Now I'm asking 38,000. It's 36 to 38. Heritage Live, I need your advance to 38,000. Still slowly going. Heritage Live, once more. Fair Is it the same copy? Here. I don't know. Last call at If it's the same copy, that's kind of insane. Is 40, 40 is bid go 42. Let's it's take a peeky peek. Heritage Live, 40,000 is bid asking 42,000. Is it the same copy? 40,000 is bid. So 42,000. Fair warning. All bids. 578412. Last call. 40,000. 7130. Lot number 191, Halo Combat Evolved. Nope, different copy. 9.4A seal. Different copy on that one. 50, um. 50. <laughs> 48,000, literally half. 5, literally half of the last sale. You! Yo, Mizzale, I have seen a lot of the Team 4 Star Dragon Ball. I've seen a ton of the Team 4 Star. I think they're hilarious as well. They're great. I need your 6,000 to advance. Fair warning at 6,000. All bids in. Yeah, yeah, this is the last bit for tonight by Atari until we pick it up tomorrow. It's 6 goes 65. Heritage Live, I need your bid at 6,500. 
You have the bid at six. Yo, what'd you pick up, Miller Time? From you now, what did you pick up, Miller Time? Halo Last Infinite call. has been a Halo killer. Yeah. Are you sure? JK, man, I'm still playing Infinite a You're decent amount, but like, I can't believe how how little it did to like reinvigorate to recreate a Halo community. Shitty, really shitty. I need your 6500 Heritage Live. Fair warning now. Last call for 65. 7500 dollars there for the retail oh, copy. This was the employee only, not for resale. Sealed the tide for the highest graded copy offered by Heritage. Here's Halo 2. I need 48. 46 is big, go 48. I need 4,000. 9.8 A plus, not an A plus plus. Do not sell before at the top. With our internet Why video, folds? It's the one you want. Fair warning. It's the one you want. 4,600. Get it out of here. No bids on the Halo 2. Jesus. Thank you for joining us. But don't forget. Nothing, Cam. Absolutely nothing. 4 p.m. Central Time. Join us again for that session, and we look forward to seeing you at the next session. There we go. <laughs> I love that they clap her off. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is great. Here's the big board. The big board for Heritage Auctions. Holy smokes. So, after we watched the first session, what made its way in? Uh, the Sonic, of course. The Sonic at 360. Then we had Twisted Metal, 156. Like, Twisted Metal, look at that. The fourth highest game of this whole auction. Everything that was offered, the fucking Twisted Metal made its way up there. Crazy. Impressive. Very impressive. Mario Kart 64, of course. That was always going to be up there. John Madden Football on Super Nintendo at 100000 Those are our $100,000 games this auction. Madden, Zelda, Mario Kart, Twisted Metal, Clue Clue Land, Metroid, and Sonic. Then fucking Tech Mobile at 100k, Urban Champion. You know, compared to the second session we watched... A lot of those NES games did, like, a lot better now in comparison, in my opinion. Like, do you know what I mean? A lot of these NES games popped pretty hard, and then when we entered the next session, it just felt like items did not pop. <laughs> Am I wrong with that, um, perception of how this went? It seemed like there were only a few items that really got, like, you know, above expectations. Like, where people were like, oh my god, really? It feels like we only had a few of those in the second session. Not to say, like, you know, I don't know, is a $50,000 sale on Turtles 498? Not great compared to comps, but, like, you know, high sale. Those VGA games, the trio there, 45000 Myself and many others were expecting more out of that. Kobe Bryant fucking 33000 though. That one popped. Kobe popped. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited to go see what people think of this auction overall. Real mixed bag. Real mixed bag. I think people are going to be a little bit more sour on it than they were 24 hours ago. I think there was more excitement in the air 24 hours ago. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Looks like the session tomorrow starts at 4.50 p.m. Eastern time. That's same time. Same time tomorrow then. 3 p.m. my time. Same time tomorrow, knuckleheads. We'll be back for the next session. If you want to actually, um, if you want to bid on stuff, if you're a normal person like myself, tomorrow's auction is much more, um, accessible <laughs> is the word I'm going to use much more accessible tomorrow. So check out the, uh, check out the auction catalog. There might be something you're interested in. There might be something you can actually afford. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a fun time. Same time tomorrow, everybody, 3 PM. I'm going to be in Facebook, Facebook. I'm going to be in Discord. I'll be on Instagram. Let's go find out what people thought of this auction. Let's go see what people thought of this auction. <laughs> uh, big Sammy. Looking awesome, Sammy. <laughs> I think it was Thane who said he had a baby face in the Discord. <laughs> and then Sam fucking responded. <laughs> but anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. Great coming out tonight. Thank you all for being here. Talk tomorrow.